Hey, it's that time again, boys. What's going on, my dudes? Time to make it happen, lads. It's time for the gate. The gate we all know and love, the gate we've all been waiting for. I'm gonna hit under dark today, right after we crush Irenicus's bitch ass and spell hold. It's us, Elmingar. How's it going, my dude? Hope things are going well for you, my friend. <clears throat> What's up, Randy Zufo? How's it going, man? Hope things are going well, dude. Alright, let's continue here. That's right, we're about to... We're about to run around town looking for potions, that's right. We want to go and grab some cold resistance shit. And so we can have a better chance of surviving Adelon. That's what we were doing. I missed some action yesterday? Hey, don't sweat it, my guy. Don't sweat it. We got everybody in the party still... Rocking out with our crockpot out, man. You know what I'm saying? Still no deaths. Knock on wood. We're still running with uh, the beautiful mage party, dude. Yes. What? Exec is the five figure discount. Yeah, Exec's still here, too. Yep, we're, uh, I think we did literally every major quest now. So we're just gonna buy some shit from Roger here, and then we're gonna head on out, boys. Does he not sell cold resistance? Oh, shit. Hmm. I don't know who does, now that I think about it. I don't know if anyone does. No one can actually use... Potions of heroism because we don't have any fighters. Hmm. Well, guess there's nothing to be had over here. Can always go by the scrolls, I suppose, from the temples. Scrolls of cold resistance. I think that might actually be worth doing. Taking her, uh, might trigger her next quest in the bridge district. Oh shit. Doing a speech, man. Good luck. Don't worry, my guy. You got this. It's gonna be the best speech of your life, dude. People are gonna be cheering, throwing roses from the rooftops as you walk by. You're gonna crush it, Thomas. I believe in you, buddy. God bless, man. Hmm. I think uh, as soon as I uh, pick her up, no wait, we've already started her next quest. We've already started it. We just didn't go uh, go to the graveyard and do it. But we've already been given the quest. Pass or fail, no percentage? Alright, well good shit, dude. You got it, man. You crushed it. <clears throat> Okay. We could buy potions of power. Definitely helps. Alright, cold. Yeah, too cold now. It does last until dispelled. Hey, congrats, man. Good shit. Yeah, yeah. Let them know who the boss is, dude. Let him know. So I think Edwin and Aerie are actually basically capped. We can't get any higher. Once we give him protection from cold, the mage spell. 
So we just need these two on everyone else. Two more scrolls and I think we're good to go, boys. Nice XP there. Yeah, I know. I know. We always, uh, we always consider that. You have my greetings, faithful one. Could always go to the key, boys. We could. Oh, wait. Talos sells cold resistance potions. That's right. Hell yeah. I think we're good on genius potions too, aren't we? Eighteen. Yeah, we're good. All right. That ammo belt too would be good, especially for spell hold, considering how much additional fucking ammunition we pick up. Oh shit! Maybe we should do that. Hmm. I'm 134k from leveling. Yeah, we're all sitting on about 100 right now. Except Edwin, who's miles away still. And this is the party I want to roll with for the rest of the game, too. So it's not like... It's not like we're missing out because we didn't get Saravok yet. <clears> hmm. <throat> It's a toughie, dude. Do we want to hit the keep, boys? If one other person says hit the keep, we'll do the keep. Oh, I always skip the lich because we get uh, 30k per person if we give him his slippers. And that's a, a huge boost for sure. It's basically a fucking quest. Vampiric Mist might fuck you up. Nah, I think we can take them down pretty quickly. We've never had trouble with them before. Honestly, the only trouble we've had there was the fucking, uh... What's the word? The statues. Hmm. I guess we could always knock on the door, right? Ah. What? I can hear it. Help me. Really? Help me, Are we bugs? Is Ari just gonna go through like a hundred lines of dialogue forever? Are we stuck in an infinite loop of fucking wingless elf whining? Oh no. Oh no. Yes. Sure hope not, boys. I sure hope not. Brother Pole. Yes. I'm busy. I'm busy. Bad boys. Let's go. If you wish. Just when you're only see it's time for the last shit. Hell yeah, dude. Maybe she has a thing for Dragon Disciples advances their romance on her own. Even level 2, save the Chroma Demon. Yeah, there's no way we're going to fuck with the demon until we get level 9 spells for sure. I mean, level 2 isn't that hard, though. You're right. You sound yes, yes. Do not Aye, a fair gambit. A fair gambit, boys. Can we turn AI on here? Ahem. <clears throat> Let's see, we know this shit's trapped. This welcome laid for oblivion.
Boom, baby. Let's see what we got over here. A load of axes. Is that the wand of sleep? <laughs> the fuck, dude? <sighs> actually, this might actually work. It might not be the same as actual sleep. I was gonna say, like, if this is the actual sleep spell, this thing is worthless, but it might not be sleep. Because it's it just says creatures fail save. They go to sleep for two turns, which is way more than the regular mage sleep. That might actually not be terrible. <laughs> yeah, boy. No, we're just gonna start it. We're not gonna go too hard here, lads. Not gonna go too hard. Yeah, I'm inclined to believe that that's actually uh, a useful wand. Yeah, it's done skinned up, right? Okay, good. We're good. Here, at least, isn't about to get bowed into a fucking bloody pulp. I always gotta watch out for that shit. <laughs> Alright, show me my trolls. There they are. Where is it? There it is. Let's do it. Do it. Boom, baby. Let's go. That spells the way to fly. Yeah, right? Well, I mean, certain certain spells you're just like, oh, your certain wands are just like, oh shit, that wand's worthless. But I, I just now am realizing that it's possible. The possibility exists that that's not actually the shitty level one sleep spell. And that that wand may potentially be used. Keep all the watchers keep shit in a separate, uh, separate container here. I don't think any of these are trapped, but I just want to go slow. We've lost, uh, enough thieves in the past that there's no reason to, uh, no reason to be hasty, boys. There's my book. And just Chopped him up and shoved him into a wand, dude. Hey, what's up, Schnitzelino? How's it going, my dude? Aloha to you as well. Alright, golem manual, boys. Let's see. I think everyone's got a summon but Airy. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Everyone else get up here. Alright, put this here. That there. We want to keep Lum's notes with us. So, I mean, we can always Google that shit later, but I'd rather go by Lum's notes than actually, you know, Googling that shit. Yes. I don't think you're Edwin's boon. I don't think you're in high enough to use it. Well, oh, shit. Enter well, shit. No, when I was a little kid, I remember there being something in this room, like a monster that attacked us. And I've never encountered it since. <clears throat> oh, Edwin's book. Get you. I like Edwin's boon better. That sounds cool. Yeah, I'm too stupid to actually read the book. Feels bad, man. Beneath the earth, our fates await us. You know, this room. Way back. Too stupid to use the book, man. Wah, wah. Oh, fuck! What? I'll hurt you if I have to. I my apologies. Shit, maybe you guys are right. The raids are gonna fuck me up, huh? Oh, they don't take, uh, okay. Well, shit. Yeah, we're just gonna get interrupted to shit, aren't we? 
Well, how do we solo this then? Uh, these things aren't immune to magic, are they? Do I have a contingency? I don't. Can I be of most use? How can I help? You're... Okay. You guys want the fuck? Let's fuck, dude. Are these things immune to magic? Yeah, they are immune to magic, okay. So they're only taking piercing damage, that's why we're getting our ass pounded here. Okay. That makes sense. Get it. That was easy. That was awful. That was the opposite of easy. That was a mistake on my part. I don't think we've actually been here without a fighter before in the past. We've never had the dream team up in this bitch. Oh, good. Well, that's really not good, actually. Found him, boys. Found him, boys. Hey, we good. Right, let's see if we can uh, do an invisibility and try rest then. Hey, where are you going? There we go. I'll help however I can. Okay. Restore a bitch here, restore a bitch there. This is probably the best thing that the EE does that wasn't in the original. Restoring somebody doesn't mean you have to redo their fucking spell book. They automatically keep all their old spells. That was the shit that pit drove me, that pissed me off like crazy when I was a little kid. Having all my mages and having to redo all their fucking spells every time this shit happened. Hmm, might actually pick up a Melf's on here to lease here. Yes. I think we will. Let's go and re rest to get all their abilities back, and then we'll go and fuck up the ring with the jellies. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. I do like how quickly we're able to fucking buff up here. That's nice. Hard with those missiles, man. I like that, dude. I like that a lot. Yeah, summon swords and haste them. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that for uh, the summon the uh, statues when we finally do that. But probably won't do the statues right now because uh, fighting level nine mages without level nine spells fucking blows. So we'll pass on that shit for the moment. I like when Yan's hasted and he's doing his little duck walk thing here. 
I went around the same thing, extremely annoying, especially if you played a shapeshifter druid wisdom bonus for vibes that not working, so every time I use some kind of shape change, oh man, that's a pain in the ass. Holy shit. Yeah, Beam Dog, you did good here. Good job, guys. Proud of you. Yes, if you wish. Holy shit, Hair Lisa's inventory is full too. Now, what are these? Oh, these are the Paladin Spracers, so can't use those quite yet. Soon, however. Fate beckons us all. Soon we'll have use any item and turn Yen into the Karsamir wielding paladin he was always meant to be, boys. This is the 1d3 plus 1 repeatable. We might actually hold on to that. Not like we're ever going to use it. We have uh, Melt's Meteors, right? So, really no point, but still. Okay. Beam Dog doing something good. I, I I give Beam Dog credit when they do something right, dude. I'm not the kind of guy that just shits on somebody completely just because they do something that I generally don't like. If somebody does something good, they should be applauded for it. And if they do something bad, they should be criticized for it. You know what I'm saying, my guy? It's not a lot of shit, but it's, you know, like I said, it happens now and then, man. It happens now and then. Uh, yeah, man, keep looking for them traps, buddy. Pretty fun playing one, especially on epic levels, buffing summoning Grunger, dragging to myself, no unlimited dragon's breath is fucking great. Can't worry about it, we're just aggravating. Yeah, I'm sure everyone else felt that way, too. He's like, oh man, I hate turning into a giant dragon. It's such a pain in the ass. And the rest of the party's like, man, fuck this guy. Fuck this kid. Man, this thing should hold an enormous amount of ammunition. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Our inventory is so fucking fresh and clean right now. Holy shit. Look at all that fucking beautiful space, lads. That's the good shit right there. I think we get spiders in the next turn, right? It is done. We're top sellers at GOG.com, then beamed up. Give them down and place BG and have to buy you to get the classics. Yeah. I, I didn't like that at all. I really didn't. It is a role I am glad to play. Yep, face spiders. Fear me! Have you nothing to Yeah, I heard you can't find the originals anywhere anymore. Which is a shame, because one of the things I loved most about Baldur's Gate was the manuals they came with. I know that sounds like super nerdy and retarded, right? But just like being able to read extra shit about what you're about to play, especially for an RPG game. You want the game to draw you into the world, right? You know what I mean? And the manuals really helped that, even when they just were little shit. Like, just talking about the city of Baldur's Gate, the various taverns, the history, and a bunch of other... There's so much shit they put into the manuals. And even the manuals are just a little snippet, really, of the game. And I just... I love that shit. It drew me in. I would read the manuals when I wasn't playing the game. Like, I'd go to bed and fucking, like, read the Baldur's Gate manual. And I was, like, actually interested in it. Not, like, read it every day, like, wow, I can't wait to read my favorite part of the Baldur's Gate manual. But I mean, like... 
You know what I mean? Yes. I didn't read fucking video game no, manuals, dude. Yes, yes. When I got when I bought a new game, the first thing I did was play the game, right? And the manual came afterwards. And with Baldur's Gate, I felt like, wow, this is so interesting. I'm actually gonna take the time to read this thick fucking book. And the and the BG2 one was extra thick. It had rings in it. It was bound with rings, dude. Volo's comment, yeah, absolutely, dude. I love that shit. Volo's commentary was great. Have you read FR books, Salvatore? No, I'm not sure what FR stands for, dude. I'm assuming FR is not fire resistance. Yeah, exactly. Written like guides. Yeah, they're so great, dude. You have any HLAs yet? Not yet. We are about a million XP from HLAs. Actually, a little less. About uh, 900k. What? If you wish. This I shall be glad to last you to. Yes, master. What shall I catch now? I am I. Oh, Forgotten Realms, got you. <clears throat> I read an Elminster book ages ago. But at that point, I was kind of growing away from it in general. I grew up reading Magic the Gathering books, like in the 90s. That's what I read, and that was my shit. I read almost all of them, too, that got published with the actual MG MTG title. But I didn't, uh, I didn't really get into the Forgotten Realms books, to be honest. And then the... <laughs> <laughs> the novelization of Baldur's Gate kind of ruined it for me forever. And I was like, oh, okay. Alright. Any modern RPGs you like? I really can't say I've played many. Um, WoW was probably the last RPG I played. What do you want? And I quit mid Lich King, so. You need to <laughs> The first three books from Drizzt Saga were quite enjoyable when I was a teen then. Yeah. I read, uh... But you played Dragon Age, the first one? I never did, no. The last RPGs I played were MMORPGs. Uh, Star Wars, WoW, um... Aeon, Rift, Warhammer, etc, etc. Conan. Conan was fun, too. For a little bit, Kona was fun. Kotor, yeah, I played Kotor, yeah. I was one of the few who actually liked the first one better than the second one. The general consensus when you ask the interwebs is that number two is ten times better than the first one, but the story for one drew me in a lot more than the second one did. Oh shit, there's one who is in here. Okay. This spell. You need my skills, I see. I I a fair gambit. Is he coming in hot? What's the plan here? Get up here, little fucks. Yeah, I, I just, I don't know, I just, I couldn't, I beat the second one, right, don't get me wrong, and I liked, I don't know. It's not like the story was bad or anything, it just, it didn't, it didn't grip me like the first one did, you know what I mean? Oh shit, I really should stop resting without being invisible. These damn fucking turnip haters are really pissing me off. Yeah, it's really hard to say, actually. I mean, I enjoy them both, but if I was gonna replay one of them, it would be the first one 100% straight up. New no contest. Really? Are we getting interrupted by mummies now? There we go. Yeah, I don't know. 
I don't know why that is really, but. I like revenge stories. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird like that. It is done. Well, you'll light like the fire real quick. More when the game literally blew my mind. Nice. <clears throat> I want a nice cold fire, a warm fire. What? Mr. Streamer should play Dark Age Origins. Nice game. Not without fault of the Dragon Age. Excuse me. Level item scaling. I might try check it out at some point. Yes. If you wish. You should not have come to this place. You should. All right, you should be able to kill these one at a time if I remember right. Hmm. He's got the pair of Yeah, he does. Okay, we're good there. Oh wait, it's dead already, what? Oh, that thing dropped pretty quick. Shit, we're still stuck in our, uh, empty spin over here. Oh, these things are taking basically full damage from Melts. What the hell? Alright. <clears throat> Take it. 13k, I'll fucking take it, dude. Vegetable peddling business together. What? Yes, yes. A standard tactic that. Okay, boys. I think we're good here. Uh, let's see what we're looking at. Oh, man. We're so close to levels, dude. So close. But I think it's time for us to uh, leave the key, boys. We'll come back later, friends. Have no fear. Than a red the keep will fall before us for sure. Take two statues and activate when you open the altar. I was considering that, but I mean. We really don't get much for it. I'd rather just, uh... You get the slippers to the Lich? Yeah, I did. It gives you, uh... 20k per person, and I don't possibly see him giving us 120k for me actually killing him. So I figured I'd just give him the slippers. Yeah, the statues are pretty brutal, for sure. Especially when we don't have, uh, HLAs. I mean, it's definitely doable without HLAs. It's just... There's literally gonna be two fallen planetars on top of us. And if you don't have HLAs of your own to fight them, it's just a huge pain in the ass. We don't have imprisonment, we don't have HLAs, we don't have really a good way of dealing with planetars. <clears throat> 40 dart and they fought them in the big room, yeah. That's where I usually end up fighting them. I kill a couple and then kite out. Build extend skill bars, so players can buy more spells. And uh, build your right detailed scripts, combo spell triggers. Oh yeah, for sure. That'd be cool. I mean, well, you can keybind more abilities. I mean, I have, like... Let's see, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have about 20... I have about 20 abilities, just mage spells, keybound. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's not really... Not really enough, to be honest. I mean, it is what it is, though. I do wish we could have more quick buttons here. That'd be nice for sure. 
Because sometimes I'm just lazy and I just want to click shit, right? I don't want to have to fucking press a key oh. for it. Hmm. Alright, boys. I think it's time for us to head out. Get more bars like in WoW? Oh, yeah, dude. I, that was the thing that I liked so much about WoW, was it was so easy to edit. Like, I never played another MMO where it was, like, that easy, man. It was just... I don't know, maybe I'm just an idiot, dude. Definitely possible, but... I just... I had... It was so easy. It's pretty much, you could find a mod for anything that you wanted, man, to edit your interface with. And then they made, like, so many dumb mods, right? Like, the poker game... We would spend all fucking raid playing poker, dude. Straight up. By the end of the day, we'd lose a thousand gold or two thousand gold. And it was just... It was so fucking fun, man. It was so fun, dude. Gambling and, uh, video games. What has our lives come to, dude? What have they come to? Those are good times, man. Those are fucking good times, boys. But yeah, extra action bars would be pretty sweet for sure. <laughs> Considering all the other interface changes they made, I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't. And there are, um... There are, uh... Baldur's Gate mods that let you do that in a sense. Where they basically, uh... They put all your abilities into the special abilities icon. And then you can use this entire bar for other shit, but... It would be definitely cool if we could, like, move and drag various icons and items. That would be pretty cool, for sure. Alright, boys. On our way to Spellhold. Let's do it up, lads. Awaken, child. It is time for another test. <clears throat> oh, please. I can't take this. Patience, Imowen. Soon it will all end. No! Don't do this! I don't want to die! Silence, dog. You have no purpose but to die by my hand. That's what I'm saying, dude. You have no purpose but to die by my hand, filthy dogs. Maybe you should have thought about that before you were a fucking shadow thief. Didn't you think you'd be kidnapped and murdered in order to steal someone's soul? That's what I, that's what stopped me from becoming a thief. Not very skilled and still limited by the engine, yeah, for sure. But I'm to see if such mods would probably be possible. Yeah, yeah, dude, for sure. Are you playing a 720p because of preference, or your upload BW is insufficient? Uh, what do you mean? Are you talking about the Twitch thing itself? I have no control over Twitch. It's up, Zero Fuse. Um... I really have no reason for it. I'm sure my upload bandwidth is insufficient for sure. My internet blows. Like, straight up, it's... It's fucking dog shit. The journey is uneventful. Is it like really shit quality? Course, they must have kept a discreet distance. You make good time, and soon there is a sizable island on the horizon. Here one sec. It might have been considered a pleasant place. We have arrived, and in good time, I might add. Should be my Twitch page. Her bit rate is twenty seven hundred kilobytes per second. I have no idea what my current internet's uh, upload and download speeds are. If that's what you're referring to. Is the quality shit? I mean, it should be decent, right? Yeah, I don't think I'm able to fucking get 
1080p, dude. Yeah, it's not even on the list of of, of options here. Yeah, I don't think we're actually able to get 1080p, dude. I mean, I might be wrong, but I've had people ask in the past, like, there were times where I was capped at 480, and I'd have no idea why. I didn't change a single thing, and the next day it was back to 680, 720, whatever. I think it's based on how many people are watching the stream. Because when I had, like, 20 people watching, they could choose, and when I had like five people watching, you couldn't move at all. Some 20s playing can't have the late studio yet. As far as I know, it's something out of my control, dude. Because I have uh, my um, broadcasting software basically uncapped, like... Yeah, it's at pretty much max. But... I mean, what the fuck do I know? Let me zoom in a bit here. But yeah, as far as I know, like... Editing of that shit is only given to uh, big streamers. I don't know why. Twitch gives a lot of shit to big streamers and denies that shit from people like me. That was bad. The 650 if it's only his BG doesn't work at 30 frames yet. It's like the ultimate magic party. That's how we that's how we roll, dude. Yes. You need something? Got one dream, that's it. Spells here, everybody? Hell yeah, dude. That's how we roll. Oops. What are you guessing? Look at that. Oh, nice. She still has a uh, restoration from earlier. That works out nicely. Takes the 30 FPS and the advantage. I can see bullets. There's a lot more room for view. The dialogue bars get smaller. That's true. I mean, I guess. I mean, I could swap the. Uh, Change this shit back to where it was before, but I couldn't stand that shit. <clears throat> Is it full screen? No, it's not it. There's an option in here to make the screen like more com more uh makes every all the buttons smaller. I think it was the you were scaling? No. No, what's that? It? Oh, scale user interface. This is it. Like, is this like what you're looking for? Yes. <clears throat> Do you guys like this better? Dev, you're going to affect the build? Yeah, that's what I think. I mean, I, I honestly don't know, but I'm pretty sure our uh, discussions in the past were like that. I mean, do you guys like this better than uh, how it was before? Because I'll keep it this way if you guys prefer it. I just like it. The UI to me uh, looks better before, but I can totally see what you guys are saying. I mean, you definitely see more with this resolution and uh, 
this uh, scaling for the uh, sides, right? Do you guys want me to keep it like this? Or uh, put it back? So we have this. I don't like this is where I had it originally. And this is where it is if we scale the uh, interface. Well, I can't even actually zoom in further than this. That's, that's wild. Hey, I'm, I'm fine either way. I really don't care. I prefer the original way because it makes it look more like how the game used to be when I first played it when I was a kid. But, I mean, if this is better for you guys, let me know. Well, the BG combines all BG games, both Icewind Dale games optional, even playing Skate Tournament, one thing. Holy shit, that sounds crazy. Really good to see. You, yeah, you can't see the log at all, for sure. Alright, well, we'll just keep it scaled for now. And if you guys like it, if you guys want me to change it, let me know. Happy to do so. That sounds awesome, dude. Yes. Oh no, someone's teleporting behind me. Nothing personnel, kid. Yeah, this is why the max HP mod's annoying. I say this every time, but this dude's supposed to die in one shot, but my mod actually maximizes his HP, so he takes like an hour to actually die. Feels bad. You feel like I could have saved him by now, right? Money grubbing scum. If you wish. Have you I too hate money grubbing scum, please. Never had You're not mercenaries, are you? I hate those money Absolutely amazing. Yes. <laughs> Hmm. Aim to be a hundred percent Polish. Oh, shit. What is it? What can I do? Keeping all the good shit to yourself, dude. I see how it is. I see how it is. Oh really? We're gonna get this ambush now? These are sure rough this time of year. Go bother someone else. You need to ready up and a ready to go. What? Urgent. Just you sound and I'll go look. Okay, I'm busy. Have you nothing else to do but bother me? Take it. Shame I couldn't get that potion of power before that jackass chugged it, but what can you do, boys? Well, we definitely need to sell some of this trash. We go make our way over to the uh, blacksmith real quick. Unload some of this garbage here. Yes, as I thought. The customer is always right. Welcome to my humble establishment. The customer is always right. 
Customers always right, boys. Yeah, what are we going to get rid of here? Don't need fire giant. Don't need cloud giant. Don't need hill giant. Don't need vulnerability. Don't need defense. We'll probably start getting rid of some of the scrolls in here too, actually. No, we're about to fucking use those, so it'll be okay. Okay. This is the most exciting part of the day, boys. Let's be real. Getting us fucking full again already. I love it. Damn, everything's full today. Hmm. Almost done here. Yeah, we're good. My prices are the best south of Waterdeep. Let's see what we get in here to get rid of. Do we want to keep the reflection shield? We actually kind of want to keep the shield of the loss, too. Yeah, we got lots of shit in here to sell. Good stuff. I don't think we'll ever use the ghoul. Probably never use Paradin either. Dragon skill shield. Why the fuck did I put that in there? That's weird. I always do a mage compilation on your own, but they won't get five years of bug fixing and bouncing. Holy shit. That's incredible, dude. Holy fucking moly. I gotta take the shield out. What the fuck shield did I give her? Oh, she has saving grace. Okay, that's why I didn't put it on. I'll help however I can. Wait, no, stop it, you idiot. Well, I'll do my best. Okay. Yeah, sack one AC to get a massive boost there. I like that. Yeah, we're good on money, boys. The first time in our lives, we're actually pretty fucking good. Right. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, he doesn't sell jack shit for fucking scrolls. What? I don't think we even need to buy a contingency, do we? Hmm. Yeah, he's not gonna use any of this garbage. This is all crap. Alright. Fourth deeds actually could be good, but I don't think we need it. Alright, well, let's uh, continue on our merry way, boys. If you had a big world project twice, it's an English mod installer helper, but my games always end up bugged. Yeah. I had a lot of uh, problems with those installers too, dude. Right, where are you at? I'll hurt you if I have to. This guy.
filthy pirates, boys. Prediction from Fire for Edwin? We already got Prediction from Fire on uh, Hercules. And I think we might have given it to Edwin too. No, we didn't. Actually, shit. Oh no, Nolly has protection from fire too. I was gonna say, fuck. If Edwin, if uh, something happens to Hair Delise, we no longer have protection from fire. But we're good. We're good. What do you need? What do you want? Uh, oh, I could do that. What do you need? What? Yes. You need my skills, I see. A complete miss. You don't. Ah, mayhap this will be the end. A solid blow. You need to kill the Afridi because he's confused and not kill us. That was annoying, but what are you gonna do? If we didn't do that, and the motherfucker ended up, uh... If the Afridi ended up hitting us with a flame strike, we could have been in trouble there. Okay. It shall be done with skill and care. It would need to cast more spells than Buffalo with Drake Image, absolutely. I typically don't use Predict Image for buffing because it takes fucking forever. I really should use it, but yeah. Yes. Definitely takes a long time for sure. Guards fucking These are tanky fucking guards here. Brothel, the sneaky way? What's the sneaky way? Is that where you actually get a... Is that where you actually get a room? You can just walk out and come do it that way? As I thought. Simple. You're at once, your worship. Hey, come on, man. Yeah. If you wish. Yeah, I mean, uh, go ahead and tell I me, dude. It. Boy, turn up. Really fascinated by 378 page PF going to handle someone. Be just so much fun. Oh, yeah, dude. Huh? What do you want? Go bother you someone need else. This? You need my skills. Can I be of most use? Ready up and ready to go. I take no pleasure in speaking to one as low as you. I will do what I must. You're not the brightest fucking bulbs in the box here. What can I do? How can I help? Faster than 
he left me a I gave him a nose. Oh, see, he's using the wrong fucking sword. I was like, what happened to his fucking spells? Son of a bitch. Alright. Alright, game, you got me again. Yes, ma. I don't think this bitch drops anything against the pushy. These are all terrible. Get the girl out front to tell you how to get a badge like one of the guards kill a guy, then you have to take it to your room, then you go to the kitchen and convince them to poison. Holy shit, that's in depth as fuck. Hello there. Do you get a buttload of XP for doing it that way? I'll probably have to start doing it like that from now on. That's a depth as fuck. Holy shit. Maybe I'm just too stupid for sub su for such subterfuge. But all the buffing will probably be faster, maybe. Well, I mean the buffing takes less than thirty seconds ten seconds now. I mean it's two rounds of buffs. I mean we have to do a little more for this guy we're about to do here, but in general, yeah. Where the fuck is he? Oh, he's missing. What an idiot. These fucking pirates, dude. They have no brains. They are literally brain free, boys. Oh, we do have to full buff for this fight, though, because it's fucking perf. You gonna go to the Pirate Lord route in the asylum? You can still kill Perth and go that way for extra XP? Maybe. We'll go try talking to the Pirate Lord and see what happens. Shit, we need more protection from fire. I do not care. Fuck off. Where I have to be like all oh, you filthy people. Where? Yes. Where the what what? what? Ugh. Uh, I don't wanna rest again. We'll just put Edwin Way in the back so he doesn't get hit with that shit. We'll be fine. I am I really you sound like older. What is it now? Fate beckons us all. I'm ready for what? anything. Yeah. Help, 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 What can I do? I'll do Don't it. You know, ready for me. I'm busy, okay? I'm busy. I do not care much for being prodded all the time. Where can I be of most Jan use? Jansen, at your service. Yeah, should be good here. 
What should I fetch now? This sparrow. How can I help? At your command, of course. Uh, Pardon, terribly placed. Hmm? All right, let's go, boys. Let's do it up. I'm gonna save in case we crash here now that we're fully buffed. Okay, what do we got up? <clears throat> oh, he doesn't actually have a sp oh, he does have spell trap. Okay. Yes, please. Let me help. Okay then. No Have you nothing else to do but bother me? No doubt. I'll help however I can. Huh? Just ask, and I'll do it. Yes. Where, can I Where are all my other spells? Why do I not have any more? No damage. What can I do? The only dude who has detect invisibility is on the floor dead. That's unfortunate. Don't forget to raise me. Yeah. Tell me there's a visibility detection spell in here. Yeah. We can't raise Yan. If he dies instantly to some spell, I'll be extremely butthurt. Let's see. Of course, she doesn't have anything useful here. <sighs> huh. What do we do? What did he cast? I can't even see what he cast. Shadow door, so he's got improved invisibility yet. We can't target him with spells anymore. What should I fetch now? Well, this is a hmm. lot more exciting than any circus. We might actually have to risk resin yen. What did he drop on the ground? Is there anything he dropped that we could use? No. I do not care much for being prodded all the time. This sparrow is ready to fly. At your command, of course. How is that yeah, all? Let's get ready to run. Wait, he should be visible. What? Hmm? Nolly has no points in detect illusion. Let's just go outside and res in real quick. Paradon can detect illusion, nice. You go, Yan, old buddy. There we go. Holy fucking moly, dude. That was actually brutal. Fucking Yan died instantly to Horde of Ultim because we didn't give him protection from magic energy. <sighs> Lazy buffing, dude. Lazy buffing right there, boys. Detecting traps ability in real life. Oh shit, do we have Sunskin? 
Everyone's got stun skin. We're good. That's uh, I've, I've definitely heard that one before. Pirate Lord, is it, do we actually kill the Pirate Lord? I thought we talked to him and begged him to put us in spell hold. Well, I'm confused now. Pretty good work, sixty bucks. XV and some money. Christmas high enough, especially with friends. She's telling the plot of BG1, and he'll let you in. Okay. If you wish. What got it? Yes. Declare yourself. What? Huh? Out with it. What is the meaning of this intrusion? Who are you? Uh, I guess uh, friends is not enough with my reputation. Uh, four is not an option here. Or do you mean I already fucked up? Who wants to bet that I just completely fucked up the uh, possibility of uh, me and uh, Slain and Havarian escaping on a ship because we just killed the Pirate Lord? That'd be perfect, wouldn't it? I sure hope that just happens. That way I can fucking punish myself later for being a moron. Fucking jackass wouldn't let me in. Yeah, telling him I need to rescue my f fucking Immo is just stupid. Like, I don't know, there's no way that would work. Unless I was really, like, 20 reputation. Hmm. Cloak and Mirror. I honestly don't give two shits about Cloak and Mirroring, to be honest. What I would be more annoyed about is losing the massive XP we get there. I really couldn't care less about the cloak. Oh, the cloak isn't bad. Don't get me wrong. It's just, you know. The only time anyone would actually target me with spells when I have Cloak of Mirroring on would probably be Kangax during Improved Alacrity. Where he'll just barrage his entire level 1, 2, and 3 spells at you. And I'll reflect them and they do absolutely no damage to him. So it's like, whatever. Ah, this spell now takes my At your service. Fucking vampire vampire mists, boys. I'm Irene. I'll help however I can. Skills I see. Yes. Where can I be of most use? What? It is done. You're supposed to be admitted? If you tell him you're crazy, he admits you, but I've never been admitted by telling him I need to rescue him one. Is it really? It's a lot more XP if you're admitted? Fuck. Do you get- do you actually get a lot of XP for getting admitted? 
How much would you get? It can't be that much. Oh, I thought you said tell him about what happens in BG1. Which is that I have to rescue my little sister. My bad. I misread what you typed, man. When you said tell him about BG1, I just thought you meant to talk about anyone. And that I need to rescue her. Oh, shit. It's a fair chunk of personalized XP if you're mi seriously. Oh, really? That's funny. Like scrolls in the di uh no, we do it legit. We don't we don't do any cheese. And to be honest, the scrolls of uh, protection from undead don't work anyways. And the scrolls of magic. The only time I'd probably use that would be for the twisted rune, and uh, the beholder can still rip it off you anyways because beholders are totally balanced in this game. I like I said, I misunderstood what you said. Talking about Imowen to me is what BG1 would be. Telling him that I'm crazy really has nothing to do with Baldur's Gate 1 to me. But I mean, it is what it is. Do you know how much XP it is for, uh, for getting admitted? I'm actually legitimately curious now. Holy shit. Minxka's dialogue is pretty much 10 out of 10 here. Yeah, that's how I've gotten admitted in the past. I just. When you said tell them about BG1, I was thinking of something completely different. I was thinking of M1. Yeah, don't what sweat it, dude. I trust you have. You made him cry. I know she is in good health. Like seriously, like nobody in my party knows who that is. It's <sighs> fucking game. Now this is Bioware here. This isn't fucking Beam Dog. And we're all too fucking stupid to recognize Irenicus's voice. I love it. This is what is mine. No one foresaw it, but with study, we can prevent it happening again. This is Nalgir's last. I used to have somehow he retains his spell casting. What does Imun have to do with BG1? Obviously, she was my companion in BG1, and I'm here to rescue her, right? This is a unfortunate. She does not sleep much. What use her eyelids? When no one even plays her. Oh, she's the only companion here from BG1 besides from Edwin. Oh, no, the coordinator walked in the room like an idiot. If you said tell him you're crazy, I would have I would have clicked for her for sure. Never would have guessed to fucking. I mean, I know the right answer to get in, but I thought there was something special you were saying if I went a different way. Oh my god! Really? Wow! Holy fuck, dude! That is brutal. Yeah, no one actually met Irenicus except me. And I'm running with 13 and maybe I'm just too stupid to make the connection. She does not seem willing. Oh, you miss I knew you would seek her, and so the path was difficult but not impossible. All designed to Ah, oh, we gotta remember that for next time. Holy fuck. And I knew and I knew the answer is to get in, too. You just tell him you're crazy and he commits you. Fuck me, dude. Well, it would seem that my fuck me. A bit of, but don't worry. You won't have to think about any of this or that. Your life ends today. Well shit, boys. Well shit. It is what it is, lads. Yeah, that's a lot of fucking XP. Holy shit. Well, remember that for next playthrough. 
Definitely not gonna miss out on. <laughs> That's over 200,000 XP, dude. For the party. That's some feels bad, man. Alright, what are my stats at? I had 19 constitution. If I do the Lum the Mad or the fucking Evil Choice in Hell, I actually get passive regen. Sounds like Alan Rickman. Holy shit. I don't want to lose my dexterity. Because we have to lose another point in Hell, which is another AC. Also, it's, uh, my Melf's Meta Meteors is my most commonly used thing here. Can I get rid of Strength? No, you can't. Oh, I can lose another Int. Hell yeah. 12 Intelligence, boys! The 12 Intellect Mage. Let's fucking go. Drop it. Hell yeah, dude. I to go and leave the beast here. It is your only chance. I love it. My last. The dumbest mage who ever walked the face of the earth, man. The dumbest mage in all of Faerun. A couple more points and I'm illiterate. I can't even read scrolls because I'm too stupid. Oh, I fucking love it, man. Oh, wow. Right-clicking ball doesn't actually give a dialogue option. Huh. Ball to your knees. You can... You are not... <laughs> you suck it. Potion of magic protection? What a jackass. And now he's stuck because he's drinking that potion outside. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's fucking spirit armor wearing off. It is done. Hey, where'd he go? As I thought. Did we just bug it out? A sorcerer is a... Sorcerers don't rely on it at all, Damien. No matter what your int is as a sorcerer, you can keep using fucking... Yeah, it makes no difference. Only mages and their scrolling are limited by their intellect. And even then, I think the EE changed that. Well, I think we bugged it out. I don't see ball. If you wish. But yeah, sorcerers don't rely on int for uh, leveling up and learning spells. If I was trying to scroll, um, put one in my spell book, then your int limits it, but I don't do that. Yeah. I don't know what to do now. We're gonna have to reload. Go and leave the beast here. For fuck's sake, really? Oh sorry, yeah. I mean technically it's a it's it's not technically a mage, but it's a mage, you know what I mean? Yeah, you need to have Night in to read. Maybe he respawned over here. How the fuck could this have happened, dude? You boots a speed on your character? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, what the fuck? I'm inside, jackass. What the fuck did he go all the way over there for? What do you want? Is he doing it again? If you no, dude, I'm in here. I'm Hello? I broke ball, boys. I 
if you wish. Yes, fight. <laughs> The fuck is going on? If you wish. Uh, yeah, oh god, come inside. Uh, it is done. Yeah, we're gonna have to reload. I'm gonna see if I can kill Emma in there. Miss. I guess Emma's unkillable. Is that a lollipop? What is that thing? Alright, last attempt, then we'll just reload it. I don't like reloading just because there's some stupid bug, but I don't have a choice now. Ugh, I gotta do this crap. And part of me really wants to, like, load a little earlier. <laughs> Back when we, uh, still could go talk to the Pirate Lord, but... Yes. That'd be cheating. I trust you have good. I know she is in good health, and if you will permit me, I will direct you to her. Uh. This is not a prison, but an institution of healing and learning. This fucking son of a bitch, dude. No one will know. No one will know except yeah, every single fucking person in chat. Here she is uh. safe, and others have learned something of what she. This is no one foresaw it, but with study we can prevent it. This is why you somehow he retains his spell oh, cast. My legs are just yeah, we won't tell. I've never walked so much in my life. Yeah, I don't trust you. Can you guys are gonna tell everybody. She does not sleep much, but use her eyelids when you this obviously a danger. If it bugs out again, we'll do an earlier load. Because that XP would actually fucking. <laughs> oh my god, they're so close to a level! Obviously he stop stop following him why in the past he cannot be allowed to roam with the power he possesses why what's going on we're all stopped waiting for Sir Devon's next line Yeah, I'm gonna start following him. Well, Majling, how it will surely go better without annoying gnomes asking questions. Question not my designs, mm. else you too will become an Except the guy who gives you fucking gems. I used to have me pretties piled high into the sky. Hello. Have you come to play? I like to imagine stories of far away. I used to have me pretty. Many, many, I used to have me pretty. Many, I used to have me pretty. Many, many, I used to have me pretty. Many, many, I used to have me pretty. Summer hidden. Any, I, oh, no more today. Maybe tomorrow. Please, uh, yeah, I, I know he did that. I just, we don't really need money anymore. I appreciate that, buddy. And lastly, uh, I knew you would seek her, and so the path uh, is difficult, but not impossible. All right, maybe we have to not attack Ball. That's the money I was talking about. Also, character from BG1 here. Yeah, Dradeel is from BG1. Well, it, but TX was too, actually. To think about any of this or that. Oh, my head. Yeah, TX and Dradeel were both in BG1. As the idiot we rescue from the werewolves on uh, the werewolf island. Complain about being poor for the rest of the run? I mean, we can't. We're good, dude. What's up, boss? How's it going, my dude? It is done. Find me with him. You cannot fight alone. You cannot hmm. find me with him. What? This place will 
be your tomb. Not much time to watch in the last days, but I do have the time to sub. Hey, thank you so much, XMGB, for the resubscribe with Twitch Prime two months in a row. Welcome back, my friend, to the Turn of Appreciation Society. Super duper, God bless to you. Thank you so much for the support, my man. Greatly appreciated, guy. Much love, dude. Much love. I'm throwing on a bunch of spell immunities and see if I uh, prevent me from losing an ent. The answer is no. Okay. Well, thanks again, man. I greatly appreciate it, my guy. I need to go and leave the beast here. All right, boys. Ball He's round two. Let's go. And my last. If you wish. Can't believe we get forty thousand per person to get committed. What the flying fuck, dude? Unbelievable. Even 40,000 just to get committed is too much. Per person is outrageous. It's absolutely outrageous. Look at this cheap bastard popping consumes. No pots in LLDs, boys. No pots in low level duels. Hey, he's inside! We did it! No, if we had that XP, we'd all be leveled up right now. And so your life does come to an end. A pity. You have proven resilient beyond all expectation. It is appealing to me. Are you alright? I was so scared. You came all this way to get me and we were almost... Gabe gave you a fair chance to reload? No. I don't- I didn't save- I saved- I had the chapter 4 save, but the quick save was after, so there- we would have either had to redo the whole fucking island from scratch, or- Yeah, that was just too much. What do you want? Eh, yeah, later, bitch. All right, we're in Spellhold, boys. We made it back. Long last. Here we are again. Yes. Go <laughs> attack shit, dude. Let's go. Welcome up here, Dallas. Oh, they dropped a pierce magic. What the fuck? I don't have space for any of this trash. Alright, let's put all this shit in the bags. Fuck, that didn't belong in there. Wait, this is Yen's crap. What the fuck? Okay. Alright, now we're good. Yes. Ready up and a red 
Not taking plus two bullets. No, Mel Smith meteors are better than plus two bullets. I don't. I don't use regular regular ranged weapons in this party. I just you seriously don't need them. I know it sounds like a little retarded, but it's the it's the honest truth. You just you don't need regular ranged weapon. Even if I had a plus five weapon, I would probably still be using Melfs. If the M1 incest mod you got to degenerate, you're probably not. Probably not anytime soon. Hey, I keep forgetting that they am gone without being stolen, it's the stars. No beginning, no end, I'm a symbol of the world cycles, that's the circle. They're yeah, probably not gonna stream that shit. Although the fucking the the constant romance mod sounds hilarious where you can literally have sex with like everybody in the game. It's oh wait, those are my paws of the cheetah. Where did I get these? Oh, that's right, from fucking uh Planner Prison. Oops, hold up. I think there's the time one here. This Sun. This is the sword. This is silence. This is the mirror. This is the hourglass. And this is death. Easy. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. But Firecrag unsheathing his mighty sword could be a possibility at some point. Yes. I don't even remember if the riddles are even worth it. I don't know if we actually get anything from doing this or not. Fucking riddles, boys. Yeah, I remember we get the Ring of Regen, but I meant uh, XP-wise. I don't remember if the XP is complete dog shit or if it's actually useful. I'm pretty sure it's dog shit, but we'll do it one more time to be sure. Five K per person. Well, that's thirty thousand XP. Yes. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Like thy oh, will be done. Oh, all right. If this is wish. a role I am glad to play. I, <laughs> my raven. What do you want? Yay, we did it. Oh shit, I actually leveled up too, so that was worth it then. I want to summon, maybe send a summon. I don't know if that's a way. Oh fuck, I gotta scroll up. Yeah, don't hate. All XP matters, that's what I'm saying, dude. There's a cat person and methods in the other room. Oh yeah. We're gonna do that after we grab the other stones. We'll do that all at once. Alright, level up, boys. Oh shit! Level eight, boys. Level fucking eight. All right, I think we decided that spell trigger was the way to go here, so we can use a lower resist. 
on uh, Adelon when we get to that crazy bitch. And then we'll probably go with Horde Wilting after that. And then maybe Incendiary Cloud. And Simulacrum will be way late in TOB. Maze isn't terrible, but everything else here is pretty much dog shit. Pure Shield's not bad. It's like a Breach Lower Resist combined into one. So we're definitely going to take Spell Trigger, 100%. Hundred percent. Good shit, boys. Oh yeah, we're getting real, clo real close to some levels here. Uh, Edwin's one hundred sixty. He's gonna get level eights before we leave, I think. Actually, no, not quite. He's gonna get level eight in the the fish city, I think. We get a juicy chunk for finishing uh, this crap, though. For that, yeah. Fate, I shall be glad to that. If you but learn to play. Enter in my father's name. Oh, we have to re attack when that's right for the needy. Here it is, boys. What well, we've had the whole time, so it's not nearly as exciting to get again. The bag of holding. Let's go, dude. Good shit, good shit, good shit. We have lots of fucking arrows to sell too. I like that. Yeah. Right. All right, let's go and uh. Oh, we got the beholders. We got a couple more things to do. I'm gonna knock these out first, I suppose. It'll come back to the one T and then the rock chest at the very end. Works for me. Might as well come this way first, that way we can uh, fuck up the filthy kobolds real quick. Have you nothing else to do but master? Yes, master. What? What should I fetch now? This spell is ready to fly. I my Let's go, boys. Fucking methods, dude. Filthy creatures. Kill them all. Steak, that's right. The monster book, hell yeah, dude. Yeah, horde wielding's a really good choice. It's just we need spell trigger because we don't have it for anybody else, and that's the only way we're gonna be able to kill Adalon. If we don't have fucking a spell trigger lower resistance, there's pretty much no fucking way we kill Adalon, dude. Hi, a fair gambit. Fuck are you guys going? Oh, everyone's using fucking their fists because they're retarded. Okay. A fair gambit. Tis a role I 
am glad to play. This I shall be glad to play. What? The Mind Flayer teleported to me and then ate my brain instantaneously. And I wasn't paying attention because I was watching up here. I'm a little butthurt right now, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe the, uh, maybe the low int wasn't actually the smartest idea. Maybe the low int wasn't the right thing to do there. 13 int would have saved you, I know! Ah! No! No! Holy fucking moly. Let's see. Yeah, there's no way around it, boys. I died, legit, I failed. Run's over. But, we did make some mistakes this run. We now know that we can get 40k per person by going in the smart way. We know that we can get a little extra HP, B, XP and BG1, which will allow us to get Jahira with higher stats early. And we know that we can fucking, uh... We know not to invite Hair to Lisa to the party too early. So he doesn't get screwed in XP. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. It's... I was legitimately killed. I forgot that the Mind Flayer might not actually stay there. It can teleport on top of me. I... Every time I fought Mind Flayers in the past, I was always used to my dude kiting. Uh, yeah. We're gonna do SOD this run. Um... I promised that I was going to do an SOD run, and so we're going to do it. Um, you know, get silver pantaloons, too. Yeah, there's a lot of things we screwed up in SOA. A lot of things we did perfectly, but a lot of things we screwed up as well. So, uh, full party of wild mages and see how long you can stay alive. I've tried that. We didn't get to, uh, we didn't even make it to Nashkel before we got killed by Fireball. It was, yeah, wild mages aren't the way to go. We are doing, um... A sorcerer again. I said the second one was still going to be a sorcerer because uh, I don't remember why, but I did. Sorcerer is this run, uh, next run, and then we're going to be swapping to another class after that. I haven't decided on the next class yet, but we are going to be remaking a sorcerer, boys. And we're going to get the fucking Amelison, damn it. This is the perfect run. And I was just not paying attention. I need to be, uh, I need to pay more attention for sure. Alright, let's, uh, let me go and fucking make this command here, so. Alright. All right, boys, uh, we're going to be back in just a second. We're going to do uh, start with BG1 again like we always do. Sorry, guys. But we're going to power through it. We're going to go real hard, and we're going to get back to BG2 quick. Um, if you guys want to see certain characters, uh, type it out in chat, and we'll see what we can do here, boys. All right? I'll be back in just a moment, guys. Thanks for watching. Sorry uh, we ended up dying there. Uh, we'll be back in just a minute, guys, and we'll get it started. God bless you, my friends. Thanks for watching, dudes. Did you try looking at donations? Did you get it to work too? Um, I couldn't find anything wrong with it, man. But 
to be honest, I don't think we've had one since, uh, yeah, we haven't had one since you tried last time, so hopefully it's not broken. Um, I'll be back in just a second, guys. Thanks for watching, guys, and God bless, my friends. Be back in just a few. Just gonna go grab a fresh beverage, and we'll get started with BG. God bless you, dude. Spear back. Yeah, and uh, he teleported behind me and ate my brains. What's up, Tony Owl? How's it going, my dude? Yeah, that's sad, man. Yeah, I, I haven't quite decided who we're going to run with in SOD. I'm actually tempted to make an additional character to run with me, just because, honestly, uh, you're kind of screwed in Siege of Dragon Spear with the shitty companions you get. Edwin's great. Bailoth's great. Um, you lose Monterond. You lose fucking Kagan. You lose... Yeah, that's literally exactly what happened. Teleported behind me, nothing personnel. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Teleported behind me and ate my fucking brains, boys. A berserker mage is an additional companion. I might just do a pure berserker or something, I don't know. I just, I want to have a fucking tank of some sort and fucking... I don't know, man. Hey, thank you so much for the follow, Tony Al. Welcome to the stream. You picked a good time to join, buddy, right? And we got our ass pounded by a, uh, by a Mind Flayer. Can't believe that happened. Holy fuck. Because I'm, I'm looking uh, at my project image, right? And of course he sees through me because uh, Mind Flayers can see through invisibility. So even though my project image is up, he's eating the brains of my actual character who can't move or fight back, right? So, unfortunate. That was brutal. That was brutal for sure. Where is that flying pickup truck video? I have no idea, dude. I have no idea where I got that. I just thought it was a funny gif because I like shit that can fly. Ugh, I can't believe that fucking happened, dude. So we gotta keep that in mind. Project image, bad spell to use. <laughs> Project image, we don't want to use that around mind flayers because it freezes you in place. Making your brains delicious and easy to access, boys. We're gonna power through BG1. I'm gonna go to the Basilisk area right off the bat, collect all that juicy XP for myself, so we level up extremely quickly. Uh, let's see here. I gotta go and swap the games over.
Damn. All right. It's all good, boys. It's all good. Worst death of any run? Pretty much, man. I love money. Yes, I do. Does this work? <laughs> it does. Thank you so much, Ron the Seraphim. I appreciate it, my dude. God bless you, man. Thank you so much. Look at this fucking speechless. You miss every single thing I ever write. Holy shit. I can't read, but I'm going to wing this super hard spell that took some guy 30 years to write down. I'm pretty as fuck, though. Exactly, man. Dude, I'm sorry, Arkham Barov. It's fucking hard to read your shit, dude. You died? Yeah, we died. Worst death of any run, for sure. Let me link it again here. Oof! Not even once finished it. We are gonna be doing SOD, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So you have to take fucking something retarded. I don't know. Uh, let's see. You maybe want to reinstall and play for the hundredth time? Good shit, man. It's a fun game for sure. Yeah, you're not missing much by not seeing SOD. Fuck, I don't know if we can even do it with Triple Mage. Maybe. Yeah. Definitely be interesting. That's right, we get, uh, we get Edwin the Cobbler portrait again. Hell yeah, boys. Let's go. Alright, we're doing the salty run back of the Sorcerer, man. That was going so perfectly! Oh, that was gonna be perfect! We are gonna do it. We are gonna do the thing. Make it elf? No, dude. Elves are unaesthetic as fuck, dude. They're so... I hate the way they look. I really do. I can't stand the way elves look. Hold on, let me turn this music down here. Fuck me, dude. Should we go for the create party and pick up an extra person to take us with the, take with us to SOD? I'm tempted to do that. Elf, dude. The only way you could get me to play an elf is through a fucking, through fucking. I don't know. It doesn't really count. Yeah, for sure. But he just doesn't have any fucking HP, man. You go hard, you don't go at all. Fighter Mage Steve, one of them Fighter Mage player or the other, <laughs> no balls. Fuck, no balls confirmed, dude. So is quite high production value mod with very mediocre content and dubious writing with a little bit of SOG SJW sauce. Blue kidding. They have any turn Who cares how it looks? If it saves your nobody face once, it was worth it. No, dude. Elves suck ass, man. They're unesthetic, dude. Look at this shit. What do you get? One bonus to thack out of weapons I can't use. One dexterity. You put me at 20 dex, big fucking whoop, minus one constitution. Charm and sleep magic, we didn't even get hit by those. We didn't get hit by any of those, man. Wait, what else is there, actually? The gnome sorcerer. Run it back, nah, dude, human's the way to go, man. Everything about human is just aesthetic as fuck. I think the real question is, do we want to do a dragon disciple again? If we do a regular sorcerer, we get another spell cast per level. Oh, that's right, we get a massive AC bonus, too. Yeah, I think we'll go with the Disciple again. Then I could actually end up tanking myself, so that would be work out well. Alright, here's the best part of the game, boys. Alright, give me like a 98, dude. Like, high 90s. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it, chat. Take Gnome for the plus one int. Yeah, maybe the one int would have saved me last time. Man, fuck me, dude. Still can't believe it. I swear, he didn't even hit me more than once. He just gulped my brains down in two seconds. Just... I didn't even see it pop up saying I got hit. Take when you take an elf. <laughs> Fucking Infravision. Definitely make another character? Alright, we'll do the create party button then. A human berserker? Alright.
Oh, do we want a dwarf berserker? These portraits are fucking brutally terrible. I do like this dwarf picture. I like this guy here. We could just roll with a dwarven defender if we really wanted to. If we really wanted to have a tank, just roll with a fucking dwarven defender. This shit's so busted. It's actually retarded how busted it is. Uh, we're gonna be playing through SOD Open Mars, so we're uh, creating an extra character because uh, Beam Dog really hamstrings you. Female one, then out of a sausage fest. I'm okay with that. You don't want a female dwarf though. That's just ridiculous. Yeah, we're not taking it into. We're not taking the BG two. This is literally just for SOD. Ever thought about playing Temple of Elemental Evil? Never heard of that. So as I run a Dwarven Defender in Legacy of Baldic difficulty, and never have an issue surviving. Yeah, uh, Dwarven Defenders are pretty retarded, dude. A female Dwarven Defender? That'd actually be kind of funny. It doesn't really matter what her stats are either. This isn't dog shit stats though. How have you not heard of TOE? What the trick? How am I bad, dude? Sorry, friend. Holy shit, I forgot. We gotta actually roll for strength here. Dude, come on. What? Is it impossible to get a decent strength roll if you roll a dwarf? Apparently it is. Oh shit, there it is, boys. Nice, I'll check it out. Alright, now that other shit matters. Dude, check out the female dwarf. What? Did you give her the old lady voice? That's awful. These voices are fucking horrific. Hell yeah. Celine Dion? Celine Dion or Angela Merkel? What do you guys think? I mean, charisma? Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, I think we'll go with Celine Dion. Circle of Eight mod? I'll definitely check it out for sure. Oh fuck, it screwed up and gave her- oh, Son of a bitch, I'd make my dude first. Or right, you guys can think of more names while we uh while I roll my stats here. Rita Hayworth. These are some good fucking names, dude. I don't even know how to respond to this shit. Yeah, nobody seems to like Angela Merkel. No, we're never gonna get that awesome roll we had last time, are we? Just give me something low nineties, dude. Just lowball that shit. Alright, what do we need? We need this. We need that. And fuck me. We don't really need strength at all. What did we do last time? I think we ended up getting a constitution bonus. What was our constitution bonus? We get two for class, and then one for... Exferring over to uh, BG2, so that's a three bonus total, which would put us at 20, which would give me passive regen. But 
once again, we are at the bare minimum for fucking intelligence. Yeah, but I want to have a charisma. I guess we could drop the charisma. I don't want to cast friends every time we talk to somebody. You were at 19 when you died? Was I really? Huh. Let's see if we can get a, a low 90, get a few more points of intellect, please. This also means I have to share XP with my fucking idiot that I make. Oh, that's gonna suck. I don't wanna do that. Rolling for the 10th time is the best part of BG. Hell yeah, dude. This is what gets me off. This is the shit that fucking makes me excited, boys. Yeah, I think we might end up sansing the companion. The, uh, the Dwarven Defender. In fact, I'm going to do that on purpose. I'm going to stand the companion on purpose because one of the big things that pisses me off about SOD is who they give you for companions. And so we're going to do that on purpose. We're not running with a companion. It's just going to be me and we're going to pick up nothing but SOD companions. We're going to do that on purpose. That makes total sense because what we're going to do with this SOD run is we're going to play through the whole thing and I'm going to talk about it and give my personal thoughts on what they did good and what they did bad. And then we're never going to see fucking... You're never going to see SOD on the stream again. Unless for some reason everybody like super enjoys it. But I personally don't like it. Not a fan. You and strong independent women? Dude, I get fucking Vicky in my party all the time. She's a strong independent woman that don't need no human male. Did you not have a coffee before running the spell hold? No, I did not, dude. I could use some coffee. There goes the 1800 fire. Ah, eh, fuck it, dude. Like I said. Honestly, that would... Like I said, we we want to fucking experience SOD for what it was made to be. Because it forces you to run with shitty companions. And that was one of my biggest gripes about the game, so... I'm gonna run with those shitty companions. Alright, we're never gonna get a decent roll, boys. No. No. You know, fantasy RPG with that stereotypical drunken dwarven fighter. That's what I'm saying, dude. Fucking bandlets. When will they learn, dude? No, he didn't even give me one night. Oh my god, a 95. Ah! Mercy! I almost didn't click over it, too. Alright, we're just gonna give it like one more minute and then we're just gonna go. I'm excited for SOD run, I only played it once. Yeah, it's uh, something else for sure. Fuck! How do I keep clicking past these? Why am I an idiot? Alright, we got an 89 in the backlog, boys. Roll past the 101 months, didn't play for three months. The buy system make a character that rolling for 15 minutes, that's what I'm saying, dude. Alright, we're just gonna go one more minute and then we're gonna start. Get a reboot computer, put another room to fully reset the counters. That's brutal, man. All right, another 30 seconds, then we're out of here. Come on, give me a decent roll, game. Or if you're not always in for 1888. Oh, yeah, dude, I feel your pain, man. Believe me, I've been there, buddy. I've been there. Yeah, the highest roll I've ever gotten was 102. I didn't even know you could get 100, and I got 102. It's fucking insane. I think the max is 108. All right, another 10 seconds. Cool. Come with me there. Hey, God mode enabled. Thank you so much for the follow, my friend. Bless you and welcome to the stream. I refuse to play it. I just enjoy watching you slog through it. As well, the Rangers. Well, yeah, Rangers get really high rolls. Because they have a lot of base stats they need to get to a minimum certain number. All right, we're done. 
All right, let's go. Uh, that's good. That's fine. I want this at 17. I could go with, like, the bare minimum strength, I suppose. Man, we're at 12, and we actually have less now than we had before. How's that even possible? Oh, because I put more points in Constitution. All right, let's do another 30 seconds, then. Darts. And whoa. Magic missile and shocking grass. That's the recommended spell. Shocking fucking grass. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Miss me with that shit. What did I, robes did I have last time? I had some badass robes, right? Those actually look pretty good. I think it was like one of these purple robes that looked badass. That is so bright. It actually looks pretty sweet. Alright, what's our name, boys? Approximate time when Spell Review comes out on YouTube. It should be out this weekend. That's the goal. Which class do you play? We're going with Sorcerer. Beholders, Mind Flayers, Gibberlings. Oh, dear. Yeah. We died to a Mind Flayer, unfortunately. What's up, Cam Dog? John Wayne. That's my guy right there. Nice. Good choice, Sir Devons. Let's go, boys. John Wayne is ready for battle. Yeah, we had an unfortunate accident, sadly. What are you gonna do, boys? What are you gonna do? What are you going to do when a Mind Flayer teleports behind you and you can't move because you're busy projecting your image elsewhere? Oh, man. He's retarded. Hey, dude, you can't, don't, you can't hate on John Wayne now. Hold up a second. Hold up a second. Yeah, here, uh, link the, uh, Lee Marvin. Alright, uh, we don't need to buy jack shit. Let's just get out of here. Because we're gonna go get a buttload of XP right off the bat from, uh, doing the Basilisk, so... Doing the Candle Keep quest is just a waste of time. Let's just get going, let's... Let's get going. Yeah, it was, uh... I've had better moments, for sure. I've had less embarrassing deaths. It's something that we didn't think about, and now we have to keep in mind, is that Project Image... You know, that's a spell you want to be careful with, because you can't do anything when you're projecting. You can't do anything when you're projecting, boys, and that's something I gotta remember and keep in mind for later. How perfect would it be if I get ambushed right here and just die right off the bat? Would that not be the most perfect run ever? Just die instantly to a fucking... Do a fucking bandit ambush two seconds in and then we get to go re-roll all over again. I love it. Every run you learn something new. You really do, man. Like the other run we learned that genius potions stack. That's pretty cool. That means the low int garbage that's screwed us so many times in the past is never going to happen again. Herod Elise is never going to fail to learn spells. Yan is never going to fail to learn spells. We didn't know that before? Now we do. The Garin's belt? I don't want his belt, dude. Not a problem. Garin's belt will turn me into a bitch. That's why I don't roll with shit like that, you hear me? Ain't got time for such nonsense. Let's see. Hmm. Even Saravok didn't want a smelly bell? That's what I'm saying, dude. Saravok picked that shit up. He's like, what a loser. 
Where's a belt this size and this color? Unaesthetic, boys. That was the problem. Saravok is like, fuck this shit. Who on earth would be fool enough to wear a belt like this? Besides, he's even got a monogram. It literally says Garion's belt on it. It's like putting name tags on your underwear, man. There's just no reason for that shit. How many hours was that one? I'm not too sure. Probably was a fanny pack? That's what I'm saying, dude. He's got his change in there. He's going to Wet and Wild or something. So he's rocking the fanny pack to make sure he doesn't lose his money in the water. Loser. The galaxy is in Garin's belt? Oh shit. Well fuck, maybe we should go back. I'm not too sure how many hours that was. That would have been what? Usually takes two days for BG1. And you get halfway through it. Shadows of Om is usually two to three days. So maybe about four or five days total. Looking at about maybe 30 hours. Something of that sort. Yeah, I didn't consider the galaxy could have been on Orion's belt, boys. I know what I was thinking there. No wolves, fuck. Ah, yeah, trick him. If you fucking click next to him, they'll fucking sometimes go over there. Oh shit, no, get away. Get away, get away. Oh dear. Oh dear. We actually died. Holy fucking moly. Do you have any potions? We don't. Oh, he missed! Holy shit, we made it, dude. We fucking made it, boys. Yeah, it should be okay. Holy fucking moly, that was close. Alright, yeah, Korax, get in there, buddy. Yeah, show that Tesla who's boss. Beat him down with my staff. And he dropped the scroll of protection from petrification. Such irony, lads. Such irony. Alright, this is the one here, boys. I'm calling it right now. This is it. This is where we fucking finally pull it off. Korax thinks you look very tasty today, boys. Get him, Korax. Yeah, that's my boy. I'm gonna bash this fucking bassless brains in. So we'll do this. This will give us a huge chunk of XP. And we can go and pick up our party members. And this should uh, speed up our run significantly. I'm gonna take Shark Tail for your thief? I fucking doubt it. I don't see that happening anytime soon. We're gonna go grab uh, Monty for a thief like we always do. Are you selling this time? No, just for the beginning. We get some extra XP, and this should make our run go a lot smoother and a lot quicker. Because we want to get back to BG2, like. We want to finish BG1 tomorrow. We want to be on to SOD, literally, in a day or two. Turned off stone skin color? <laughs> I wish. I just don't have stone skin. Yeah, I was considering that. The only reason I don't do that XCFX relay is because it's actually useful to know who has stone skin on and who doesn't without having to look at your fucking icons and find it. Later, Fighter Thief Dual Class trying to decide to play, not dual, multi rather. I have. It's okay. I'd rather go with um, Fighter Dual to Thief or uh, playing with a Cleric or Mage at Methos. I wouldn't go Fighter Thief uh, multi. I've played literally every fucking class combo in the game. Alright, another spell, boys. What do we take? What do we take? I think we go with sleep and then take magic missile after that. It will be done. Favorite Infinity Engine game? Not the best one, but favorite? Definitely Baldur's Gate for sure. Yeah. Definitely my favorite. I'm always good casters with guys my favorite. I guess I should do that. Yeah, that's what I that's what I do too, man. I like having mage spells. Like fighters are fun, don't get me wrong, it's just I was always a I was born to be a wizard, man.
I was born to whiz. Let's beat his ass down. Spank him with my fucking staff, dude. 30 year old wizard, yeah. If only I didn't make mistakes when I was younger, I could have fearsome wizard powers in real life. Feels bad, man. What are you gonna do, boys? I could be one of the most cutting of sorcerers right now. If only I had remained strong. Alas. Do an Avenger? I would be down to try an Avenger. I haven't played an Avenger in forever. It's ironic that the good spells they get aren't really that good. And Druid spells actually get some really good spells to begin with, so they're kind of like nullified in, in essence. Uh, let's see. I think we'll just go with a mirror image here. Although Blur is good too. I think mirror image is better though. It will be done. Would it be funny if Korax could join the party? If only, dude. I'd invite Korax to the party. Korax would be my ghoul. That's why I was considering running with TX, is just so you can summon a ghoul. Which is always fun. Might go with TX instead of Viconia. We could do that. Wait, where's Mudaman? Holy shit, I'm a mile away from Mudaman. What the fuck am I doing? I was also considering a ranger duel to cleric at some point so you can get, uh, basically both fucking, uh, both, uh, cleric and druid spells. Get him, Korax! Yes! Right off the bat, dude! That's what I'm talking about. That's my ghoul right there, boys. Fighter druids are fun. Fighter druids are fun. I think it's better to dual class them though, because if you multi-class, man, you're basically Jahira. You're not gonna have your fucking druid shit for fucking years, dude. I think a fighter uh, dueling the druid would be better, but it's really hard. Man has a new best friend? Hell yeah, and his name is Korax. Dude, look at him. He's adorable, too. There it is. That's good, dude. Adorable, look at him. He's got his- why do ghouls wear loincloths? Did you guys ever wonder about that? Like, obviously I understand that, you know, you don't want to show what's swinging down there, if there is anything down there, but at the same time it's like, are ghouls self-conscious? You know what I mean? Do they actually think about shit like that? Like, oh no. I want to eat these brains, but I'm naked. Alright, so let's see. I think we'll take the magic missile and then we'll do friends at the very end. And here we'll go ahead and get a... Uh, let's see, what did we take for a second? Was it Glitter Dust? I think it was Glitter Dust, but we do want to blur it too. I think blur will be next. Alright, last one, boys. Well, shit. You know, if I get 8k more XP, then I actually have 32k XP, which means everyone in my party will join at like practically max level and we can kind of like rush to the end of the game huh his genitals are reversed and he's embarrassed he's got the front but oh shit that explains everything i appreciate Cor corex my boy oh no gibberlings i can solve that problem let's go dude I appreciate Corex. Cool guy. See, I have 10 magic missiles. It might actually be possible for me to go to Durlag's tower and kill the horrors out front by just kiting them with magic missile. Hmm. Was the Inconsumed the Flesh there anime there by their cannibalistic urges? Okay, that makes more sense. Might actually give this a go, boys. If we could hit 32k XP. That would make this run the easiest run of all time, really.
Kite horror, swing his last words. I mean, we can always use bail. It's not like we have to do him, right? Man, come at me, bro. What a fuck. Yeah, this thing is gonna be unkillable. I'm an idiot. Yeah, there's no way I kill this thing. Unless I hit him with a glitter dust here, there's fucking no way in hell. Wait, yeah, save your spell. Fuck. Oh, he's already at injured, actually. But yeah, as soon as he gets into melee, he's just gonna smack my ass. Okay, this is a mistake. Oh! The miss! Whoa! Okay, this is so dumb of me. What the fuck was I thinking? No, I cancelled my own fucking spell. Alright. Alright, game. You got me, dude. Fucking got me. Really? Alright, well, fuck you up then, bitch. I ain't giving a fuck. Ask me how much shit I give right now, dude. Answer's none. How about I just go breathe on your ass? How about that, huh? Yeah. I don't know if we can actually kill this thing. Well, he actually came up and meleeed me. Critical hit, 16 damage, dude. Alright, dude, come on. Cast a magic missile! Alright, this is getting ridiculous. We're just gonna go grab our party now, boys. I'm done with this crap. This is getting a little silly. Alright boys, I'm gonna go grab some food, I'll be back in just a second. I would go with the scimitar for sure. Spears and clubs are dog shit. Uh, thanks for watching guys, we'll be back in just a few while I uh, massacre this food real quick. Thank you so much for watching friends, God bless, we'll be back in just a few minutes.
hate the woods. Prey be so much easier to find in the city. And we back. Sorry about the wait, boys. All right, let's get it on. Yeah, it's definitely hard to continue when your brain's been devoured, for sure. That's some quick skills on my part. I alt-tab, hit mute, and then sneeze into my little uh, towel here. I'm a stud, dude. What can I say? Sorry, guys. Give me just a second here while I sneeze my brains out, and then we'll get started. <clears throat> All right, now we're good. All right, Zara, you can get fuck off. Actually, is the belt still there? Do we want Garin's belt? No, his belt's gone. Somebody else picked it up. All right, take it easy, Zara. Thanks for playing, buddy. <clears throat> what do you need? Will be done. All right. Yeah, <clears throat> unfortunate how we met our end there, boys, but it's not the end of the world. Just the end of the run. Sorry, we got a camera now so we can actually watch me eat food. If this isn't the dream, I don't know what is, boys. Let's see, put him at 16? Yeah. I'll take that. <clears throat> I'll definitely take that. Nice. One smack from my stick and he's down, boys. Oops. I actually didn't mean to click that. Where's the fucking bartender, you asshole? Come here, I need to buy something from you. 
<clears throat> yeah, it was uh, it's pretty brutal to be honest. Teleport behind me while I couldn't even move to defend myself. Could be worse though, boys. I mean, actually, no, I take it back. It couldn't have been worse. Because we died, so. We learned a lot that run. We did. Not a problem. We learned a hell of a lot. <clears throat> Excuse me. We learned we can take the Claw of Kaskar off. We learned Project Image versus Mind Flayers is a terrible idea. We learned that we don't want to pick up Air to Lease too early. And we learned that getting ourselves committed gives us about 200,000 XP. It will be done. All those things are very important, which we're going to keep in mind for next run. And also, for the first time ever, we're going to do Siege of Dragon Spear on stream. If you don't help me, <clears throat> kill me. Should be fun, boys. Should be fun. I have no spells, holy shit. There we go. Nice see you. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Oh, I mean, that's the plan, unless you guys don't give a shit. But yeah, no rule change just because we're doing SOD. I mean, I guess we could just do no and just do one full run guaranteed, right? Oh, I don't know. I heard you're saying, yeah. Might just do one full run of SOD and then say fuck it and not do it anymore. I mean, I shouldn't die though. The hardest fight is the final boss. Well, the hardest fight is the Lich. And we never do the Lich because uh, we always side with him. And by we always, I mean we're going to side with him. That's just how I do the run. Let's see, did she use both her commands? I think she did, yeah. Yeah, without SCS, it's, it's, it shouldn't be too difficult. He keep her Vagoni the Cleric Mage this time? Probably not. <clears throat> Might do that for the next run. Yeah, the Mind Flayer still would have teleported, and the Mind Flayer can still see invisibility. Yes, not a problem. I was screwed either way, Rainer. There's no way. <clears throat> I can hear the ear of the infinite rant? Yeah, of course. I mean, it's possible, I guess. Fuck, I forgot we don't have any spells to fight these idiots. We picked up Miriam's letter, right? Yeah, we did. Woo!
poke at me? Not a problem. Alright, apparently we can't rest up there. Hey, everybody, thank you so much for the follow, my friend. Bless you and welcome to the stream. I apologize if I'm mispronouncing your name. You let me know in chat if there's a way you'd like me to say it. Yeah, we, uh, I mean, we'll be alright. Most of SOD is pretty fucking easy. We do have multiple mages, and we will be getting level 5 spells. I'm pretty sure you can get spell immunity in SOD. I'm not 100% sure. But I'm pretty sure you can. <clears throat> Excuse me. And depending on how you do the final fight, it can be piss easy too. Even with insane difficulty taking double damage. With ease. With your hurry with your Looks like we got no soldiers aggroing on us, so that's good. Alright. Strolling into town with the big dick in the locker room. Let's go, boys. Hey, let's go. Maybe I should have tanked my strength even harder. I'm not gonna boost it. Why is my charisma so high? Oh, because of my stupid my club fits right. I was like, hold up, what the hell? It will be done. Yeah. I mean like that's the only time you're ever gonna get your brain devoured by a mind player though. It's so easy to kite them out. And I usually watch my dude like a hawk. I'm usually like, okay, we gotta be ready, here it comes. I said don't eat my brain at least like a dozen times when we were doing the tunnels last time. It just slipped my fucking mind this time. Unfortunate for sure. Unfortunate for sure. Playing while I'm watching the stream at the same time is the meaning of life. Good shit, dude. Collect my 200 gold this time, boys. Our rep is just fine. Five is a great rep. My favorite rep of all time. Edwin the Cobbler, boys. In the party, ready for battle. Let's do our uh, script save real quick. Hell yeah! Well, I'm glad I can. Uh, glad I could do that for you, buddy. Provide such a service. <clears throat> God, my nose is killing me today. Sorry about that, boys. Apologize for that, friends. I'm getting down, coming down with a cold or something here. All right, let's buy some slings, lads. Buy some slings and let's go and sling some shit. Let's see. We need 12 per person, so we got four people, it's 48. Okay.
Yeah. Perfect. Let's go. Let's go grab our last few bags. We're going to go and pick up the potion case, gym case, and then we're ready to finally get it started, lads. Nobody cares, Rashad. Fuck off. Idiot. All right, boys, let's do it. Come on, Monty, don't let me down now, boy. You know what needs to happen here. Yeah. All right, lads. Fingers crossed. Let's get that good RNG. Give it to me, boys. Give it to me. Yeah! Perfect. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Alright. We got the gym bag now. Let's go grab our potion case and we are ready. Good job. That's what I'm saying, dude. That's why I'm so proud of Monty, man. He's my favorite midget. He's my favorite halfling, boys. Let's be real here. No one ganks like Gaston, and nobody backstabs like Monty. Spawn Kagan and uh, Monty and SOD? That would definitely be hit fucking useful for sure. Man, having Kagan for all of SOD would be fantastic. Holy shit. Not a problem. That would definitely be the dream for sure. Although... Once I get spell immunity, I could probably tank pretty decently. Most enemies don't have too many attacks per round. <clears throat> oh no, skeletons. Luckily, I have the solution here. That takes out most of them. It won't be too long before Edwin gets his level 3 spells. I think actually if we uh if we position intelligently, I think it might actually be possible for me to be tanking. Um for most of the game. I'll have decent HP. And I'll have a uh, mirror image, at least five skins, a stone skin. Let's see, I don't think we can get level six spells though, do we? No, we definitely don't get level six spells, that's crazy. But I mean a second level five spell is what I'm looking for. Yeah, we'd have to actually hit the cap, which is like 500k. That'd be nearly impossible. I mean, there might be a way to hit the actual XP cap in SOD, but when I played it last time, I think we finished with like 300k. We were nowhere close. I'm honestly not entirely sure what you could do to possibly hit the XP cap in SOD. Really have no idea what we could do to do that. It's possible, I guess, but I just I don't see it happening for sure. We are going all day, by the way, today, boys. This will be the uh, first time, and not the last time, where we finally go all the way to six o'clock without a problem, without a hitch. Uh, Edwin's dead as fuck. Come on, cobbler, get out of there, buddy. The cobbler. Yeah, we made it. Not a problem. Honestly, the only enemies that really annoy me the most. I'll I'll talk I'll talk about them when I get there. There's one enemy in SOD that makes me butt hurt and it's fucking everywhere. I have no idea why they put it everywhere. But I'll tell you about it when we get to SOD. I'm gonna be talking a lot during the SOD run, like pretty much the whole fucking time. About what beam dog did that's just absolutely retarded and what they did that's actually good i only care for me whom i like but later on she gets annoying and simply pissed me off with a dialogue screw these characters monks seem bland <laughs> work is ridiculous and gay figuratively and literally yeah i feel uh i feel the same way my friend i'm not a fan to be honest
<clears throat> Should be able to get in here and get a nap off real quick. Go snag our uncat armor. Knock out Edwin's quest. Should be good. I guess we can go do Kagan's quest too, now I think about it. Alright. We are sufficiently well rested, boys. Fuck, why didn't I buy spells while I was there? Yes. I'm such a dumbass, dude. Oh well. Same as Glenn as well. Yeah, I don't know. No. Uh, it's just... Strange decision making. Not a problem. Strange choices, boys. Should we go grab the Yonkei Grim? Well, I can go left and then come back. That'll work too, I think. We get Norse? Okay. You get off me. Get off me, dude. Are you serious? Turn AI off for everybody except myself. Good thing I'm mirror imaged right there. I swear this fucking AI, dude. It will be done. There we go. This saves us some walking, right? I'm a genius, boys. Save maybe 10 seconds of walking. So good at this game. We're gonna have Kagan wear the on cake for now, even though it's better on uh, Vicky. Just because I want him to have the highest armor we can possibly give him. Until he gets his gauntlets of dexterity, which to be fair is quite soon, but still. I stand ready. Hmm? I stand ready. What is it now? Hmm? Not a problem. Again you disturb me. Yes? It will be done. You are so in my action. It will be done. I must rest. What is it now? Okay. Are we really gonna do this like this? What are you fuckers? Never understood why the bandits don't ever attack anybody. He's gonna head till he was dead. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Some of which are better than this. Then it comes from a person who would scrap 90% of the NPC romance ones. Anyways, yeah, fair enough. Those things are truck near already. Yep, near is dead as fuck. Nira is dead as fuck as she should be. Be yes, don't mind other monster everyone. Yeah, for sure. Woo, that's a lot of dogs. You bit moles again? Okay. There's some RNG you're looking for. Yeah, but I mean, even if that's the case, there are five chicks for you to romance and one dude for you to romance. In every single game. Well, to be fair, Beamdog added a lot of more romances for some reason. But the original game was just like... You had a couple chicks and then one dude. If you were a chick, you're out of luck if you didn't like Animan. Pretty much just Animan, right? Yeah, who else would it be? Turning Animan evil and then romancing him. That'd be funny as fuck. I wish there were more options to turn NPCs evil. Like, there's so many ways to redeem evil characters. I want to turn my whole party into, like, bitter, angry people. Fuck, that's a dread wolf.
Yeah, I would love to fucking turn... I'd love to turn Keldorn into a fallen paladin. This goes on an angry, murdering rampage. Do the same shit with Animan. Turn... I, I don't know if I'd turn Minx evil. Minx could be a lot more fun if he was evil, though, for sure. I definitely want Yan to turn into this evil bastard. I really went overboard with them. Immortal Romance? Yeah. I honestly, I half expected to see Immortal Romance built into the game. If when people said you can romance people, I expected Immo to be one of them. I really did. You paid to walk it. You must with you. All right. Let's go. Yeah, I, I expected that shit to be built into the game. <clears throat> I really did. And the original mod was ridiculous as fuck from what I hear. Went a little overboard. To say the least. Yeah, I, I we were talking about that at one point too. It was, it was fucking hilarious. Holy shit. Really? I've never played it, but I heard everyone say it was just fucking ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. It was the whole the whole joke that we've said numerous times here is a there's a chapter a journal chapter called Furcrag unsheaths his mighty sword. That shit just cracked me up, dude. Like I'm five years old, giggling. Like a little kid giggling at sex ed, man. What's wrong with me? Made by a woman, if I recall correctly. No. Holy shit, Kagan, you have like negative five AC and he's getting wrecked by experts, man. What's up with that shit? It's definitely uh, definitely on the list of ridiculousness, for sure. But hey, to each his own, man. To each his own, boys. I'm not here to judge. I may giggle, but I won't judge. Yeah, I guess I am kind of judging. Making good time, boys. Good time, boys. Good progress. Let's keep on going. Okay. Let's do it up. It will be done. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of... I didn't really use too many mods when I was a kid. And I was just like, oh, you know, these are fucking... That's cool, but I thought most of them were kind of stupid, really. Because they almost invariably add an enormous amount of power to your character, and I thought the game was too easy to begin with. And that's what got me into Tactics and SCS originally, is when I first got Tactics, I installed that with a bunch of other mods. And when I played the game, I was like, this is actually unplayable. Yeah. I installed Tactics, I installed SCS, I didn't give a shit if there were fucking complications. I installed a couple other mods that I don't remember the names of. I literally walk out of Irenicus's dungeon after a grueling dungeon, right? I walk out, I'm jumped by three vampires that immediately start casting HLAs and just murder me into the fucking ground and there is not a damn thing I can do about it. And I'm like, you know what, maybe maybe uh, installing all these mods is a bit too much. And then I, I started doing just tactics, and then I felt the check tactics was too cheesy. And uh, then I started doing just SCS. 
And tactics isn't too terribly cheesy, but there's some shit that happens that just makes you shake your head. And I prefer SCS in general, for sure. SCS feels the most balanced, I would say, of mods. I thought tactics was fun, but I felt like a lot of the shit I had to do was just... I mean, and to be fair, I do dumb shit even with SCS, like... I still run in out, of, out, out of doors occasionally. Then the modder, because she 90% of it was she. She got bullied and laughed at. <laughs> I can't imagine why. Like, I'm when I was removed from the mod, but I come back to the old story. There's some crappy mods, yeah, especially in the beginning. So, like, Darkest Day and DSOTCS almost killed the scene. Wow. Quaff's Potion of Fortitude. I like that. I have no fucking spells. That is fantastic. I actually got a handful of them. Oh dear. Dragon ambush out of nowhere. How hard is it for us to auto attack? Pretty difficult, it seems. Oh, they're already all up already? Oh shit. I don't have my dragon's breath, do I? Yeah, I don't. Whole person work on moles. Wow. Hmm. Where am I work here? Line could work too. Okay. Oh, he lost his weapon too. That's fantastic. I still got a couple of them in there. I'm not sure if they're blinded or not. I really can't tell. Let's aim for the idiots that are actually not feared first. And we'll go for the blind next. Okay, it looks like that one up front's not blinded. We missed it again, didn't we? Yeah. Okay. I think we just need to kite out. Hmm. Kind of a mistake on my part not to uh, sleep here, really. Do we got any spells in here we could use? Another fucking horror spell might be handy. Give that a go. Ah, oh, fuck. He's gonna walk him right into me, isn't he? Okay. Okay, we managed to get one more forward here. Let's see if we can kill this asshole without, uh, getting pounded. Okay. Perfect. Okay, we can get the chicken done next, I think we'll be okay. Some spells are starting to wear off. Dagger and a bunch of experts too. Fucking love this game. Really? Expert just comes up and chops me for 40 piercing damage. Huh. It's just everywhere we go, we aggro more mods. It's like fucking, uh. It's like fucking, uh, what's the word? It's like Contra 3, right? 
We don't have an invis potion or anything. Hmm. Higgins one hit from death as well. And she's basically dead too. Yeah, we're in trouble here for sure. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Next swing on pretty much anybody and they get perma. Except Monty, actually, who's at full HP somehow. Can Monty get us out of this? I don't think he can. I think we're pretty fucked here. Oh, here comes a veteran out of nowhere, full HP. I still can't believe how much damage Kagan took. I mean, I really can't. Oh, fuck the villains coming in. If we can drop this fucking veteran right here, we might actually have a chance. Yeah, there's still just another Knolls. There's too many Knolls running free right now. And we're all just way too low on HP as is. Hard to say. Okay. And once all the Knolls get free from the Stinking Cloud, we're pretty much fucked. He's just, he's getting his HP back so damn slowly. Because these potions are literal dog shit. Oh, is this a wall here? We can't escape! Alright, that's it. We're over. It's over, boys. We're screwed. I can't, honestly, I can't believe this happened. John Wayne pretty much this is brutal right here I honestly I can't believe this shit I really can't <sighs> I'm not sure if she can get out there she might actually be able to make it if she can like kite through the cloud without getting knocked unconscious she might be able to uh, pull a couple of them away and we can fight the rest. Monty's weapon's broken up too. Hmm. How are we looking over here? Oh no, the cloud descended. Okay. Yeah, at some point the RNG is going to catch up with us and we're just fucked. We need to somehow get Keg and tank everything so Monty can get in the back and start slinging.
We can't run our Vexer against the wall here. Let him lead him all the way. I think we got this actually. I'm the best, boys. John Wayne is still alive. John Wayne is still alive. He beat cancer. He beat cancer twice. And he managed to beat the Knolls too. Alright? He had a heart attack. Nothing can keep John Wayne down, boys. Now watch me rest and get fucking ambushed. They're right in this tiny little corner here. Let's do it, boys. Oh, shit. Got them all back. We're golden. Let's go, boys. Let's fucking go. Holy fucking moly. That was brutal. Whew! Alright, we did it. That was probably the most exciting battle we've ever had in BG1. That was brutal as fuck. We blew every potion and scroll we had, though. Holy fucking moly. But it's all good. So we pulled it off. We used every potion and ability we had. Yes. Chop her up, Kagan. Albert her ass. That's what I'm saying, dude. Ah! Fucking dino hair chunks everywhere, boys. Look at them. Disgusting. Oof. Alright. We pulled it off, Les. That's all that matters. We're still going strong, and this is still the run here, boys. This is still the run. I thought it was the other run, but this is definitely it. 100%. And this will also be the first time we're going to BG2 with, S with SOD uh, XP levels, so... That'll make that very different. That actually... It almost guarantees we're going to run into liches early on. So that should actually be fun for us. Dyna Chunk? That's what I'm saying, dude. Rename her to Dyna Chunk. I think that's the only person we've never once had in our party. Aside from Nira. No, we actually put Nira in our party once in TOB. After Edwin got perma. I love money. Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Buffalo Eater, for the $6, dude. God bless you, sir. Thank you so much for the support, man. Greatly appreciate it. Yeah, okay. That's it. Okay, thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah, easy shit. Easy shit. Knowles and x -verts. They ain't got shit on me. It's just, okay, whatever, dude. That's exactly it. What you're bitching, Vicky? Right, it's a murder in God's bitch ass. God, can you imagine us doing that at, like, level 1? If we were all level 1, this run would have been over. A long ass time ago. That would have been unfortunate to say the least. Still a little butthurt by all our fucking destroyed gear. This fucking iron crisis, boys. Definitely uh, wearing hard on us for sure. Dino hair was made of dynamite! It just make her say fucking lines from that stupid show. 
Every time Dino here talks, he just ends every sentence with Dino Might. Oh shit, Winter Wolf. No. Eat that ass of damage. Get shit on. Filthy wolves, dude. Filthy dogs in my fucking country. In my fucking Baldur's Gate. Get the shit out of here, dude. I don't know why Kagan's burping all the time. He hasn't had a drink in days. Intelligence undoubtedly fleeting. Now we're at a filthy six rep right now. Puke. Six rep puke. Noel attacks John Wayne. Really? Maybe I should just stop fucking moving the camera. I need to watch my dude 24-7 because this is the second time in like the past hour where monsters have been on my guy and I wasn't even fucking looking. I wasn't paying attention. One fucking crit from one of those gnolls and I would have died right there. I gotta stop- I gotta stop doing that. Just focus on my guy. Nobody else matters. I cannot die. <clears throat> this is our last fucking command here. Pretty sure dire wolves can be slept to. Ooh. There we go. We also want to make sure we conserve money for uh, SOD. Now my pitiful strength score. Alas, boys. Alas. Rocking the same strength as Edwin, boys. We're officially Edwin tier when it comes to strength. Ten, ten. Oh wait, he's got nine. Was he really? Wow. Wait, is there no difference in strength? Oh, he gets an extra strength point in BG too. Okay. Should you keep good gems and necklaces? You have something to sell in SOD? Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. We'll probably save half our Lavrails tier necklaces and maybe a couple other items. I mean, money really shouldn't be an issue. But the problem is I usually blow all my fucking cash at the end of uh, BG1 because it's all going to disappear, right? But, um, yeah, we should have enough items to where that won't be a problem. We'll also strip Monty and uh, Kagan butt naked at the end. So we can take their gear with us. Nice. <clears throat> I'm Caldo. This is my brother, Crub. I love these voices so much. They're great. No, oh, really. Hmm. Well, I can't really stop the fucking cast shit because he hits me and crits me. I die. Okay. Okay. Well, we gotta hold on one. Let's kill the hell dude first. I'm going fuck up the other idiot. Why don't you exploit the cave bear AI? How do I exploit the cave bear AI, my friend? Does you need to buy so much stuff and all the healing potions, so and all the spells, even if it's just for casting them? Yeah. Well, we only. The thing is, myself and Baloth are both sorcerers, so we don't need scrolls. The only one who needs scrolls is Edwin. This also means that we have three motherfuckers with stone skin, which will be huge for SOD. And spell immunity is actually a must as well. And we should have all that for all of our casters. 
Ew. Bitch. Ever completed this BS Legacy of Paul difficulty mode? Yeah, that's literally what it is. I, um... I got about halfway through it, because I was like, really, you know, I was completionist at the time. I was like, yeah, I'll fucking do it real quick once. And, uh, no, nothing changes. Uh, by the time you do get wands, it gets a lot better. But no, it's just, it's still boring and stupid, a complete waste of time. It was absolutely retarded. They'll literally not attack anyone else other than the first person they see. That's true, yeah, I have done that in the past, for sure. That is definitely a true statement, friend. Yeah, the bears aren't the bears aren't the brightest bulbs in the box. They're a few corn dogs shy of a picnic. You know what I'm saying? A few wrenches short of a toolbox. If you know what I mean. Yeah, Legacy of Ball I thought was pretty terrible. <clears throat> I feel the biggest thing that pissed me off about Legacy was a Ball was just how silly it was. In the sense that if you fight a mage, his spells aren't touched. So he's going to cast a magic missile, maybe a sleep or a horror, and then he's out of spells. And now you have this dude with over 100 HP and a mirror image up, running around with his fucking staff... Smacking you for 10 minutes while you fucking kite him. It's just. It was so fucking stupid. Like, just. Yeah, not a fan. I know, maybe somebody thought that was funny, and that's why they did it, but I, I just thought it was retarded. Just thought it was dumb. Chicken with 80 HP, yeah. I just thought it was really, really stupid. You can get knocked unconscious by the rats in the candle keep, by the way. I found that out when I first did that quest. And so I'm like, okay, you know, that's an oversight. Or maybe they did that on purpose just to be funny. Again, just a joke and shit, but it's like... It's stupid. It's stupid and annoying. Like, I want to play the game. And the thing is, like, I played um, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. I thought that Legacy of Ball was going to be like, okay, you beat the game... Now you're going to redo it and everything's harder. There's going to be new items. It's going to be more difficult. It's going to be more fun, right? Because that's what Dark Alliance did. When you beat the game, you can do it on like some hard mode afterwards where they have a... Uh, they're buffed to shit. They drop way better shit. And it's really hard to do it the first time around. It may be possible, but I did it you know, a second time like I was just saying. And I thought it was fun. I thought it was great. Everything was definitely a challenge and there's new and different gear to get. And I expected the same thing with Legacy of Ball, but it was just yet another copy of Icewind Dale. A straight port of Icewind Dale's Heart of Fury mode, yeah. That's my biggest gripe about a lot of the shit that Beamdog did and SOD. When we get to it, you'll see what I'm talking about. Every single enemy in the game is copied from Icewind Dale. There is zero graphical enemies that Beamdog actually made. They didn't make a single new sprite. Every single one is straight from Icewind Dale. But I'll talk about that more once we actually get to SOD. SOD is going to be a lot of me talking and saying, like, why this is stupid and why this is shit and why this is great and why this is awesome and why they should do more stuff like this and less stuff like this. Okay, we're going to pull back here and get a mirror image up. Because these fuckers dicked us in the past. Okay, let's get a hold on that one. Get that one down. Mati, you can charge in too like an idiot. We'll keep my dude back for a second until the round resets. Yeah. That one's already about to die. Oh, my hold missed. Fuck. Let's see if my glitter dust hits. Sendai is blinded. Perfect. For someone who's blind, Sendai is really good at fucking finding my character. I wonder if she played like Marco Polo or some shit in the past and she was a little kid. 
swimming around in a pool, because she is fucking good at this shit, for sure. Uh, I thought that was a dog attacking us, it was just Ruffy. It's all good, boys, it's just Ruffy. Die, you crazy bitch. Boss well, Ryzen, yeah, he is. Heard that he should not be kiteable, killable by such a low level team, but it's typical level one party kills a dragon scenario so players feel cool about themselves. I mean, like I said, I. And again, it's hard for me to know what their thought process was. Was I know that the guy who did his voice was an extremely popular voice actor, and they. And they might have thought that, we'll bring this guy back, people know who he is, people like him, everyone will love it. To me, I thought that was literally the definition of phoning it in. Like, straight up. I, but like I said, we'll talk about that when we get there. I, I don't want to rant about it right now, because they did do good things. They really did. There were some things they did that I loved, and I'm going to point those out to you, point those out to everybody when we get there. It's a D run. Maybe I'll finally reach the ending. Yeah. Very effective verse. <laughs> wow. Is it really? His save should be fucking at zero. Let me go look him up real quick. I know he is immune to all weapons that aren't plus three. And I know he has regeneration. Level 25, 350 HP, 2010, 10, 2016, 17. Three attacks per round, base stack of three. Saves, two, four, three, two, five. Saves or spell are actually not very good. Servok comes with saves of one for every, across the board. Saravok actually has the best saves in the game of any boss you fight. Even Kangak's save or spell is like 7 or something. Immune to fire and magical fire. Half resistance to cold and magical cold. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Saber's Poly is three. Yeah, two, four, three, two, five. Death, one, Poly, Breath. They put them in a weird order. On here, it comes Breath, Death, uh, Death, uh, Wand, Poly, Breath. Wait, is that the same? No, they put Wand first on that one. Oh, uh, hey, what's up, Endog? Yeah, it was uh, kind of embarrassing. Let me link it for you here, buddy. Kind of embarrassing. A little depressing, for sure. We were crushing that run too. We were really crushing it. I was I was using project image without considering the possibility of uh the mind flayer teleporting behind me. Nothing personnel, kid. And then he just ate my fucking brains, dude. Gulped them shits up. Feels bad, boys. He would get to Barrios without getting in an accident. Oh, yeah, we made it. Go knock out the Sirens, go knock out Durlags, pick up Bailoff, and then we'll go and uh, fuck everything up. Should be good. We should be done with Baldur's Gate 1 tomorrow. And then we'll start a SOD right away. And then we'll work our way to BG2. Uh, Mind Flayer. Uh, the book you click will summon uh, monsters. One of them is a Mind Flayer. I thought that he would be focused on the uh, the swords, and I didn't consider the fact that every Mind Flayer can Dimension Door with SCS, and every Mind Flayer also sees their invisibility. So, 
Even though I'm projecting an image and I should be safe while projecting. The Mind Flayer could teleport to my character, see through my shit, see me, attack me a couple times, I can't fight back, I'm defenseless. And it lowers your int every time they attack you, and when it gets to a certain point, they can devour your brains. And uh, that's what happened. And my brains were eaten. To be fair, even if I had 25 int, I still would have died there. There is no way my party would have been able to kill the Mind Flayer in time. Because you have to dispel his invisibility before you can target him with spells. And I was pretty much screwed for sure. No matter what there. But, um, you know, it is what it is, man. It is what it is for sure. You have been by the important thing to learn from this incident is that, uh, you know, don't use fucking project image around mind flares, pretty much. That's pretty much what we learned here. Project the image, mind flare is bad. Or is this a couple times doing greater malice and maybe one works then? Yeah, we do actually can get lower resistance in uh, SOD because we're going to get level 5 spells right away. The first spell that we get in SOD should be another level 5 spell. I mean, we have to take spell immunity first of all. Uh, there's, too many there's too many mobs that dispel. And the bosses too do too, actually, so... But we might be able to take a lower resist on somebody. I mean, the thing, the only thing that's really annoying about Belafed is the fact that he teleports and disappears constantly. And he's immune to every weapon in the game, with very few exceptions. Don't take Anima Dead this time? Oh, believe me, I'm not going to. I was very butthurt about not getting Spell Shield until level 27. See, we learned a lot from last run. We really did. We learned a lot from last run, guys. Fuck, I was supposed to go up here, wasn't I? Whoops. We really did learn a lot from our fucking run. And that's why this run right here is gonna be flawless. Aside from that... Aside from that fantastic, uh... Fantastic attempt at the uh, Null Camp just a second ago. That was a little embarrassing. But aside from that, everything's gonna be great. Why does this guy live in such a pissant town, boys? I don't even know. I'm actually gonna have Monty wear this shit for now. Yeah, look at all this broken gear, man. Feels bad. Inventory management pub chant. This is so brutal. Poor fucking Kagan and poor Monty, they've lost everything. They lost everything. I feel like someone here should be able to identify this crap. My lore is at eight. That awkward moment when fucking Kagan and yourself have the same lore value. That's some feels fucking bad. Holy shit. That's some feels real bad. This is the run. Hell yeah, dude. Get five spells one later. Yeah, so they get one at 250. So we should get that. That'll be the first one we get, and we're going to have to take a spell immunity, basically. But we do get another level at 375, and we should get that before the end of um, SOD. So we might be able to pick up a lower resist. For a Bella Fett at the very end. Skelly's... Oh, we're, we're still going to get Skelly's Render Zoofall. We're just going to give it to Edwin. There's no reason for me to waste a level 5 spell on Anima Dead when I can just give it to Edwin. You as sorcerers and spellcasters and shit? That's what I'm saying, dude. Why do I live in such a pissant town? Let me read my book here so I can become better looking. How to win friends and influence people, boys. Gosh darn it, people like me. That shit up there for my boy. Still sitting on about 3k. We don't have quite enough for him to actually get his full plate yet. So we'll have to keep that plate now for now, sadly. But should be fairly soon. We can go pick up his axe. And we want to buy a couple scrolls for Edwin. Sure enough, I'm going to sort can summon several groups with Project Image. Yeah, but I mean, like... By the time we have Project Image, we have Mordenkainen's. You know what I mean? So what's the point of me wasting a level 5 spell slot on something that I'm not going to need? 
Edwin can summon skeletons, dude. Fucking Naldia can summon skeletons. Anybody else can be that skeleton, dude. My sork spells are critical for me. I need to prioritize. Excuse me. I need to prioritize better. I did a pretty good job, to be honest, for prioritizing shit, but it could be better. And I will do better. Oh, I'm gonna make it happen, boys. I'm gonna make it happen. I've done better in the past, and I will do better now. Alright, Edwin, let's fail to learn some spells, buddy. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. What is your chance? 85? And he's just... He's studding it up, dude. No fucks given. That's my boy right there, dude. That's actually him. Now let's get it on. Yeah, it's, it's just... Like I said, it's just... We need to get... What did we get last time? We need spell immunity. We need... Hold on a sec. We gotta kill these idiots. Let me breathe some fucking fire, boys. Boom. We need spell immunity, spell shield. Those are the two biggies. We want a lower resist so we can... Uh, what's the word? Spell trigger that. So that's three. What else do we get at five? A breach. Definitely important. So that's four. And then we have cloud kill, which we want, which we'll never get till 27. Chaos, also good, which we'll never get till 27. But those four are so critical, and those four need to come first. We just don't have room for animate dead. Yeah, the, the Edwin pick is... It's hardcore right there. Not a problem. Actually, let's go do the Dryad first. Not a problem. Oh, we go and put some armor on for Kagan, too. Holy fuck. Oh shit, we didn't pick up his weapon either. Alright, let's go back to Baragos real quick. Let's go buy us an axe. I gotta ask a question here. See if I can buy an axe for fucking Kagan. But yeah, we gotta prioritize our shit better. Level 6, I don't know if we did a good job. We had... We need magical weapons, magic energy, uh, improved haste. Those are the only big ones. And then contingency would be our fourth. And then our fifth could be fucking whatever. It's irrelevant. Level 7, we want Project Image, we want Mordekainen's, um, Sequencer, and then I think the, after that, oh shit, I forgot about this guy. Um, he's gonna put our rep at fucking something horrible. Let's see if we can hit him with a hold spell while I go and buy this. No, stop attacking, stop attacking. He's... Fucking come inside, knock a dude unconscious, buy something, and bail. Um, but yeah, and then 8 doesn't matter. Spell trigger, horde wilting. The 9 is actually tough. Time stop, uh, spell strike, chain contingency, and the last one, I don't know. Hard to decide for those ones, but the others are pretty set in stone, really. No real uh, deviation allowed, to be honest. There you go, buddy. We're good on bullets, too. But yeah, Anima Dead, we just we don't have space for it, man. Anybody else can cast it, so there's no reason for me to take it. And if there's times where we're going to be in the Beholder's Lair and we might not get that second rest off, then we'll just have multiple people memorize it, man. You know what I mean? There's just... There's no reason for me to fucking take it for myself. And miss out on spell shield. Which is going to be so critical. Especially for throwing a ball. SOA, there aren't too many mages that actually uh, do a barrage of fucking anti-magic spells. But that shit's super common in TUB. Where they'll fucking... They'll do a wish for the double alacrity time stop or just time stop and hit you with spell strike, ruby ray, Kelvin's warding whip, all that shit. And it's critical that we have a spell shield up. <coughs> Excuse me. To defend our buffs. <coughs> oh god, I'm dying. I'm drowning, boys. <coughs> Let's see if Monty can talk to this bitch finally. Nope, still didn't let me talk to her. So you have to go sacrifice Edwin again. 
It won't let me talk to her as Edwin either. Let me talk to her as Baconia. <laughs> what a bitch. Sorry for coughing all. So much, boys. Had some uh, beverage go down the wrong pipe, and now I'm just going to be choking for the rest of the day. Some of you might know what that's like. Some of you might know that that's just not fun at all. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mirror mage. Okay, so he doesn't actually have a uh, protection out. We can hit him with this shit. Hey, get shit on. Level for Edwin and Monty. Monty is not good for fine traps, start putting points in open lots. Edwin also gets level 3 spells. We're in good shape, boys. Hell yeah. Let's go, dude. I think we might actually be able to do the, uh, the ogres here, since we got level 3 spells. Kagan's sitting on pretty decent... Uh, this isn't shit. He's at negative two AC though, which isn't great. Yeah, the cobbler Edwin Pip. It's pretty good. Oh shit. We had a couple of people blinded, but I don't think there's any of the ones that we really wanted to hit. Yeah, the ogres are still coming in hot. The ogre berserkers, I mean. I missed, of course. Must have been crazy. Let's see if I can cut him out here. Perfect. He saved. Oh no, we got him. Nice. Second Berserker is down. I like how Edwin's a red wizard and he's wearing nothing but green in that fucking picture. I like that a lot. I'm not sure what it means, but I do know I like it. He's definitely traveling incognito for a red wizard of Thay. That's for damn sure. Dude is blending in right now, boys. Dude is blending the fuck in. So last time we did this, sleep wasn't working on sirens. We'll try it again and see what happens.
Does anyone get a massive charisma boost to that portrait? Absolutely, dude. Could you say no to this face? I don't fucking think so. I mean, you could try. We just, we all know it's not gonna work. Well, I get feeble minded in the first two. Nice. Just barrage those bitches down, boys. Barrage them down with some fucking skull traps, lads. That's how we roll. Now we roll by waiting for Kagan to take forever to get unfeeble minded. I'm gonna go collect my thoughts real quick, boys. Be right back while we wait for Kagan to do his thing. I'm gonna turn down the ambient volume because those, those waves are fucking loud. Thanks so much for watching, dudes. If any of you are new here, hit that follow button down at the bottom. We'll be back at it in just a moment. God bless you, my friends, and thanks for watching, dudes. Be right back. Will be done. I stand ready.
Fantastic. That explains a lot. Thanks, Mr. The Mask. I appreciate it, buddy. I was like, what the fuck is going on here? Holy shit. What does R mean, by the way, Aru? I wasn't sure if R meant rest or not, because that's what we did. Holy shit. I wouldn't have noticed for ages, man. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate it. Man, I'm such an idiot when it comes to that. Fuck me. Oh, well. Fuck, I don't even remember what I said. It wasn't important. I was just talking about how great it is to have somebody with 20, uh... Dude, fuck off, Arcan, bro. I'll fucking cut you, dude. Problem. I'll fucking cut you, man. It makes you think I won't cut you. Hmm? Yeah, I was, uh... Talking about how awesome it is having someone who's not only the best tank in the game, but you press one button and they're healed to full every time, too. Oh shit, I'm gonna aggro all sorts of crap here, unless we do this properly. Wait, why is Kagan taking so much damage? Why is everyone resisting my shit? Why is Edwin poisoned? So many why are questions here. Okay. Fucking hobgoblin elites, boys. That takes care of those bastards. Uh, let's go get by the fucking edge of the world so we can rest here without uh getting popped by something else. Sirens, of course. Team. Monty and Siege. Wow, she resisted and it hit Kagan instead. Yeah, probably fucked here. You can't target her ass. Solo. Stop laughing at me, you fucking bitch. Come on, King. You got this, dude. Alright, fuck it, whatever. She's uninvisible now. We did it. Hooray. Holy shit, what a battle, boys. What a fucking battle. Normally, I would have just fucking bailed, but... Sirens are worth so much XP. You can't run from a siren ambush, dude. That's 4k. 4k XP. That's a greater doppelganger right there, dude. Free as fuck XP. There we go. Really? We got another siren? People might have immediately on the first hit again.
not complaining. I do like this enormous XP boost, but at the same time, it's like, holy fuck, I want to sleep. Silence lasts way too fucking long, too. Hmm. Well, it's stupid of me to move up like that. Basically guaranteed I'd get hit by it. Root and should be wearing off any second. There it goes. Yeah, let's see if we can rest. Well, no, we really can't afford to try to rest, because then we might get a Berserker. Oh, shit. I guess we're just chilling. How you guys doing, man? How you guys in there doing? You guys doing okay? You guys having a good day? Is life treating you well? I hope so, dude. Hope things are going well for you dudes. I really do. Yep. <laughs> He's chilling now. He's waiting for Kagan. Exciting shit. If we go somewhere else to rest, I'll just fucking run again. I mean, I like actually getting sirens. If I could get a siren on every rest, I'd stand here and rest all fucking game, right? They're pretty easy to kill. But, I mean... At the same time, it's like... I don't know. He's gotten feeble-minded twice in a row. And the only way to get feeble-minded by a siren is for them to hit you with a melee attack. Their melee thaco is dog shit. It is hard as fuck to get hit by them in melee. And he's been hit twice in a row now, which is just beyond me, really. Again you disturb me. This better be good. Yes? Yeah, I can't believe it's happened twice in a row. It's actually crazy. I stand with ease. Effective. I may not kill you after all. Holy shit, man. Alright, so what's the plan? Fuck up the sirens, do the golems. Maybe go do do we do Derlax first? If we do, then we can pick up Baloth before we even go to Nashkel. Finally, holy shit, dude. Feeble Mind is broken. Perfect. Yes. Yeah, Feeble Mind's fucking retarded, dude. Holy shit. Actually, unironically retarded. Can I assist you? Fuck off. Be gone. Onward. Idiot. Did you get TPW'd? You guys keep typing these acronyms that I've never heard before in my life. TPW'd actually does sound familiar, but I have no idea what it means. I know what it means, dude. I've forgotten. Total party wipes? Oh, hell no, dude. Are you talking about from uh, BG2? Because we're obviously not in BG2 anymore. Oh no, um... Do exclamation point Lee Marvin in chat. L-E-E-M-A-R-V-I-N. And now I'll take you a link to what happened. It's kind of embarrassing. Okay, it's really embarrassing, actually. Unfortunate the way it ended. But every single character I make when they don't make it... We uh, put an exclamation point and then their full name, and that will link you the video of what happened and how they died. Hmm? I do not understand this mouth. Do your bidding. Yes. Not a problem. Well, they're in business, aren't they?
think we might actually be out in the hall there. Fuck, I cancelled my spell. That's annoying. Should be able to hit her with a commando, shouldn't we? Oh, there we go. Perfect. That's actually the best siren fight we've ever had, I think. It went very well for us. Yeah, so what ended up happening there was um for projecting image. So that means when you're projecting an image, you can't actually move your main character. So my character is technically defenseless. And at the same time, we're summoning enemies using that book over there. So we summon a Mind Flayer who immediately Dimension Door to the party where I my character was away from the project image, attacked me twice and then ate my brains. And so I died instantly. It was very unfortunate. He sucked my brains out through a straw basically. And so my character dies instantly. Even if I had higher imp there is no way around that. The only way to not let that happen is by not using fucking project image on uh, Mind Flayers. I had, for, I had thought the Mind Flayer would just die instantly and it wouldn't be an issue, but quite clearly it was, so. It's definitely something to keep in mind next time we get to that area, for sure. Well, they actually got him again. Nicer than the feeble mind Kagan three times in a row. I can't believe it. Well, it's not in a row, but still. Still can't believe they got Kagan three times. That's fucking incredible. Absolutely amazing, really. On the plus side, we got a fuck ton of XP. We're actually about to level up again. I'm about to hit 40k, which is pretty good. Actually, we level three spells. Shorty saving throws? That's what I'm saying, dude. Quality shit right here for sure. Fuck's sake, man. <sighs> well, it is what it is, dude. It is what it is. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying, dude. I This is the worst RNG we've ever gotten at the Sirens, for sure. 100%. I don't think it's ever been this close. Getting feeble-minded once is considered once too many, man. But three times? Holy... Fucking holy, dude. Holy fucking moly. Well, it is what it is, dude. Like I said, we're getting a lot of XP out here, which is fantastic. SOD with this RNG? Hell yeah, dude. The great thing about SOD is there's no fucking RNG in the game. Every fucking spell the enemy throws at you, you don't even get a fucking saving throw for. Again, we'll go into that. that we'll go into that later. But that is also one of my biggest peeves. No, I'll tell, all right, I'm not gonna get started on it. I don't want to spoil anything for you. But yeah, that's one of my biggest peeves about SOD, actually. One of my peeves for sure. I've heard other people say the same thing. I, I really don't know why they did that, but it is what it is. Oh, Kagan, why do you do this to me? I'm actually getting tired in real life just watching Kagan stand here like a brainless drooling idiot. He's, his armor is literally rusting from the drool coming out of his mouth. 
down his fucking chest over his beard. Holy shit, he's back. Let's go. I'm just sitting there going, yeah, yeah. Perfect. What is it? Perfect. Let's go, boys. We're probably gonna get pummeled to death by these fuckers, too. Let's go and move this over here, and you can take the shield, too. He's got the belt on already, right? So he's got a pretty decent modifier for crushing right now. Should be good. Embara? Embarrassing? Is that what you're typing? Yeah. Holy fuck, really? Crit right off the bat? Crit again? Seriously? Two crits back to back. Absolutely incredible. The fucking RNG of these motherfuckers is ridiculous to me. Like, it's legitimately ridiculous. Thank you. I guess everyone's getting crits today. Me and fucking the flesh golems. What the shit, dude? Holy fucking moly. What's the embarrassing if a guest is a scholar compared to him, right? That's the truth. <laughs> a guest is a fucking scholar. Dude, those guests have published papers in accredited research journals, alright? I don't want to hear you talking any shit about Corex. Dr. Corex, the ghoul. You hear me? That's Dr. Corex to you, buddy. Yeah, we did it. With ease. Woohoo. With ease. Alta. Apologies to Corex, but he's not just any guest, that's right. He gra he uh, graduated with highest honors, dude. RIP. It's all good, we'll, fin we'll avenge you, skeleton, my friend. It's always weird to watch you do this game so out of order, you think so? I mean, I could do it more in order, it's just it would take longer. You know what I mean? If you guys want to see me do it more in order, I'll do it. I mean, I'll definitely go to Nashkel first. I'll rush Nashkel and I'll make the, the no camp harder. We'll do the bandits and shit. I'm happy to do it in order, I just... I figured we've seen this like a dozen times. And I figured you guys would, wouldn't want to watch me do it the right way anymore and just get back to SOD and BG2 ASAP. But if you guys want to watch me do it the normal way, I'm, I'm happy to do that from now on for sure. I stand ready. Again, you me. I'm happy to do it. I mean, I personally, I'd still rather not, but I'm definitely happy to do it if that's what people want. Yeah, we did BG about 50 times now, yeah. It's nice to watch Twilight Gate. Well, I mean, I feel bad because, I mean, I want this to be at least somewhat entertaining for you guys. And I know I do a pretty poor job of that. BG1 is just a warm up, anyways. That's what I'm saying, dude. I've been pretty depressed lately, so I'm not as animated as I'd like to be. I'm trying to go as quick as I can, really. Some exceptions, obviously. Alright, level 3 spells, boys. What did we take before? We want V-Touch, that can come later. Probably ended up taking Skull Trap right away, didn't we? 
Or was it a slow? We might have taken a slow first. Slow Skull Trap is two. We take Melfs is three. Claim Arrow is four. And then the Venture Touch is the end of five. Skull Trap. Melfs. Claim Arrow. This is one again. Oh, slow. Skull Trap, Melfs, Flame Arrow, Vampiric Touch. Okay, I think we'll go with that. Skull, slow, Skull Trap, Melfs, Flame Arrow, Vampiric Touch. Yeah, that's perfect. That five is perfect. Should be perfect for us. I hope it's perfect for us. Okay. Melf's Meteor? That's what I'm saying, dude. Melf's Minute Meteor. Not my new, but Minute. No lessons, Robert. This behavior. That's what I'm saying, everyone. A bunch of six rep chumps, dude. Bunch of chump scores. Bunch of fucking chumps. Yes. Should almost have enough for the full plate for fucking Kagan now. There we go. The BGT you completed it like four or five times through. Nice. Yeah, I'm uh... Hey, you know how it is, man. You know how it is. With ease. Oops. I want to do the big fucking pyramid. I've had, uh, this isn't my first run through, and I'm definitely, uh, to be fair, I've only completed it twice. And I think about it, we only got the TOV twice. I keep dying to fucking myself being a dumbass. Sadly. Where are we sitting on XP wise? I'm at 40. We're about to hit 30. And then there, once we get, I don't know if we do Durlags, they should be real close. A nice one, Dale. I'm doing my first time right now. I played it in the past, but I never streamed it. I wanted to finish Baldur's Gate before we swap to a different game to stream. And st even then, we're still going to play Baldur's Gate as the main game, probably. And then do, like, different games on the weekends. That's what I was thinking. Uh, Pillars of Eternity is one. Icewind Dale and Neverwinter are both definitely on the list as well. A couple people said Planescape, although we might not end up doing that. We'll have to see what happens. With ease. We shall see. But I have played Icewind Dale in the past. I just like Baldur's Gate better, personally. I like the story, I like the. Yeah. Okay, we gotta kill this bitch before she runs away. Yes, we got her. This bitch drops a small shield plus one, which is the only thing uh, Vicky can use for the longest time. Dark Souls. Shit, I've never played Dark Souls. It looks fun though. Dark Souls definitely looks fun for sure. Wizards never won our fun too, still ridiculously overpowered, yeah. Dark Souls, bro, for your MILF's Minute Meteor. For your MILF's Minute Meteor with the Dark Souls. I like that, dude. Not a problem. Not a problem. I like that a lot. So we'll go to the spiders, hit the friendly arm, then we'll go off to uh their logs. Their logs tower.
Yeah, nothing like doing one of the earliest quests in the game at the very end. We're fucking 40,000 XP in and we're just now doing a quest that's meant to be done like super early on. Hell yeah, that's how we roll, boys. That's how we roll, lads. Not a problem. Oh, holy shit. I've done this too many times. Played BG1 too many times, boys. Kiss me, Blarney. What's your wish done? Oh, all my money. Give me back my money, you son of a bitch. Go pester someone else. Beautiful full plate. Right, let's do some inventory management, boys. Type it up. Yeah, look at me managing that inventory, lads. That's what I call some fucking inventory management skills, boys. Perfect. How about that muddy water they just discovered on Mars? They discovered muddy water on Mars? First I heard of it. Did they really? Or are you just memeing me? Not a problem. If they actually found a puddle of water on Mars, I would be pretty psyched. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's that's what I was gonna say. I was like, it's gonna be underground. If they found it on the surface, I'd be like, wow, that's fucking amazing. But yeah, there's lots of water underground on other planets, though, man. I mean, it's still cool, but because it implies that there's the possibility of life living there. Are you get a bunch more. What happened to the source of predator to get far? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, we link it to you, buddy. Yeah, we're redo we're doing the salty run back with the Sork right now. I was uh, projecting image, and while you're projecting image, you can't move your main dude. Fighting a mind flare, the mind flare teleports away from all my summons, right next to my guy, hits me twice, then eats my brains. It was a very unfortunate end. So we learned: don't project image when fighting a mind flare. Keep that in mind. As long as you don't make that mistake again, we're good. That run was going perfectly. We had literally zero people die. We were at spell hold with zero permas, dude. That was the best run we've ever had, by far. With the full spell chucker party, and that's my favorite party. Can spells begin to disinfect the space forever to the point where we can't prevent contamination? Yeah. Or keep your brains about, dude. I mean... I had, I had low end. Even if I had higher end, it just means you'd have to hit me once more. Deed my brains. I was dead for sure. Because I was I didn't notice I was even being hit. Because you don't take damage when you got shit up. And, you know, there's the chat logs going so fast because you have, like, six summons attacking. And you have all those rolls going, so... I was gone in seconds, dude. I had no chance. Because I couldn't move my dude either. And you can't cancel project damage. I was completely fucked. The only way to prevent that from happening would have been to not project image. Literally, that's it. That's the only way I could have saved myself. Oh fuck, there might be um... Wow, really dude? I was just thinking, they're uh, the demon knight, they're not the demon knight, but the uh... The uh, the fucking flame sword, doom guard, whatever the fuck. Might be right on the edge, and he might attack my party as soon as we zone in, so... We gotta be ready for that, actually. Not a problem. Okay, he's gone. Yeah. We're good. 
Might as well res Deferent for BG2 if you wipe again. Skip BG1 just gets old. Only suggestion? Maybe. I'm, I'm thinking that we might end up doing that. I mean, we're doing this one because we're going to SOD. Serva gets another chance to VA and shit as well. That's what I'm saying, dude. That's what I'm saying, man. Nice, you got the blind. I keep canceling my spells. Even when that happens. Dude, John, I'm telling you right now, John Wayne's the guy, dude. This is our guy, boys. Guaranteed John Wayne goes all the way. If John Wayne's not the one to kill a Melisan, I don't know who is. You hear me? This is the guy here. The hero that fucking the Sword Coast needs but doesn't deserve or fucking something. Oh fuck, that was annoying. Fucking moved too early. Look at the kite of into it. There we go. Check Norris. Check Norris will do it. Does protect from magical weapons really against devour brain since their attack is magical? Um, it might, but even then I couldn't cast it because right because I'm stunned from projecting image. Uh, I don't know if Mind Flayer's attacks are magical or non-magical. Actually, I would assume they're magical, but at the same time, a lot of monsters' uh, basic attacks are non-magical. Trolls, for example, have non-magical attacks, but golems do have magical attacks. So, not too sure. Not too sure. I'll definitely uh, try that next time and see what happens. I'll have Herdalise go in and... I mean, it's it's really... The only reason I died there is because I couldn't fucking move. Because when we did the uh, the tunnels, the sewers area last time, it was so easy for us to fucking um, just kite away from him, right? No problem at all running away. Golems are magical creatures to some extent, that's true. Even if you can move, move, you realize it's too late. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I didn't even notice, dude. Jeff shirtless plume. <laughs> Got to keep those quotations in there so we all know, right? Might try to get this working normal me my mods didn't work and don't want to play normal free mode. Yeah, go for it, man. Yeah, I've I've had I've had time where I spent a full day trying to get shit to work. There's a lot of tools you can use to install shit now. Oh there you go. Um best way to avoid bugs during mods install now. Yeah, give that a try and see if that works, man. Yeah, there's definitely there's definitely a lot of problems that I've had in the past. Artist Dragon and BG2, Adelon, or no, actually not Adelon, the uh Sand Dragon. Um by um, Insult and SLR. Although, Adelon is a very close second, for sure. Just because she has the most HP. She's got nearly a thousand hit points in the mod. You are so irritating. Which is an awful lot of HP, to be honest. Demogorgon's sitting at like four or five hundred. And she's got twice as much HP. Again, you did my action. 
But the only reason Sultan Eslar is so hard is because the dragon casts Entangle. And if you get rooted and can't kite it, he's just going to dumpster you. Well, Adelon is mostly difficult because of her... Her breath ability is uh, by far the hardest to mitigate. She has the most dispels of any dragon. And uh, she has the most spells in general of any dragon. The thing is, fire, crack, fire damage is the easiest damage to mitigate by, by far. Like, there's no comparison. It is so easy to mitigate fire damage, it's ridiculous. But Adelon, cold is much harder. There's almost no items in the game that give you cold resistance. And even the cold potions are harder to find, too. Yeah, Adelon's pretty brutal, dude. Phone you with check this later, thanks. Things are pretty very runs like fair to use. I mean you good yeah, good characters are pretty uh not a fan of myself. I have someone to fire as a shotgun grass next to the original use project image again, at least during fights when you expect to be flanking the teleport shit. I didn't consider it at all. I expected the beholder to come out. I did not consider the the uh, mind flare the use of a teleport. I didn't think even think about it whatsoever. Like I said, it, it's nobody's fault but my own that we died there. There's no dumb gimmick that got me, it was just pure and simple. I didn't think of something that I should have, and I died for it. But as soon as the original takes damage, the projection gets destroyed, you can protect yourself again, but a round needs to pass until spells and deals can be used. Yeah, like I said, I, I didn't even fucking know I was under assault until it was too late. Yeah, I don't know what we could have done to save that shit. No fear of the ball spawn dragons? No. Although, Abyssagale... Um, the uh, ball spawn dragon is actually pretty tough, but um, that's only because they use actual magic magic. Dragons in general aren't that hard once you pass a certain point. If you're a spell casting party, um, once you get a lower resist and a spell trigger, you can take them out no problem. And if you're a fighter party, uh, once you start getting your HLAs like hardiness, you should be able to take them out pretty decently too, as long as you have... Ilbratha, shit like that to give yourself a mirror image. Shit happens, not just saying, but yeah, it is what it is, man, for sure. For sure. You mean Ice is buffing everyone resist fire and casting a shit ton of fireballs? Hell yeah, dude. Fire resist is definitely an awesome spell. Well, yeah, I, it's just, like I said, it's something that I have to keep in mind. If there's a mind flare, don't use project image. Like, it's honestly, it's that simple. And that's something I definitely... It's a mistake I will not be repeating. You never see me die to the same shit twice. I You've never seen Yan die to that one trap that killed him that one time a long fucking time ago. Um, yeah. You, you know, it is what it is, man. They're not coming at us. Guess they don't give a shit today. They should have aggroed all the fucking uh, gas on the west side at least, but it didn't for some reason. Hmm? I'm gonna start quick saving because we're storming already. Slime track and meth crash layer never forget. Hell yeah, dude! I literally never forgot. He said summons before fighting them, Mortal Kinds are very good against them except maybe for Detonate. Well, yeah, that's the thing is, I... I th did not consider the fucking, um... The Mind Flayer's Dimension Door at all. I was thinking about that the entire time we were fighting them in their lair, but I didn't consider it whatsoever for the Mind Flayer that gets summoned by the book. And... Project Image is perfectly fine to have up at all times, as long as the enemies are focused on your Project Image. But the way Mind Flayer works with uh, SCS AI is they'll dimension door to a spellcaster and try to eat his brains. You'd think they go for the fighters, right? Because they're stupid. But uh, they'll go actually go for whoever they can get to in the back line. And since I'm the lowest int target, I'm immobile, I don't have all my buffs up, I die in two seconds. And the only way to stop that from happening, Miramage does nothing. Um, their Thacko is pretty good. It's not perfect, so I might have actually lived if I had maybe improved invisibility or some other buffs up, but for the most part, there's just, there's no way I would have lived there. 
Unless I had thrown a protection for magical weapons before I cast that protect image, but I want to warn off by that anyway. So I mean, it's just don't project image when there's a mind player around. Period. That's all there is to it. The beholder would have been perfectly fine to be projecting image, because the beholder is not going to teleport in the middle of my party, which was a mile away. Teleport is pretty broken, yeah. But even then, it's it's not that it's broken, it's just... I mean, there's nothing wrong with using Dimension Door, even though I'm jealous I can't use it. But I mean, it's just... It's something that I should have considered and I wasn't. And that's why it got me. It's like... It's like me fighting a bunch of mobs and then a Basilisk comes out. If I fight a chain of mobs and the last one's a Basilisk, and I don't have protection from Petrification up, I die. It's so simple to defeat a Basilisk. You throw a protection from petrification. I didn't do it. It cost me in my life. You know what I mean? Same thing for the mind flayers. It's so simple to not project image. I didn't do it. And I fucking died for it. I just gotta make sure that doesn't happen again. And we're golden. Holy fuck, it's so dark. Get him. There we go. How's our XP looking? We're all about 40k, so we can go pick up Bailoth now, I think. Whereas the cobbler does not have magic missile yet? The cobbler's inside, uh, chilling right now. And the cobbler does not have magic missile either, that's true. We had a magic missile scroll for him to use, but we had to, we had to use it. When we had that uh, massive fucking battle over at the Null place. At the Null stronghold. That was probably the most epic battle in BG1 we've ever had. Maybe check a potion of genius so you can take more than one hit. I mean... The thing is, when they're hitting you, Mirror Image does nothing to protect you, and they're going to hit you pretty much all the time. The Mind Flayer Thacko is extremely good. Actually, no. Mind Flayer Thacko is terrible. But for some reason, they just they land hits every time. I don't think they're good. Let me check. It also, it, it might have been a Mind Flare. It might have been a, lith a Lutherid. I'm not sure. Yeah, they have four attacks per round, dude. There's no fucking way I was going to live through that, dude. No way in hell. Yeah. He just got lucky. Yeah, that's the other thing. Is when you're mobile, you always get hit. There's just nothing I could have done there. What am I keyboard having done that too? Just looks like there's no damage. Nice, dude. Yeah, it, all we have to do is just not project image and mind flayers are easy. I don't think we've ever actually died to a mind flayer before. Literally not once. I mean, a party member might have died occasionally, but my dude is my character has never died to one. They're super easy to do. It's just... Yeah. Project image. That's literally it. I don't know how many times I have to say it. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. Alright. I gotta stop talking about it. Fuck mind players. Let's keep going. We're good. We're good, boys. It's the oxidation for minerals. Fucking nerd. I'm just kidding. All right, uh, let's go grab Bail off. Hmm? Fuck, I always try to go this way and I never can. As always, boys, if we get these seed. We are going to try to get back on. Hopefully we can. Um, if you don't hear from us or see anything posted, uh, chances are we're hard down. You know, it's going to be a hot minute before we get back up. The brownouts in Florida are usually pretty bu usually pretty bad, but uh, hopefully it's not too terrible. I like that. That's a lot of monkeys? That's what I'm saying, dude. What's up, Vinny Shulk? Darky69. Vinny Shulk, you've been here for a while, right? 
I am crazy, dude. Hey, welcome back to BG1, boys. Poggers. The Zerg Rush at Baldur's Gate. That's what I'm saying, dude. Two Giverlings, 50 minerals, man. That's a good deal. We're going back to Icy Wind now. Alright, I'll take it easy, my dude. Hope you have a good day, my friend. God bless. Yeah, the BG1 Classic, man. We're trying to go through it as quick as possible, dude. We're making amazing progress considering we started like an hour ago. So many fucking dialogue options we have to go through there. Actually painful. Yeah, welcome to the party, gay. Is no sleep spell in StarCraft? Yeah, right? There is a sleep spell in StarCraft. It's a permanent sleep, though. What do you We gotta get at least one reputation point before we go back to town, otherwise we're gonna get attacked by guards for sure. Good for rep time to go shopping, I know, right? It's perfect timing. Okay, again, you're in the wrong spot to tank. Get off Edwin, you little shit. There we go. Time to ID some shit. Hell yeah, that's what we're doing now. Why is most of your equipment unidentified? Um, I'm a sorcerer, so I'm not going to waste a spell slot on identify when someone else can do it. And Edwin can't actually learn identify because he's a conjurer and he misses out on divination spells. And the only option would be to pay some asshole 100 gold for every single item and not doing that either. No, hit the other guy. For fuck's sake, man. These fucking Dread Wolves are one of the most notorious fuckers for uh, being obnoxious as shit. Okay. Yeah, babe. I mean, it, it adds up, dude. You identify a couple items now again, that's gonna add up to a thousand gold before you know it, dude. It adds up pretty quick. I'm gonna keep saving every two seconds in case we crash here, boys. But yeah, we'll just wait for a fucking bail out of the party. It's no big. And the shit we need to sell real quick, we can do that no problem. Easy money, boys. Easy money. You cannot glitch money on BG1? I mean, you could. You can glitch all sorts of shit, but. I try not to glitch in my favor, especially. Not if we can avoid it. I mean, there's, there's ways around it. I'm just lazy, I guess, really. Just too lazy. Shut up and give me my reputation point, bitch. Thanks. What do we got here? Fucking ghoul. I keep expecting you to get like an ogre mage or something. I keep getting these uh easy idiots. It is dark as fuck out there, boys. So that looks like six hundred thousand gold. There's a lot of gold, my dude. What are you gonna do with all that gold, man? Okay. With ease. Do you know, guess yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. It's just you don't need all that money. Hey, to each his own, though, man. Some people just like having money, you know what I mean?
Yo. and spooky outside, boys. Alright, looking good, lads. Looking good. Yes. Right, let's go buy some shit for him. Let's just look at sometimes here. Now, when you click on a weapon or something and a character shines gold, what does that mean? Character shines gold? Oh, you mean like this over here on the right hand side of the screen? It just means uh, they can use it, or it might be an upgrade. Like in Monteron's case, right now he's using the studded leather. If he equips the plate mail, that's a better armor class for him. So the game's trying to tell me to give it to him. When they fade out like this, where it's really dark, that means they can't use it at all. And when there's no change whatsoever in the portrait, that means they can use it, but it's not necessarily an upgrade. And that's not always right either. There's times where it's not an upgrade, or it's a major downgrade. Or they can't use it at all and it shines bright for some dumb reason. It's not perfect, but it's fairly it's fairly accurate for most part, I'd say. I'd say it's fairly accurate. Okay, it's okay. It will be done. It's definitely kinda of like a beginner tip kind of thing. You know what I mean? Look good on my robes, boys. Look out! Look at them flowing, glorious, looking like a stud. I think this dude sells regular darts, right? Yeah, he does. Hey, maybe so, man. Maybe so. I bought a lot more darts than I intended to. Huh? Apparently, he sold in stacks that I wasn't familiar with. Made a mistake. A it happens though, boys. It happens. Okay, we're good. Let's go hit the mines, lads. Let me consider certain stats like AC or Thaco. Resistance are not taken into consideration. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure of the formula exactly of how it works. I just know that sometimes it's right, spot on, sometimes it's fucking not. It's fairly decent for the most part, I'd say, for sure. Definitely would say it's fairly decent for the most part. Alright, so we're actually pretty far ahead XP right now because we got our other dude so late that he gained a fairly modest bonus. So we're probably going to skip a couple side areas in the hopes that we can uh, get in there a little quicker. If we could finish BG1... Uh, Tomorrow, that'd be perfect. Then we can start SOD the day after. And, uh, yeah, this should be great. Because we only started BG1 a couple hours ago. And, uh, we're already almost done with the southern half. We should finish the southern half today, if we're lucky. If we could finish the Veyorn's Lair today, uh, we'll be in good shape, for sure. Actually, let's go and fucking position everyone on the outside like this. Is that long? You could have done it within a few hours? Yeah, definitely. Well, I don't want to... I can't really rush to the end because I have to make sure I get some levels first. We can't go too quickly because there are plenty of fights that can uh, go badly for sure. Definitely plenty of fights that can go poorly for sure. Well, that's unfortunate for you, buddy. Rest in peace, Grey Wolf, my gay. You gonna bother getting any decent BG1 weapons armor? We'll grab a couple because we are gonna be playing Siege. And uh, there are a few items in BG1 that are vastly superior to anything you get in uh, Siege of Dragon Spear. Cloak of Balderan, uh, shit like that. Secret Dragons? I don't think we're gonna find any of those in uh, BG1 here, my dude. But we are gonna make sure we have weapons for fucking Doran. He's basically going to be forcing, being forced to come with us. Sucks, but it is what it is. Which means we might end up doing Doran's quest so we can get that stupid, uh, that bastard sword. The bastard sword you get from his quest, Albaran, I think it is, is very, very good. It's a uh, silver enchanted, so it can hit pretty much everything in the game. Very nice.
But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Nero's quest only gives us a scroll, and uh, Rasad's quest only gives us a belt. I honestly don't know what they get in Siege of Dragon Spear. I really don't. So they might get something really good in Siege, or they might get something really shitty. I might look it up at some point to see if they're worth doing. See how it goes. Blood Dragon Spear just haven't played it yet. Wait until I've done TOB. Nice. Yeah, it's not as, uh... It's definitely not... It's definitely my least favorite of the Baldur's Gates, for sure. For obvious reasons, but... Yeah, there is one. There is a dragon in SOD you can kill. I thought you were talking about BG1. In which case, there are no dragons in BG1. But yeah, we will be killing that dragon as well. We will slay the dragon, boys. We will be slaying the dragons. Stand away, citizen. You must gather your party before venturing forth. With ease. Oh, I'm so tired. Fuck off, Gory. No dragons BG1? There are no dragons in BG1. The first dragon you fight is gonna be in Baldur's Gate 2. Aside from the one in uh in uh, CG Dragon Sphere, it's like not even a real dragon, let's be real. It's like a little baby dragon. Why would this dude ever want to go back to the Underdark? I don't get that shit. Obviously he left for a good fucking reason. Why would he want to go back? A shit like that that just doesn't make any fucking sense. Imagine your average player fighting against a dragon in BG1. Yeah, that'd be unfortunate. Stuff is not super duper epic and over the top. Yeah, I really like that too. And that's the thing that I liked about BG1 the most was especially Saravok. He has no immunities. None. If you can lower his resistances, you can hit Saravok with a fear. And I can't tell you a single person that's fearable in BG2 after a certain point. You know what I mean? The dragons alone have a laundry list of immunities. Like, straight up. Liches have even more. Bosses have even more than that. I mean, it's just... The fact that the final boss of the game... It's just a regular person, albeit a much higher level of regular person. That, I really, really, really like that. I like that an awful lot. That no matter how powerful or strong a boss was, it's just like you in every way. They didn't have some magical special abilities. Well, Saravok kind of did. He had the magic immunity in the original, original game, but... I mean, for the most part, they're not breaking the rules of Dungeons and Dragons. You know what I mean? And I really, really like that. I thought that was super cool. And I think this is actually the first game like that. Where, like, you and the other... You and your enemies are the exact same in every way. I'm not articulating this properly, but I think you guys know where I'm coming from, right? Saravok's just a fighter. He's a higher level fighter with good armor and good weapons, but he's just a fighter. Mages don't have spells that you can never get. It's pretty balanced in that regard, and I like that a lot. Recently played and completed uh, Players of Eternity. Great game, loved it. Yeah, we actually have that. We're going to be playing that on the weekends after we finish our first uh, Baldur's Gate run, which is going to be next week, I guarantee it. So hopefully we'll be able to start PoE on uh, next uh, Saturday. Maybe Friday, depends on when we finish Baldur's Gate. I would really like to finish just one fucking run of Baldur's Gate. Just one. That's all I'm asking. I'm pretty confident we can do it. And then we'll start uh, branching into some other games now and then. I still enjoy BG the most. So unless I like absolutely fall in love with Pillars, we'll probably still play BG uh, more often than not. But we'll see what happens for sure.
Why don't I make a beeline for the commando in the back because this fire is hit retarded hard. Is that character the fifth one down? This is Edwin. This is his secondary portrait when you take his portrait. But it's actually just Edwin. He's using immunity, saves making scripts. I mean, I suppose. But I mean, still, I just... At the same time, I can understand, like, if you manage to fear a dragon, that would be kind of retarded. Watching Firecrag run around scared, but at the same time, it's like... I feel that all fucking mortal humans, at the very least, should be the same. But, like, I, uh, dragons are immune to so many abilities, it's actually ridiculous. Same with liches. Liches are immune to spells level 5 and below. Damian liches are immune to all magic, period. And then they have a handful of other resistances and immunities on top of it. But those at least make sense. Those are epic legendary creatures make sense, but like... Some dude who's teleporting behind me and shit, that doesn't make too much sense. Why am I not casting my sleep? If you were sure that the launch of Wild was a good game, I could not justify the media critic stories and claims that BG Incarnate are 100 plus hours a game. Huh. Yeah, I haven't heard shit like that, but... I believe it. Run on a high level lich and still can't fear low level dragon. Well, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, uh, in a sense, that how it should be, right? I mean, epic monsters should have something cool going for them, but a regular dude shouldn't. And that's what I liked about Baldur's Gate, is that the Veorn had some cool spells, but those are all spells you could get. He's not casting shit that you can never use or doing something that you can never do. Everything he's doing, you can do. And I really like that. Because most games, you fight a boss and he uses abilities you can't get. And they even started doing that late in, uh... Late TOB. Balthazar had all these abilities you couldn't use. All the boss spawn had some cool shit, but for the most part, that's the way it was, and I liked that a lot. Okay. Rogue Rebalance Chosen of Seer Encounter is pretty cool. Uh, I have not. So I made AI that uses traps and wands. Oh, that sounds nasty as fuck. I remember the Seer Encounter thinking, oh, this is so badass. So I might have tried it at one point. But I know I tried one mod that made that shit, that fight really epic. So that might have been it. But I definitely like that a lot for sure. I love the interactions in TOB, right? Fucking, uh talking to Siric and shit, I thought that was great. And it totally makes sense too, right? Obviously Siric's interested, but like, uh, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Definitely some fun shit for sure. I don't know, it's so hard for me to articulate that properly. Like, if you look at a WoW, for example, every fucking mob in the game has an ability that you can't get, or can't do. With a few exceptions. Bosses especially have shit that you'll never be able to do. While in Baldur's Gate is the exact opposite. Every single thing an enemy can do, aside from liches and dragons and other fantastically magical creatures, you can do all the same shit and then some. Let me see some normal human beings with amazing guy to run back and set trap. Nice. With ease. 
I remember trying to attack the Shadow Thieves Guild, had to take two straight sight with half rounds of layer of mine. Tardy was bike backstabbed all the time, yeah. Four dogs. I didn't even see the dogs. There it is. It's just one war dog coming in hot. Oh, here come the rest of them. Fuck off, war dogs. Well, I'd like to kill these guys for XP, but we're kind of out right now. The stone tunnel. Yeah, let's get back to Nash Kill. Let's go with Nimble's ass. A hot dog. That's what I'm saying, dude. Yeah, even without the mods, I, I couldn't stand fighting the Shadow Thieves Guild. I sided with Bodhi because I wanted to be evil, and I'm like, fuck this shit. Dude, siding with the thieves is way easier. Having to get keys, and then you run into traps in every fucking fight. Such a tremendous pain in the ass, man. Fuck the Shadow Thieves. He's so stupid. I'm with fucking Vicky on this one. Surface dwellers can be really fucking stupid, boys. Uh, I was literally just saying to myself, what are the odds I hit nimble with hold person? See what I'm saying? Shit like this, that's exactly how it should be. Fuck off, we're sad. Nobody cares. Nobody is fucking immune, and I love that so much. We actually got to take one of his invis potions. I don't think we've ever gotten one of his invis potions before. It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. BG was done in 2010 to starting goblins on Rekus Dungeons to skill the players that despise this shit. Works with the US of Living where the rat need to kill them and kill you when you're a fully played end game level champion. That's retarded. Basically, why did not play Tyranny? Wow. Yeah, that sounds ridiculous. I can see that from the perspective being like, oh, well, you know, I mean, we want to make it a challenge no matter what, right? But at the same time, it's like, there's a limit for sure. Good spot there. Do my backpack, bitch. 54 HP, I like it. Hmm? I like that shit. Let's go. Take a nap. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the rebalance. That was one of the things I heard they did with WoW at one point. Where, like, if you had certain mismatched players and they'd fucking match everyone together. I think they did that for Star Wars, too, and it's just retarded. Want to run your low-level fr friend through shit and you can't because everything's souped up to your level. It's up there in five, six years ago, my dude. Now we had a little accident and uh, we had a little accident with a mind flayer. He ate my brains. It's unfortunate, my friend. It happens, dude. Sometimes brains are just eaten. You know what I mean? Sometimes they just get gulped. Send Divinity 1 or 2. Not familiar with that shit. It's up to you guys ago, my dude. Hope left's treating you well, friend. Ooh, ooh.
Excuse me, boys. Alright, what are we gonna do? What's our XP at right now? Ooh, Monty's real close. Not a problem. We could do the bandit camp. Could go do the mage. We'll do the mage and the slimes later. Go get those gloves. Okay, let's just do the bandits. Eh, yeah, bandits. Not a problem. Yeah, so what is the point of leveling? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. There's no fucking difference, right? Maybe you get another ability or you look cooler, but I mean, it's just, yeah. I'm not saying the game should be trivialized when you get to a certain point, but you should... If you're working to have an advantage, you should have said advantage, right? You sound more tired here than working at Denny's. I'm I, I'm not sleeping well, my friend. Yeah. Oh my god. If that was my dude right there, I'd be dead. I'd actually be dead. And it'd be game over. Oh, there's a lot of them over there. Wow. Jeez. Too many black talents. Yeah, there, Kagan, buddy. Oh, they're still alive. Holy shit, we got them. Blacktown elites are fucking ridiculous, dude. They hit so damn hard. I don't wanna talk. Yes? I have all these fucking darts in my inventory. All right, let's get rid of some of the darts. And fuck Black Talons, boys. Fuck Black Talons. Areas are the hard to terrible. That's <laughs> yeah. Fuck Black Talons, dude. Straight up. <sighs> really? Okay. Damn it! Alright. Alright, game, you fucking got me. One ambush into another ambush, you fucking got me again, dude. Alright, well, we got pretty far before we had to make our first trip here, boys. We got pretty far. Fuck off. Nobody cares on Leinster. You're a bitch. Not a problem. None of them is able to crit you. I, you have to, I have to get... At this point, bandits don't actually... It's... Bandits don't kill you unless they all crit you. But the Black Talons don't need to crit you to hit you. Well, at this point, bandits actually need to roll pretty high. The guys that killed me in the past were guys using plus one ar arrows and shit, and that makes a huge difference. At this point, even if we get the hardcore banded ambush, I should be able to live. Possible I don't, but yeah. DS games, more than the limited and pretty sensible skin and system. Skyrim is a bit worse than Oblivion is horrible. Loving a hero makes you weaker. The game does something very badly. Yeah, for sure, dude. I'm with you 100% on that one. I'm not saying that I should be fucking an unstoppable killing machine by the end of the game, but... Certain shit should get progressively easier, and my enemies should be getting progressively more challenging. Not because they're fucking scaling, but because the enemies themselves are more challenging. Like, you start out killing rats, and then eventually you're killing dragons, right? You shouldn't be killing rats, and then later killing rats again that are just scaling really well. It's just retarded. Yeah. Just silly. Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. What happens if I hit Elminster with a spell? Nothing. You get too much magic resistance. What a dick. Now you kill dragon hearts. Dragon rats, hell yeah, dude. Can I and fuck elements. Oh, fuck! Our rep is terrible. He's gonna fight us. Oh, we're at seven. We're okay. Can I assist you? Oh, we're good. We're good. I thought we were still at five. 
Yeah, Metsu doesn't give a fuck. He's like, eh. Whatever, dude. He's got no time for my shenanigans. It's like a... Like a kitten chasing the mama cat's tail. She doesn't give a fuck. This is why people in Central and Eastern Europe, like Gothic 1 and 2, go for the forest and they will eat you. The forest late game and they can't even scratch you. Hell yeah, dude. You can hit him, he's level 30 mage. 30 cleric of magic resists out the yin yang. I ain't no bitch. I've killed him in BG2. He's the chosen of Mister, so he's basically a demigod. I've killed him in BG2. Even Marvin's corpse isn't even cold yet, and you're already playing with fire. I know, right? Fuck. I don't give a fuck. Fuck Elminster. He's a bitch. He's a straight up bitch. You can actually make him go hostile and fight him in Baldur's Gate too. Oh fuck! I forgot about these. What do we got here? Go for blind here. You gotta slow off here. What do you want? And it's just a flat haste or so would be good. You hold here and then have everyone else go over him here. Okay. Looks like pretty much everything got resisted, which is a fucking shame. Perfect. If you kill the Nessia, then SCS doesn't affect him. He has all the skills in the game, including Thief and Bard ones. Um, hmm. Yeah, probably. I don't know, maybe. Uh, when I fought him last, he was uh, using... He was spamming mage spells long after he should have had them. He was using, like, Prismatic Spray or something. He would just literally cast Prismatic Spray every fucking round. I mean, that was a long, long fucking time ago. That was like 20 years ago, kind of long ago, so... I don't remember too much about it. I, I Actually, I don't know if I even killed him. He might have teleported away. I honestly, I don't fucking know. It's been too long. It's been way too long. Got a Monty level healer. Four points in open locks. Yeah, I'm honestly not even sure anymore. That was like literally fucking forever ago for sure. Hmm. Strongest non god in this universe after Lurlock? Yeah, probably. No, this is Elminster. He approaches you, um, in the forest. It's Elminster backwards, but it's actually Elminster. Yeah. He does, um... Fucking what's the word? Holy shit, we're just getting melted over here. Okay, time to run. They're all hitting me right now, which I don't like. 
He uses Elminster's pipe over and over again, which is like a prismatic spray that's spammable. I remember that. Go pester someone else. Something like that. I don't know. It's been way too long. Not a problem. Alright, guys. Ah, that's all right. But not because you told me to. Yes? With my usual command. Alright, fuck it. I know what these idiots need. That's what I'm saying, dude. Kill, perma killed four of them. When their body turns dark like that, they've been turned to ashes and they're permanently slain. As they should be. Eat the change, you filthy animals. Minor spells of action worth taking for a sorcerer? I don't think so. Minor is level 3, and there's a lot more spells you want for level 3. Melfs are amazing. If you're going solo, you might actually want flat haste as well. Um, actually, maybe. Maybe not, yeah. Because there's no other good way for you to buff your summons unless you multiple project image. Um, I shoot them. They shot first, dude. They shot first. You know how it is, dude. A miner's four? Uh, let's see. Four, you want stone skin. Four, you want improved invisibility. Four, you might want a fire shield. Good lord. You're just having the worst luck getting over here, dude. Straight up. Um, improved visibility. Fuck, I don't remember. Stone skin, improved invis. What the fuck else am I missing for level 4? Spirit armor. I mean, I guess you could take it, but it usually gets dispelled anyways. Spell shield will prevent at least one dispel. Minor deflection doesn't. And you also get the, um... When you get the Book of Infinite Spells, it actually can give you a free spell turning. So there's really no point to take it, in my opinion. I personally wouldn't take it. I'd take something else. It is level 3. I thought it was level 3. Level 3, yeah, you have no way to take it. Because you want, um... Yeah, there's so many better level 3 spells, in my opinion. With ease. Yes. Are we ever going to be able to sleep here without getting a bandit ambush? I'm actually getting kind of butthurt about these ambushes. Yeah, that's what I thought too. I thought it was level 3. Um, I personally wouldn't take it, even for solo. Although you do level up pretty quick as- oh, God in heaven. Ugh. Get me out, dude. Get me out! Stop waylaying me, you fuckers! Let me just do what I came here to do. I stand ready. Holy shit, you're a legend, man. How do we die? Brains, dude. Fucking brains. Feels bad, man. What's up, Rainwalk? How's it going, my dude? Oh, we got both Rains in here now. Let's go. Hey, for maybe when you're playing a CS to spell deflection, stop so those flame arrows, ass arrows, and other single target spells. All the way up to Finger of Death. I mean, mirror image is the same thing. Acid arrow, do you still take from? But I mean, one spider trap, poison equals GG. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, like, you'd either take it in BG one, which I could possibly see an argument for. BG two, absolutely no fucking way in hell would you take it in BG two. There's other ways to make yourself safe against spellcasters. Where you wouldn't merit spell deflection, in my opinion. I, stand ready. I could see an argument for BG1 for sure. But definitely not BG2. Hey, 
And if he's going solo, he's gonna level up quick as shit anyways. To the point where he'll get spell turning stupidly early on. Link to EET? I'm afraid I did not, my friend. Alright, we made it. We finally fucking made it, boys. We're gonna get to the bandit camp. Everything is perfect. I guess the path is clear now. I need to repeat the same road. Exactly, dude. We gotta do it and not project image when we're fighting mind flayers and we're gonna be good. We got this, man. We're good. Oh shit, quality cutscenes. Hell yeah. They don't even move. Who thought that was a good idea? Was that you, Yofa Morris, who was, who, uh, I was, my original contention was they couldn't get the rights to cinematics, and that's why they had to remake them. I think, was it you who said that that wasn't the case, they just did it because they honestly believed that they looked better? It's fucking weird. just real fucking weird they don't even move how is that a cinematic it's literally a picture frame it's like someone holding up a sign that says act two i mean it's what it makes no sense how what on what planet would anyone think that was better than the original nobody would yeah dude and they even have the sound for the original you hear them walking. You hear him smack the dude's ass. And Noel giving him a tap, a love tap. As he fucking tells him to go inside the tent. Makes no sense at all. I don't, I, I don't know, man. My original contention may be wrong, but I don't think anyone at Beamdog thought the second cinematic looked better than the original. There's no way anyone's that stupid. Did not do that again at BG2? I mean, I... You're definitely, you definitely got me there, dude, but holy fuck. What monkey actually thought the second one was better? I stand ready. Not a problem. Absolutely ridiculous. That's someone else you feel this oh, Makes zero fucking sense. Hey, look at this, guys. We're doing Remove Fear. Hope you're fucking hyped. Remove fear pug champ boys. That's what I'm saying. Let's go fuck up some bandits Oh That's someone else you built this one The Kobold Commandos, boys. This dude's in two web traps, and somehow he still managed to get spell cast off. He has a stud, boys. Man's actually a stud. Oh, we finally get his ass webbed? Good shit. BG fans are forced to work for many months over a year to make polls transition. Holy shit, really? Was there a dude? Been supposed to do free labor or something? Who says an old dog can't learn new buffs? That's what I'm saying, dude. Still don't have a translation for the French version? Do you really? What the fuck are they doing over there? The man who runs SES with clothes eyes? Hell yeah, dude. Ordinary eyeball, man. He could fucking pull anybody out of depression. The shit he says is just magical. Warms the cockles of my heart, boys. Thank you, Ordinary Eyeball. I appreciate it, man. What a guy. What a guy. 
It's that they don't have the money to do it. Didn't they announce they sold like 150,000 copies of this game? Not trying to be that guy. I'm just saying. I'm pretty sure they announced that they made over a million dollars off this. Does anybody know how many copies of a... Uh, the EE they sold? I'm legitimately curious. No idea, yeah. Same. Hundred fifty K copies can be because we do want sales regardless of the even now. The cash in every sale from anyways, have the rights, yeah. Yeah, I have I have honestly no idea where they're at. Wish I had the spirit axe as a razor of blood and fame. Oh, this is hard you gain motivation. Or you got them dangerous if you simply you do a pee at something you go for it. God bless you, man. You crazy bastard. Well, I love you and God bless you. Troubled times are upon us. Yeah, now we just be laid out of here, boys. Is there really no one else? Not a problem. That's someone else. You'll not take- Oh, I know who I need to name myself next. I know who the next name's gonna be, and the next name is guaranteed to succeed, boys. I'm not gonna spoil it by telling you who it is now, but... You'll know when the next one happens, dude. You know the next one's for real. You'll know it for sure. There's darkness falls, boys. These are some tanky fucking spiders, man. Holy shit. You think all it would take is just to stomp on them real quick and they drop and keel over, but... It's not the case. Not the case at all. I'm gonna see if we can position them over here like this, like we did last time. Looks like we got most of them over here. Still a few more left in the back.
There we go. By the way, is this the never really, you really get the off on their streams? Yeah, that's pretty much what I heard too. I've never played it myself, so I can't give an opinion on it. I've at least played SOD, so I have a pretty uh, I'm pretty strong in my opinion on that, but I've never played it. David Carradine or Donald Sutherland, cast of vets. Only the quick cast system were never one nice. The system were never nice to just beat bullshit aside from the spells and the bars, but 36 slots is not enough for service or not even thinking of using it for items, damn. Where the fuck these bears come from? Alright, let's gather up our loot, boys. A lot of scalps today, lads. Perfect. Let's go. Hey, what's up, Mighty Coon? How's it going, my dude? And we died to a Mind Flayer, my friend. A uh, Mind Flayer uh, teleported behind us, told us nothing, personnel kid, and then ate my brains. I didn't even have a chance to move or react. My screen, w I was looking at something else on my screen. I didn't even notice he was, uh, I honestly didn't even know he was there. I really didn't. And, uh, so... I thought, because I couldn't see exactly where the Mind Flayer was originally, and so I thought he was actually in this uh, certain, in the fog of war, I guess you'd say, and he wasn't. He had already teleported into the middle of my party, and so he kind of basically took us by surprise, and yeah, I died instantly. Uh, you're not able to defend yourself when you have a uh, project image up, so there's really not much I could do there to save myself, sadly, aside from obviously not use project image. Truly an unfortunate end to what was arguably our best run. We still made mistakes, don't get me wrong, but that was definitely the best run we've ever had of BG2 for sure. Zero permadeaths, boys. Not even one. Zero. Even Nero is still alive. And that's saying something, boys. Ooh, that was some good shit for sure. But it's all good. We learned lessons. We learned something. We're gonna do it better next time, boys. You know what I mean? You learn something new every day. Yeah, with ease. Can I assist you? You buy my scalps, bitch. Nice. We were actually gonna buy something, I don't remember what it was. Fuck. Hmm. Oh, I wanted to get the, the large shields plus one for Monty and Kagan. That's what we need here. Okay, I guess this is over. Okay, let's go buy some magical ammunition, pick up those shields. And we'll grab a wand of fireball, and then we'll go knock out the mage down there to get the wand of monster summoning, and then we're ready for Devayron, boys. Already there. Not a problem. Who's that old guy in your party? This is actually Edwin. When you take Edwin, when you take the portrait of any of the BG1 characters, it gives them a backup portrait, and this is Edwin's backup portrait right here. Because I'm have I'm taking Edwin's portrait for myself. Don't forget the claw. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna pick up the claw too. And patch it out, maybe buying 75% sale without the enhanced version of these significant improvements. Yeah. That's usually how it is. That's usually how it is, my man. There we go. Now we'll go sell some crap over to uh, High Hedge, pick up some magical ammo, and then. If we can get the claw, great. I don't know if we'll be able to afford it before we get a charisma spell, but we'll try. Actually, we should be at 20, aren't we? Yeah, we're at 20. We're good. 
And I learned the Constitution book, so that puts me at 17. That put me at 18. That put me at 20. Okay. Yeah, it should be good. Wait, what am I at? 19. Perfect. Okay, good. Yeah, 17 is still too, abo too above the max, so the Claw of Cascarel will still be good for us. Although it puts our save versus deaths into absolutely horrifying territory, which means if we get bit by a spider, we're basically guaranteed dead. So we want to take the ring off when we're fighting the fucking spiders, but aside from that, the ring will definitely be uh, more of a plus than a negative for sure. Feed your pet yet? Yep, I got my familiar. My familiar is already chilling in my inventory. Look at that. Is that not the most adorable familiar ever? The little baby demon? Ten out of ten, dude. Wood pet. You know what I'm saying? Let's go pick it up now. Oops. Why do I live in such a pissant town? Yeah, armor class plus one, plus plus four for a missile. Plus three to all saves except saves for its death, which go in the fucking toilet. I think we're actually gonna sack our level one spells here. And we're gonna pass this over to Baloth and pass that over to him. I stand Not a problem. Live in such a pissant town. That's a good question, dude. Why do you live in such a pissant town? Actually, we'll keep the darts of wounding for Devayorn just in case. So Tabadar, sell that too. We're still doing no cam cash. We got all these worthless darts in our inventory. I don't know why I bought all these. I really don't. Yeah, a portrait pack for three dollars makes. Oh yeah, that that shit's disgusting. Like that makes me physically ill when I hear hear people doing that. If there's one thing that's easy to get in this game, it's portraits. I I could I downloaded a portrait pack with over a thousand pictures in it. Literally, a thousand. For free. And when you're gonna try to sell me ten pictures... That's some fucking... That is some hardcore fucking... That is some shameless selling right there. With completely fucking shameless, man. Holy shit. That is some shameless ass shit, dude, for sure. Yeah, no shame whatsoever, man. No shame whatsoever. I would personally be ashamed to do that. Then again, I sold car insurance, so obviously I don't have much shame, do I? Maybe I have no shame. Maybe I'm the shameless one, dude. Point fingers at Beamdog when actually I'm the one without shame. Feels bad, boys. All right, I think we got everything we want here. I just realized we can't actually take the Claw of Kazgaroth off because it's cursed. So if we run into a spider, my save versus death right now is at 15. I'm going to get poisoned and I'm going to fucking die. More hype, less shame. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's no real, there's no real way, magical way around it, man. It is what it is, boys. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Plus, side, my other saves are fantastic. Once I get the uh, plus two ring, they'll be at four. Baldoran, three, and then a couple levels. Then we get blur and improved invisibility. My saves are going to be in the negatives pretty quickly. Except for death, which is going to be through the roof for a hot minute. I stand ready. Hmm? There aren't any elves around here, are there? There aren't any elves here. There's elves in the party, dude. Well, technically, she's a drow. Drow aren't elves, are they? Depends on who you ask, really. Yeah, some serious shit, man. Holy fuck. Quality shit, for sure. You guys don't mind if I cast a fireball on you, do you? You all okay with it, right? Good stuff. Someone else, you filthy swat. 
Polish BG form owner is a bit of an SCW and initially tried to censor people who criticized Beam Dog policies. Reason that out hate on Beam Dog has a potential new forum members, that being said, money for portraits is low as fuck. Yeah, it's. Yeah. I mean, I hate that. The thing is, you're gonna have people who disagree with you on your forums. It's important to have a healthy disagreement. If someone just comes on the forum and says, everything you're doing is shit, kill yourself, obviously that's not very constructive. But if someone comes on the forum and says, you guys are wasting your time doing shit that nobody wants, when there's problems in the game that needs to be fixed, and then says the problems, and says, fix them please, that's constructive. That's constructive criticism. That's de disagreeing for a reason. Not just to be like, nah, you guys suck, nah. It's saying, this is the problem, please fix it. This is why, you know, you guys have a job, you know? Not to fucking sell portraits. But to be fair, I mean, that's something somebody could do in a day, right? Some guy spent the afternoon doodling, drawing those fucking portraits, and is like, Hey, maybe I could sell these. And that's, you know, that's capitalism at its finest, right? I mean, that's a dude who makes something, and if someone wants to buy it, fantastic. Everybody wins, right? Dude A sells his crappy portrait. Dude B is like, I have a nice portrait. And, you know, everybody wins. It might not even be crappy. Those might be some of the best hand-drawn portraits of all fucking time, and I'm missing out severely by not having them. Who knows? I'm just saying. Well, I said with your druids to catch yourself the quest in BG. That's what I'm saying, dude. Not only do you get to kill... Well, the thing is... You get a quest, right? To go and, um... To help him out in Baldur's Gate. But if you kill him, his brother attacks you. And his brother is carrying the guide. The heavy crossbow, plus two, plus five. Which sells for 7,000 gold. Siding with the Druids doesn't give you that much. You have been and will be done. You must the Druids give you a shiny ring if you have good charisma. And that's it. And siding with him, all he does is give you a sword after you help him out in Baldur's Gate. So it's like... Pass. Yeah, that too. If you... He says, come to me for help anytime. If you come for him for help when you're being chased by Flaming Fist... He turns your ass in. He's a little bitch. He had it coming, boys, for sure. I'm honestly flabbergasted we didn't get the face spiders on us right away. It's pretty cool. We do have to have our anti-poisons ready, though, because we are going to get poisoned here. Amazing balsam lotion? Yeah. that We got the same We got the same joke, dude. We got the same joke. They're selling uh, aloe, aloe vera or some shit. Soothing balm lotion. Shit, no, get the trap, get the trap. There we go. That's someone else. There we go. That's how you fucking AoE and not take damage on your fighter, boys. Just like that. Perfect. Perfect! With some quality play right there for sure. Yeah, I could go for some fucking aloe vera right now. Some aloe bomb shit. Still think putting the claw on your main is a bad idea. At the very least, give it to someone else and doing Derelict's Tower and have a remove curse ready? Maybe. Well, I mean, I did it for the saving throws. That's literally why you buy the claws. For the saves, the extra AC and missile bonus is just gravy on top of it. With senses of the cat and the claw on, my saver, my uh, anti missile is like, yeah, a negative 9 modifier. And my missiles are already set to 4 to begin with. And then you have my dexterity on top of it, which is minus 13. So I'm sitting at basically negative 11 for missiles right now. Unless some dude rolls a crit, I'm not going to be getting hit by a missile attack. And that's why I bought the claw. Saves and missiles. Who else would you be putting the claw on? Because that's the reason I got it, was for saves and missiles. But if there's a better person to use it, let me know. The biggest thing for me, why I'm not going to use it on anybody else, is if we give it to someone else, they lose their constitution. 
And pretty much everyone is sitting at 16. Both these fuckers will lose a ton of HP. She won't, but actually she might get close to getting negatives. He loses a ton. Kagan, I think, loses 1 HP per level. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but I mean, yeah. I could put on a uh, Ring of Free Action for Mother Ring and I'm good. I'm going to use Ring of Free Action for most of the game. And I'll put on the Guard's Ring for probably the very last fight. I stand ready. Let's get a rest, see if we get some Face Spiders. Still no Face Spiders. Okay, we got her before she wanted us down, boys. That's good. I gotta be a little more careful about my dude casting spells because if I get hit and poisoned, I have to be ready to drink an anti poison right away, like not even a second later. I think we're good though. I think we're okay. It actually went pretty well to be honest. A lot of times we have uh, Vicky or somebody dying here, but we made it through. Now Kagan's got his free action sword too. Good shit. Do a fresh haste just in case we get jumped on the way out by face spiders. So this will allow us to reposition quickly. Perfect. Still didn't get the face spiders. I'm worried about that shit now. Mirror introversion guaranteed invincibility as long as their image is left. Yeah, you could still be hit. It depend actually depends on the spell and ability. If you get bit by a spider, whether it hits you or the mirror image, you still get poisoned. Acid arrow will always hit you. It may hit a mirror image first, but the poison damage, the acid damage, will always be taken no matter if it hits you or the mirror image in the next round. Um, yeah, everything else is, I believe is a chance. But poison and acid and per round effects, it doesn't matter whether it hits you or the mirror image, you will take the damage and suffer the consequences of that effect. But yeah, it's not invincibility. You still have a chance to get hit. Definitely not invincibility. I've died with I've died with a full mirror image up. It was pretty embarrassing. I think we've actually lost a couple people with full mirror image. It's quite annoying, really. Yeah, there's some. How oh, we fucking crashed. I have to say, what the hell happened? Uh, there's some really annoying shit that happens with mirror image that shouldn't. Uh, the the devour brain ability is another one. Whether the the illithid is hitting you or the mirror image. You're losing intellect every single time, which is really frustrating because that also makes it to where mirror image is basically worthless against an illithid because it can still devour your brain, whether it's hitting you or the mirror image. I'm trying to think what else there is. There's a lot of abilities like that, actually, that go through mirror image and shouldn't. They don't make sense that they do would do that. Wow, we got this ambush here? Unbelievable. Hmm. Have to pop some invisible potions here to save our fucking casters. We get hit. We only have one. Hmm. What if it's worth it? Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. Mm. 
Looks like she went for Monty. Okay, we need to get them out quick, otherwise we're in serious trouble here. Oh my god, she was right there on Monty. That has sucked tremendously. And now we just take out Telka and we're good. Really? Hate that bug so much. Got her. Good shit. Whew. That's actually the nasty ambush because backstab hits so hard. And if they land a crit on one of our mages, they actually explode. Most physical damage, however, back to the original question we were talking about before, it has a chance. Sometimes it'll go through the mirror image, sometimes the mirror image will soak it completely. It's just the way it should be, I suppose. That's how it should be. Sometimes you get good RNG and sometimes you get bad boys. It's just the way it is. Alright, now we just gotta wait for these idiots to come back. We go uh, collect my thoughts real quick. Be back in just a few, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream and having an awesome day. God bless, my friends. Be back in just a few.
And we back, boys. What's good? All right. Let's go collect our crap. Did we pick up everything here? Looks like we did. Check to make sure I'm not muted again this time like an idiot. I think we're good. All right. Um... Fighter dual class to mage. If you fight her early, uh, that will give you an enormous amount of HP. Um, which is arguably the hardest part of playing on insane difficulty. Everything does double damage, so you run out of HP really quickly. If you're not quite paying attention. I would go with that. Or another, uh, some other arcane caster. Mages are easily the best class to do a no save, no reload run because you have so many spell protections. Cleric Mage isn't terrible. Fighter Cleric isn't terrible. If you do a pure fighter or pure thief or a bard, bard's actually not so bad. But a pure fighter or pure thief, you're probably going to run into some struggles for sure. Eventually, it will get to the point where even on non SES, fire giants hit you so fucking hard that even hardiness won't save you, man. And it's just, it's definitely frustrating to deal with as a pure fighter or pure thief how little you can actually get into combat when you're taking double damage from everything. And the only way you can really get around that is by having some either arcane or fucking divine spell casting. So I definitely recommend going with one of those combo classes. Having arcane or divine spell casting will guarantee you being able to be an effective part of any fight, I should say. I'd definitely go with one of those. I would definitely run Heavy Spellcaster, but that's my personal preference. Yes. I would prefer running Heavy Spellcaster over Heavy Fighter. Doing this with Heavy Fighter would be a very serious challenge. A Fire Giant DPS. I had 180 HP and died in under 0.2 seconds when I didn't have my spell protections up. While also simultaneously having more armor than a uh, fighter. Who was it that died there? Was that Deveorn? Yeah. Watch my HP drop from practically full to zero. It happens instantaneously. I was not low. You can watch the video. I just go from close to full to dead. And I'm sitting on about 180 hit points, by the way. Yes. I actually want to watch it again because it's always entertaining to me. Yeah, I wouldn't even had I wouldn't have even had a chance to react. I had about 160 HP. You looked much younger then. That was about a month ago, my dude. I was just doing my hair differently. The best run ended here. It feels bad, man. You're wrong with fighter mage multi class, yeah, for sure. Gonna be gene of you spell learning, yeah. Those are good too. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, they both hit. The fire giants don't miss. They seriously don't miss. Fire Giants have some of the best Thacos in the game when it comes to melee because they have 22 strength as a Fire Giant. And yeah, it's... Oh my god, I have nothing up. Fuck, what am I doing? I'm being retarded. Got him! Get shit on you, little bitch! Alright, good stuff. Yeah, um... Why did the hit had damage bonus? Uh, I, I was taking a small amount of fire damage, too. Unless you're talking about what happened here, I'm using ammunition with a plus damage on it. 1d6 cold damage for darts of ice. 
I have some bullets that are doing electrical damage as well. But if you're talking about with the fire giants, they do fire down fire damage as well. But yeah, Damien is a right for sure. Fighter Mage is arguably the best class in the game. Arcane spellcasting gives you the strongest defensive abilities and the strongest defensive abilities as well. Divine is not bad though. There are a lot of really underrated divine casting spells, but Arcane is arguably better. For level 9 spells compared to level 7, HLA is pretty much everything. Yeah, that's uh, we're killing him right now, buddy. Yeah, the fire giant will do fire damage too. And of course you take double damage from everything, right? Cast a haste? Yeah, I guess I could cast a haste here. Good call, dude. I could go a little bit faster. Auto double damage rescues this bonus as well? Correct. You'll take double fire damage and double uh, physical damage. Although, I had fire resistance on, just not high enough. But yeah, if you're a fighter and pop hardiness, you won't die in two hits, but you'll be have hit you'll have been hit so hard that you have to bail. You literally cannot continue the fight. Might actually be able to hit these things, I don't know. Yeah, they are getting hit. Negative fire resistance? I didn't. I had positive fire resistance. I think I had sixty. Or maybe 70. 60 or 70, one of the two. I had a, quite a bit of fire resistance, which is why I barely took any fire damage at the beginning. If you have no fire resistance, your HP is going to disappear real quick. You fighters also start Defender SWRF2? Not sure what SWRF is, my friend. Yes. Oh, Dwarf. Got gotcha. you. Yeah, the uh, Dwarven Defender is very good. That's probably the only time I'd probably be okay with you being a pure fighter or a Kensei. But even then, I definitely wouldn't, wouldn't recommend Kensei for your first uh, no save, no reload run. As you can't wear armor, can't use fucking bracers. And Kensei to Mage is just shittier than Berserker to Mage and across the board. There's like no reason to be a Kensei to Mage when you could be a Berserker to Mage. Kensei scale extremely well. And uh, you lose that scaling when you dual class them, sadly. Kai is so much more useful as a thief than as a uh, than as a mage. If you want to dual class your Kensei, you should probably be going thief, not mage. But even then, that's still a setup I wouldn't recommend for your first run, for sure. But hey, it's up to you, man. I mean. It's not the end of the world if your run doesn't go well. My runs have not gone well many times, as you can see. I think most of the time we get to TOB, half the fucking companions are dead. I think the last couple runs have actually been really stellar in that regard. To where, you know, we actually have a decent handful of people who aren't dead in our fucking, uh, on backup. But for the most part, pretty much everyone's almost dead. Or is actually dead. I think when we were at Deveorn there, we actually had zero backups. There was literally nobody in the game we could have gotten to replace the people who died. Except for the EE companions. And even then, we lost some of those too. We actually had lost uh, Hexat. Hexat had been permanently killed by a misunderstanding of how she worked. But Hexat was permanently killed. I don't think Nira was. I'm not too sure though. Are you characters the best treatment the good ones? That's a good question, dude. Evil characters are almost infinitely better than the good versions in many, uh... Oh shit, Basilisk? Fuck it is. We're in a terrible position for this too. Fuck. Oh god. Please save, dude. Oh, he saved. If he didn't save, he'd be stuck as a statue here. And that'd be really unfortunate. No, stop it, you jackass. Wow, he fucking interrupted me. What a little bitch.
Get shit on. John Wayne with the level up, dude. Just dumpstering this bitch ass basilisk boys, you hear me? Alright, shield, protection, reflect. I think we take charisma here. Yeah. It'd be nice to have blind, but it's not the end of the world. And find familiar is definitely unnecessary. Spook's pretty good too, but I want friends. Okay, mirror image, glitter dust. We don't need to take vocalize on our guy. Web is really solid, but I don't think we're going to take it. Melts we're never going to use. We don't sequencer melts. We sequencer um, other shit. Blur. And blur is what we want. And then one, two, three. Then we might go for a detect and viz. Or web after that. Yeah, you can just familiar from a scroll, which is what I'm doing. Did you get that bear in your party in BG2? Wilson might make an appearance next game. We'll see, let's we'll see. What do we want next? I think it was Skull Trap, right? And then we do Melfs, then Flame Arrow, and then either Remove Magic or a... Maybe a Spell Thrust actually wouldn't be terrible. I definitely want a Spell Thrust on somebody. I would not play a pure Kensei, no armor and helmet means certain death for such a glass cannon. Yeah, but there's, uh, there's our, there are ways around that, for sure. For one, they get enough HP where even if they get crit once, they can still live. But, uh, yeah. It's... It's mostly based on other items you can use. And the fact that... I wouldn't send them in against a golem. But I would be okay with sending them in against maybe some of the dudes in the Twisted Rune. Be totally okay with that. And the fighter HLAs are good at reducing damage. But you can't tank as a Kensei. And you really can't tank as any fighter, really. But most fighters will take a lot more damage than a Kensei can. All right, I think we're gonna go with the spell tra a skull trap though. Yeah, I think that's what we're doing here. I stand ready. Yeah, the pure kensei is actually pure kensei is really strong in certain situations. It's really effective at chopping mages up in the original game, not SCS. Um, there are a lot of times where being a pure kensei is very, very powerful. I mean, it it does more damage than anything else in the game. Like, even if you fucking shape change to a fucking, uh, the golem, the level 9 mage spell shape change to golem, which does, like, 40, 10 damage or something like that in physical, a kensei will still hit harder. Because a kensei will do an extra 10 damage just based on its fucking class. Although, it does miss out on the gauntlets of extraordinary weapon specialization, which sucks, but... Pure kensei scales very well. You can actually do more range damage as a pure kensei than as an archer. Does that make sense? It doesn't, but that's the way it works. You can go Grandmaster in throwing daggers and use a throwing dagger as a Kensei, and using uh, Kai in your base fucking damage, you actually do more damage than an archer. As stupid as that fucking sounds. Because you get the strength bonus, right? So, you can actually literally keep your Kensei in the back line and use him as a ranged damage guy. And it's actually, it works pretty well. I always predict the Kensei, protect the fire all the time. Seems very convenient, dude. Tell me about it. That's how I felt about Mazzy and TOB. Same shit with Sarabok until I dueled him to a mage. On insane difficulty in BG2, fighters like Corrigan are pretty decent. Mazzy too. You don't have to worry about them too much, but in TOB, they are fucking squishy as all hell, dude. And throwing a ball, they are squishy as fuck. A pure fighter is just too damn squishy, man. If you don't have spell mythos, you're just fucked. You really are. Which sucks, but I, I haven't found a way around it yet. If anyone's got some bright ideas, let me know. Because aside from using shit like El Bratha and the mirror image fucking items, I just... I don't see a way to keep them safe. Even in a fight, let alone to actually have them go in and melee. Right? Like, were I to actually send fucking Corrigan into melee Adelon, he'd die in two seconds, man, no matter what potions I fucking gave the guy. With the added bonus, he can't even protect his fucking potions, because Adelon's gonna dispel him right off the bat. Yeah, there's just no way around it, man. You're just screwed. This dude sells darts. Oh, he does sell some darts. I'm gonna take, uh, I think 16. 
should be good. And I'll take 16 and we should be good here. There's a stunning art plus one, so yeah, I think we'll have to work with the Baron. Here. What's your worth experience with a customer you went through? Um in what position? I've had a lot of different jobs, my dude. The two AC bonuses one time only Kensei AC will not drop any further. Yeah, I know. But you can give a Kensei spirit armor. Like food restaurants? Oh, gotcha. Um, I don't know. I typically really didn't have any. I don't think I've actually had any fucking moments stand out. I mean, I worked in the kitchen. I never dealt with customers. And even when I did serve tables, I never once got a complaint. I mean, food came out. If food came out slow, as the kitchen swallowed. It wasn't something I did. And when I was in the kitchen, I had a lot of dumbass servers. That's for sure. I never thought servers were stupid until I worked in the kitchen. And then I realized just how incredibly stupid all my coworkers were when I was serving. Because they are all fucking dumb as rocks. I'm not saying if you're a server that you're an idiot, but I just... I mean, holy fucking moly, dude. I've had some... I've had food come back and people tell me shit that I wouldn't have fucking believed. Just some of the weirdest, dumbest shit ever. It's like, oh, my, my table can't eat this. They're vegetarians. I'm like, bitch, it's a chicken dish. Why are you bringing this back and telling me that a vegetarian can't eat a chicken dish when you know full fucking well it was a chicken dish? Like, seriously? I understand, like, we use fucking, like, say, a chicken broth to make a sauce, right? A server might not know that until they come and ask me. I get that. But if the dish literally says chicken on it, why are you serving that to a vegetarian? Either that person just told you they're a vegetarian, or you forgot to tell me and you're trying to fucking weasel your way out of you making a mistake, which I have done in the past. I've done that before for sure. Where I fuck something up and I'm just like, oh shit, this dude just now told me he can't eat this, man. I'm like, alright, I've been there before. I know what you're doing, buddy. I know what's going on here. Let's the spell spirit helmet is available. I can see that work, but not without. No, any any mage can cast spirit armor on anybody, Rainer. It's a targeted spell. Unless you mean you're soloing the game early, in which case you're just gonna have to kite for a while. If you're soloing as a fucking Kensei, then yeah, obviously that won't work. But if you're in a party, you can cast spirit armor on the Kensei. Ghost armor, mage armor. And shield are all auto centered on the caster, but spirit armor you can target and give to anybody. And you can use the shield amulet for a while too, and with dexterity that puts you at zero. Because you're gonna have 19 dex as a fucking Kensei for sure. 18 dex, max dex, whatever it is. But even then, I wouldn't recommend Kensei unless you're. Pretty good with kiting and shit. I'm afraid I do not, my friend. I can't answer you. Yes. It will be done. I get nothing for you, buddy. I stand ready. All right, boys. Time for one of the hardest fights in the game. Let's do it up, lads. I stand ready. With ease. Night Singer, give me power. Oh, she's so close to level seven, which would give us the good skeletons. Damn. Maybe I should go and do a couple things somewhere else to get the good skellies. That'd make all the difference in the world, not just for this fight, for the fucking Devayron too. Definitely want to get protection for impetrification of myself, because Chromatic Orb 
These mages' chromatic orbs do uh, petrify, so we gotta worry about that too. Okay. We gonna get some fucking uh, wands up in this bitch. I just wanted myself to. Let's get up here, boys. Let's do it up, lads. What do you want? I... Sure. I stand ready. Again, you disturb me. I couldn't even get it off. Fuck, that's annoying. Let's see what happens here. Oh, is that a dispo? Is it on Kagan? Okay. Oh, he didn't eat. It missed. Wow, it actually missed. That's wild. Not often you see that happen. Of course, it's not going to work. I didn't think of that. Oh, let's see. Maybe we'll just stun Gentor. Yeah, that's going to be some chaos spells. we got to get rid of him around here, I think. Chaos yeah, coming in a hot on Baloth. Gotta cut him out. Resisted. Good stuff. Oh, Kagan's in the middle of the fucking fight. Whoops. Hmm. Jace is still basically full HP here. Okay, we gotta turn AI off. Fuck! He just got confused. At, um, arguably, one of the worst moments ever. Okay, you just run around like an idiot. I love it. No, Kagan's in seed now. They still in it though. They're uh, they're fucking um, love of modern vulnerability should be wearing off fairly soon here. Stop dire charming my fucking summons, you fuckers. Ooh, I don't know what that is. Monster summoning? Okay. Draw your daggers and spells, boys, and let's have other. Let's see. The cake is still fairly low here. Get a fresh haste on our mages. And let's get Monty and Kate and uh, Vicky up here, too. Yeah, it's pretty much everything. Gotta get another monster summoning up in here. There we go. We got a berserker down here. Okay. Still got okay. What's his name in the back that's finally dropped his? Okay, Kagan's about to die. Ah, uh, let's see. Can we save Kagan with a magic missile? Maybe. Tough. Yes! Got him. We saved him, boys. Oh, fuck. Trace is coming in hot. Face spider in. We gotta swap the face spider. Monty got poisoned. Okay, face spider's down. Swap back to Dracis. Alright, Dracis is dead. Chromatic orbs are coming in now. Oh wow, fucking what's his name's completely immune. He took no damage there. Okay, is that a dispel? Should be. Yep. 
Bounce two. Dead one. Okay, they both got hit. Good stuff. Okay, I want to make sure we got magical ammo up right now. We use it all? Okay, that's fine. Swap this out. Swap the this. Use that. Okay, bullets electricity there. Swap that. Use that. Dirt's good. Faceless is blinded. Nice. Perfect. Alright. Well, we blew through a lot of wands here, and we lost uh, Kagan, but... Oh no, that could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse, boys. Alright. Let's go up here. If you see the retarded damage output, I would have favored Berserker Beast. Absolutely, yeah. Berserker, Berserker Mage is better in pretty much every way. Uh, the immunities are fantastic. You get two damage and two Thacko for Berserking, by the way. Which is the exact same you'd get as a Kensei if you duel at seven. At three, you get plus three, but don't forget, you lose out on the Gauntlets of Extraordinary Weapons Specialization. Which is damage, Thacko, and an extra half attack per round. I mean... Kai is cool, but weapon damage is dog shit. Weapon damage doesn't fucking matter in BG2. Most of your weapon damage is coming from your strength, and the extra damage from you using a magical weapon in the first place. Kensei is more Thacko and damage Kai, Berserker Mage, a better tank though. Berserker will actually do more damage than a Kensei. Period. And I'll tell you why. Every time you Kai, you can't cast a spell. And at high levels, you never want to Kai. Kai does not add nearly enough, as much damage as, say, a Horde Wilting, or a Breach, which is far more useful, or any other fucking mage spell. And you can't do both. If Kai didn't fucking count as your turn for the round, like chugging a potion, it'd be great. But the fact that it does makes it worthless. Even if you have improved taste up and you're using Kai with a katana, you're doing 10 damage per hit instead of rolling 1d10. Right? One horde wilting will do all that damage to one target. If it hits multiple targets, which it will, because it's horde wilting, it's going to do way more than that. Takes a while, kids, but it's good, good. Still plenty of protection. Every bit more counts. Still all better than Pure Kensei. Pure Kensei is actually really good, man. It's underrated for sure. Pure Kensei hits fucking hard. But Kai isn't the reason Pure Kensei hits hard. Kai is nice, but it's not the reason. And if you're using, say, like, Krom Fair or something, which is 2d4, Kai is fucking worthless completely. It's like chugging a potion, Yopa Mars. If I chug a potion... And then try to cast Fireball... Nothing happens. Because using using that potion uses up my turn for the round. You can only use one ability per round. One spell. And Kai counts as an ability slash spell. It's just like chugging a potion. Same with hardiness. If I pop hardiness, I can't use any other abilities that round. Because it'd be broken if you could chain them, obviously. But what I'm saying is, if you're a mage, and you are because you're dual classing a mage, it's so much better for you to use a mage spell. Want to max damage? If you want to max damage, why don't you use a Horde Wilting and then start using all your auto attacks? If you want to max damage, the Mage has a Stone Skin up, why don't you use a Breach to take that down and then use auto attacks? You'd never use Kai. In what situation would you use Kai over another Mage spell, is my question. There are so few. So few situations. And don't forget, Kai only applies to weapon damage. Only weapon damage. Time stop Kai? I'd rather improve Alacrity, Drop Horde, Wiltings in between auto attacks, man. Yes. I'm not saying it sucks. I'm just saying it does. It's it's not nearly as good as doing something else. No AOE lower resistance. Well, I mean, there's still other spells you can do. Dropping a fucking comet, for example, and then doing all your auto attacks for the round. Because don't forget, you can still do all your auto attacks. 
darkness prevail. I don't think you can Kai and use a... I don't think you your improved alacrity allows you to do abilities. I don't believe improved alacrity allows you to use multiple abilities. I might be wrong, but I don't think it does. It does? Really? Okay. Last I played, it doesn't work, so that might be one of the mods I'm running with that nerfs that. Hmm. Kind of screwed when it comes to this armor here. No place to put it. Actually, he might be able to carry it. Yeah, he can. Yes. Fighter at Mage Thief has the greatest damage potential? Huh. Yeah, I guess I'm, I'm wrong because of uh, the shit I have running. My bad. I didn't think you could. I thought, uh, excuse me, improved alacrity only works for spells. Pure Kensei? Oh, I would st I would take it over Kensei. I would take a Kensei Mage over a pure Kensei too. But if, if you're going to dual class a fighter to Mage, I feel like Berserker is better. And if you're going to leave it a pure fighter, a Kensei is better. You know what I mean? Dual Thacko's got worse and worse. Eventually your Thacko kind of lags behind, but I mean, not so much. Not so much. Use him for haste for Kai, obviously, yeah. But I meant, I just, I can't think of many situations where Kai would be more useful than another mage spell. I really can't. Create a whirlwind, crit strike, assassinate together, chop them all up big time. Yeah, it does sound pretty busted for sure. Of course, you can't do that because Fighter Mage Thief doesn't actually, you know, get level 9 spells for mages. Otherwise, that'd be cool. But you can't get those. Unless you take off the XP cap, in which case, I mean, yeah. If you take off the XP cap, then multi-class is always superior. Let's be honest here. Multi-class is always superior if you can level past the XP cap. But, um, triple classes don't get access to arcane HLAs. Well, yeah, well, that's what I'm saying, though. If that's the case, then why ever be a single class? Multi-classing is always going to be superior if you're removing the XP cap. You know, let's talk about extending Kensei's level before dueling. When do you usually duel? In a solo run? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Without mods, you can eat brains with any simple mage? Yeah, that's true. I mean, technically, you can eat brains with fucking, uh, with any mage in the game by uh, using shape change into a mind flare. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I'm gonna, I'm, you know what, I'm gonna go and eat some Mind Flayer brains. I'm, they're probably immune to it, but I'm gonna try. It will be done. And doing a solo run of the XP cap intact would be extremely painful. I mean, I did in the past, but not as a multi-class. I did Sorcerer solo plays. And I was a little kid. I think I missed some chat. Let me scroll up here for a second. It's a board near Oh, all hail there. That's what I'm saying, dude. I mean, that's good for single target, but I mean. If Whirlwind was like Barbarian Whirlwind from D2, I'd be okay with it, but just, I don't know, man. Two-handed or dual weapon with pure Kensei versus one enemy. If you're using a two-hander, you can't hit the attack for round cap, so... Two-handers are pretty much universally inferior to dual wielding, sadly. Multiple solo runs without XP right now, the point for the character should attack this player. Nice. 13 dual use scrolls to get to mage 14, feel like an unkillable god. If you're going solo, sure, man. If you duel a 13, keep in mind, 13 for a fighter is 1.25 million XP. That is fucking painful, dude. That is fucking painful. 
which means you have to get to 14 mage, which is another million and a half. If you're not solo, man, you're not going to see your fighter levels until late Shadows of Om, dude. LOB solo run for the archives, so to make it fast, I just eat every brain I can. You don't need extra XP anyways. There you go. Yeah, level 9 to me is the perfect balance. 7 is too early, and 13 is way too late. 9 is my personal favorite for sure. 200 weapons is better for multi-class or pure classes. I mean, with improved taste, I don't see how you could argue for that. Unless you're going as like, uh, if you're a pure fighter, then it doesn't matter if you're using a two-hander, because at that point, Greater Whirlwind actually becomes useful. But I don't see why you'd ever want to use it for anything that can, you know, yeah. I don't see what else you want to go for it, for sure. Shit, he his axe. There it is. Okay. I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it is definitely preference, but if we're arguing about what's the best, that's where it starts to get to, uh, just get a little gritty. For sure. Because technically, you can beat the game in anything. Any class is fun, right? Like, no matter what you're playing. Staff the Ram, Improved Alacrity, Greater Rolling, and Critical Strike. See, for me, it's just... I don't know, man. If I'm popping Improved Alacrity, I'm gonna Comet, and I'm gonna Dragon's Breath, and I'm gonna Horrid Wilting, man. Like, it is just... If you're fighting a mage, you can't hit him until you remove the spell protections. So the fighter shit's worthless. And if you're fighting fighters, they have no spell protections. So why wouldn't you want to use spells? You know what I mean? I just can't think of many moments in my mind where if I have improved alacrity, I'm going to blow it on doing extra physical damage. Maybe if you're fighting the Ravager or something like that. Or Adelon who fucking just got completely breached. All your spellcasters are just breaching the shit out of something, and you perfectly time a time stop, and you don't want to use Dragon's Breath in Comet because you have other people in your party that are also right next to the dragon, in which case it would be more useful to use Critical Strike and Kai and Improved Alacrity at the same time. I mean, I don't know, dude. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. Greater Whirlwind is perfect for two-handers. Not so much if you're dual wielding, because with improved haste and dual wield with Belm or Kundane or the Ninja Toe, you're going to be APR cap, so there's no reason to grade a whirlwind. Hmm? I never use improved alacrity to Kai. Some people have said that. You improved alacrity, Kai, um, critical strike, and shit like that. Yeah. Find me an inn. I'm, I'm just trying to think of times where if I have Im improved alacrity up why I'd ever want to go for ma for fighter HLAs over mage HLAs or mage spells in general to be honest I wouldn't want to waste them on those I really wouldn't you can dish out so much more using mage spells during a, an improved alacrity than you ever could with physical. With very few exceptions, like I said, with the rep. Something that is just tanky as fuck. That all you need to do is physical damage to kill it, like the Ravager. That's the only time I would ever possibly see that being useful. And even then, that's... You, it's not like you can't use spells on the Ravager. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good point, good point. Multiclass, yeah. It, but even then, though, dude, like... 
if you're triple multi-classing and breaking the XP cap, then obviously you're right. But if you're dual classing, man, I don't see why you'd ever want to use a fighter. Even if you had the Black Blade of Disaster, man, your damage is going to be inferior to using mage spells. I stand ready. If you're fighting a spellcaster, he's going to have protection spells up so you can't hit him. And if you're fighting a, fire, a fighter, he's not going to have spell protections at all. So you can just fuck him up real quick with spells. Even if he has resistances. Even if you have five fighters with 50% magic resistance, it is more worth it to drop a fucking Dragon's Breath on top of them than to use uh, Greater Whirlwind and fucking Critical Strike together. Zerka Mage with Staff Grand Mastery is something that might be worth it. <laughs> Staff the Mage different the spell and hit. It's not optimal. More of an interesting flavor build. Staff the Mage I does hit as a plus five weapon, so... That is interesting for sure. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm hoping that turning into like some angry fucking ranter here. I I do enjoy this discussion. I'm not trying to like shit on anybody for their ideas or beliefs. It's just, yeah. You know what I'm saying, boys? Yeah, staves are pretty nasty. Best backstab weapon in the game for sure, right? That's right, death to the disbelievers. That's what I'm saying, dude. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I mean, the other thing is, TOB, a lot of fights are, like, there's multiple targets, right? Aside from a couple ball spawn, like, um, a Bazigail or whatever. Balthazar has got a couple monks. Well, there's a lot of fights where there's a ton of people, right? To where, even if they have resistances, man, AoE spells are just worth their weight in gold, dude. Better enemies like demons with lots of MR and multiple demons at the same time cannot lower resist on all except you as a sorcerer. But I mean, with improved alacrity and Robo Vecna, you can literally lower resistance on most of them. But I guess I see what you're saying. If, well, let's see. You get one round, lower resistance should be instant cast, right? Let me see. Yeah, casting time 5, so Robo Vecna and Amulet of Power reduces it to 0. So you can cast lower resistance instantly, bam, bam, bam. Hit each one once, lower resistance at level, say, 25 is going to do about 35 resistance lowering, putting it at half or less, because nobody has full 100. And then hitting with a Dragon's Breath and a Comet, which you should still have time for at the end of your Alacrity. I mean, I still think it's a lot, dude. I feel that's more, more so. BG Veterans and a Pro so glad I found it, no scripts allowed. Yeah. Oh, well, we can test it at some point. We'll see, man. I mean, you might be right. I have not used that enough to say that its damage is insignificant. I'm just doing the math in my head here, and it's coming out to be an inferior in my head, but it's totally possible I'm wrong, man. I'm not saying that there's no chance and you guys are idiots. It's definitely possible you're right. I just, I'm not fucking seeing it. The math is not adding up that way in my head. Go whack instead of casting spells? Can't argue with that, man. For most of the Berserker Mage's life, it's far more effective the DPS physically than uh, with spells. It's only late game to where, like, the Berserker abilities are almost insignificant. To where mages are just so infinitely better that it's almost worthless to fucking melee at all. Not quite. And there are plenty of times when meleeing is absolutely necessary, but... Mages just get so good late, dude. So fucking good late. With ease. Go. <laughs> you are so Sword and board, baby? That's what I'm saying, dude. His armor broke. Poor guy. The Iron Crisis. His armor literally breaks in the first fight he has. The poor guy, boys. <laughs> that means spells and you need multiple lowers that spend every else will consider positioning even if you're in base and privilege close to the cast and privilege only last two rounds not enough unless you have multiples of them 
Yeah, I guess it also depends on what version you're running. I'm playing right now where you only get one... You get one HLA. You get all your HLAs, but you only get one each. You can't memorize multiples. So it definitely depends on what mods you're running too. When it comes to caster HLAs, excuse me. Because you can take multiple hardinesses, multiple whatever you want. You do get an awful lot of spells, man. Especially if you're using mage rings. If you're wearing the reaching ring and you get your 6, 7, and 8 spells from your mage uh, HLA, and god forbid you're a gnome, if you're a gnome multi-class, holy fuck, dude. You're set. You got lots of spells. You're not Edwin, but you have a lot of fucking spells, dude, for sure. And if you're wishing to get your spells back... Mm. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, for e a fucking prolonged fights or a fight over, you know, like a whole area, yeah, you'd have to rest. And that's something that fighters definitely have an advantage over casters for, is they don't have to fucking rest. If they want to fucking get ready for the next fight, they pop the potion and they're good to go. That's all they need. Three gallon of tavern, your weapons have progressively higher chance to break. Nice touch. Did they really? I didn't know that. Oh, is it because of the luck modifier? That's funny as hell. Well, you must be loving my action. That's with my that's funny, so with ease, you are so irritating. Yes, not a problem. Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. That jackass in the back is actually still alive. Wow, he's still still alive. Okay, now he's dead. All right, can big multiple creature strike mages improve. Well, because keep in mind that a mage HLA typically replaces a level nine spell. This allows you to pick level nine spells and have all the HLAs at the same time. So in a way, it's actually fairly balanced because taking multiple improved alacrities is very powerful. Taking an alacrity and multiple fucking dragon's breaths is very powerful and kind of broken in a sense. And um, I don't feel like taking multiple hardinesses is broken at all. Not a problem. Not not even close. I stand ready. Which since maze level slower than not enough HLAs to take after a certain point. That is true. Mages do kind of get shafted in that regard if they're pure. What do you they don't get nearly as many fun abilities to take. Actually, we'll go ahead and save her shit and we'll just give him an anti-poison here. Yeah, so after a point, it doesn't really matter. Your level ups are pretty uneventful when it comes to taking HLAs as the mage. That's true. That's definitely true. Like getting epic levels with a chance to get an HLA is kind of stupid. I hear you. But I mean, as you level up, you only get one anyways, right? It's not like you take multiple dragon's breaths when you level up. You can memorize multiple ones if you want, but leveling up really doesn't change that. Because by the time you have all your mage HLAs, you're already capped on level 9 spells for the most part. Yeah, I do wish mages had something more, or different. Doom is nigh, whale if you must, that's what I'm saying, dude. We got this shit, boys. 
That's someone else, you filthy swine. Again you disturb me. I stand ready. Olga? Damn, he got interrupted. That's a shame. That's really annoying. Come well, on, get him, John Wayne. Oh. Well, if I was to cast a music one at any time and cast some multiple project images, yeah. In this one, three. Wait, why is that shit on the ground? Something should be in. It should be in Kagan's inventory. What the hell? Weird. We're good, right? Yep, yeah, let's go. Not a problem. Yeah, I mean, yeah. When our uh, armor spell goes off, he's basically screwed. I stole his robe of the evil arch magi, so he no longer actually has armor, sadly. Unfortunately for him. Perhaps if I had not stolen that from him, he'd still be alive today, boys. He'd still be with us today. Alas. Alas, boys. Broken armor on the ground. Great. Wow, he, his shield broke too? That's some bad luck right there. Your armor and shield breaks mid-fight becomes worthless. Unfortunate. Yeah, it would be cool if there was some other mage shit. I don't know what else they'd get. Because they're already the best fucking spellcaster, right? Maybe some more lower level spells. Kind of like a ring. Or the ability to maybe craft items. Nah, that sounds so busted. It sounds so broken. Scribe Scrolls is already a thief ability too. Yeah, it is kind of hard to notice, right? Oh well. Rest in peace, Bailoth. Last fight before the Veyron, too. Then we're on to the next hardest fight in the game, boys. The Veyron, the man himself. The man, the myth, the legend himself, lads. These scribe scrolls in Alchemy and Vanilla BG2? That's what I thought. I could have sworn that was actually a mage thing. Um, because it makes more sense, right? But, uh, especially when you compare the fact that thieves take multiple abilities, mages take theirs once, right? So it makes sense for them to have more abilities, and it seems like they have less than everybody else, which they do. But I don't remember actually doing that on my mage, although I might be crazy. I might have. I don't know. That was a long time ago. My memory from that time is, yeah, it's been a hot minute, dude, for sure. I'm actually low enough to die in an auto attack, so I kind of got to be careful here. Okay, we because of Imperial Actor technique, you can spam them before rest. That'd be funny. I mean, but then you could. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And you do that as a Mage Thief, then, right? And they're not even good, they're shitty fucking potions and scrolls. If it's not like you can make a potion of power or some shit. Oh, what the fuck? Clicking the wrong dude. I'm taking a good staff, buddy. Hmm. 
He looks ridiculous in the orange. He looks ridiculous in yellow too. I recall the day here. Yes. Now more playing around with armor for aesthetics, boys. Aesthetics are key, but uh, no need to play around with this shit. So we're not calling it a day, and we're quitting. We're gonna fucking. We're going all the way to six, boys. All the fucking way today. We're gonna do it, lads. Where we should be going anyways, but today we're actually gonna make it. It will be done. Poggers. Yeah, I don't know how fucking people stream for 12 hours a day, dude. I just get a fucking headache, man. I don't know. Maybe I don't eat enough. I'm a big fucking dude, and I eat a lot after a fucking stream or before stream, but not during. Maybe it's just too long without my fat ass eating some food, and that's why I'm getting the headaches. Not a problem. Who knows, man? Hmm? Who knows, boys? Who knows? Cause that would make sense. Maybe I just make myself a sandwich midstream. It should be good. Meth streamer's favorite? Shit. Yeah, I do get sleepy too. Meth would definitely help with that. Yeah, I must rest too, dude. I must rest in game and in real life. Oh shit, we got the rest. Let's go. Alright, boys, let's go give Devaren the dick. The dickin. The dickin he justly deserves. We got two potions of magic blocking. That should be enough for Monty to go hard. Should be enough. Yeah, I think we'll be good, boys. I think we'll be good. Yeah, and we'll probably uh, just do a little bit of Baldur's Gate, and then we'll call it for the day after we uh, if we knock out this idiot here, this dummy who thinks he can fucking take me on. I don't think so, buddy. I don't care if you got Doom Guards. I don't care if you got Black Town elites coming in to back you up. You ain't got shit on me. Hmm, I'm trying to think an oracle spell here would be super fucking useful. Yeah, detect illusion would be incredibly helpful here. I stand ready. I better bust out that detect evil scroll too. That will also be super useful. Anything else in here that would help us out for this fight? Looks like that's it. Just detect evil and detect illusion, boys. And we'll know for sure. Bats, dude. Shut up. God, I wish I could just kill all the fucking- We're, we're drowning these fuckers. I don't even give a shit. What's our rep? I don't give a fuck what it is. We're drowning these idiots today. We haven't drowned the fucking, uh, the slaves in a long time. That's gonna be a thing. That's gonna be a thing someday, boys. Drowning the slaves is gonna be like killing or saving the animals in Super Metroid runs at GDQ. People are gonna vote. There's gonna be like a hundred thousand dollars donated to cancer research just to drown or save the slaves. I'm calling it right now, boys. That's the next level shit right there. Not a problem. I stand ready. I mean, we're gonna drown him every time. Every fucking time, dude. They've been saved too many. We've saved the slaves too many times. Yeah, not a problem. 
Yeah, yeah, spare no one. Kind of. Remember that GDQ and SDQ are partially a scam? Oh, absolutely. There is no such thing as a charity that gives all their money to where the charity is actually supposed to give their money. Charities are a fantastic way for people to launder money and steal money. It's not used for helping people. Now, that sounds really cynical, but it's... I don't know a foundation that actually fucking... That actually has accounted for all the fucking money they made. I really don't. There are a lot of good people out there who start these things and they start off as good, pure, honest things to help people and fight for causes. And then people realize that they can make money by joining it. And that's where it all goes to hell. When these things start out small, they're generally good, honest, and pure. And as they get bigger and bigger, then it, that's where it all goes to shit, man. That's where it all goes to shit. It's a shame, but it's... It's fucking true far more often than it isn't. But there are good people out there, boys. There are good people out there, for sure. Doing good things. They're saving the animals. Saving the tasty animals. Yeah, I think we're good. One more trap to detect, and we're done here. We're gonna swap over to this, bust out the acid arrows for Monty. Let's break out some potions, boys. Oh, we actually want to use this. Hold up. Alright, boys, you ready? I stand ready. Here it comes, lads. Monty's evil, John Wayne's evil, Edwin Kagan, Viconia are evil. Bailoth has magic resistance. Now we know. How the sword party gets you? Oh, hey, what's up, Sigmund? How's it going, dude? Yeah, we got to, uh... We were in Spellhold, popping the bulk to summon monsters. I was using Project Image. Popped a Mind Flayer. Mind Flayer teleported to where my dude was and ate my brain before I even had a chance to react. I didn't even know I was under attack. They make money by going because because they want to make money for charity, which wouldn't happen without... Oh, absolutely. I'm not saying it's like a pure funnel for evil or something. A lot of the money goes to good causes. It's just far more ends up in the pockets than should. That's all I'm saying. And in many cases, a lot of these old... A lot of the old ones especially end up being hijacked for nefarious purposes, which is, again, a shame, but it's just the way it is, man. Just the way it is. Mind Flayer can teleport? Yeah, in SCS, mine, all Mind Flayers have Dimension Door. And they just ate my fucking brains right out of my head, man. Feels bad. Snatch them shits up. Yummy. We are fucking lacking in potions today. Holy fuck, I didn't stock up on anything. Alright, well. Here's what it is, I guess. Okay, I think we're good. Alright yeah, boys, let's do it up. Position over there, position here, here, and here, and here, here, and here. Start it up, lads. Quick save in case we crash. Come at me, battle horror. the other one I come with. Fuck you at, dude. Don't get webbed! Fuck! Yeah, he's dead. Oh, 
fuck. Oh, we oh my god, he saved. Wow. That's lucky as shit. Oh, he had his boots on too, okay. Yeah, his boots and his helmet. I was like, wow, how did he not permadie there? He had on his fucking boots and helmet. What a lucky motherfucker. Yep, here he comes. Looks like Kona Cold. Might be a Sunfire. Do you have any fire resistance? We do have one more of these. Let's give it to Edwin. Lightning bolt. Oof, that was close. Okay, cancel that. We're good. Don't need to use it anymore. Why is he ignoring everything and coming to attack us? the other potion, give that to Monty. Okay, we should be hitting him with a blind. Should be doing this. Okay, Monty can go look for the jackass wherever he is. Okay, it's down there in the corner. Like they're all coming in finally. Yep, start to come in. Alright, get anything else in here we could use? Oh, that cloud kill would actually be perfect for the hallway, but I really don't want to blow that here. We're gonna need to blow it, I think. Since we lost Kagan so damn early. Let's start the cloud kill. Oh, where is it? Come here a second ago. Stinking cloud would be perfect too, actually, yeah. Pass this to Edwin. Edwin up here. So I'll still keep hitting this idiot with magic missile. What's Monty doing down here? Monty's still chasing his ass around right now. That looks like a dispel, actually. I don't know if that works, though. Yeah, it doesn't work. Protection for magic stops that. Okay, so the sinking cloud's up. We need to get more webs up here. More fears. Until those webs and sinking cloud are up, we really can't go to support Monty. He dropped another web. Okay. Damn, we got webbed on the outside. The shit just wore off. Okay, that shit's off. We might be able to go and support Monty now. Okay. He still got his haste up. Look got that shit up. Nothing really useful in here that would help. Probably just like launching some of these away in the back. Okay. Monty got hit again. He's walking right into it now. That's annoying. Oh, Monty's about to die here. Yeah, there's pretty much no way he gets out of this alive. No, Monty! Oh, he's at 1 HP. Alright, let's finish off Monty ourselves, boys. It's the only way to save him. Bailoff dies, I'm gonna be butthurt. Oh fuck. Get him, dude! Get him! Wow, okay, Stinking Cloud. Fuck, Edwin died. How'd Edwin die here? Oh shit. Well, now it's on us, which is not good. Hmm. Now what should we need to hit him with? What happened to our wand of paralyzation? Okay, I still have it, actually. Okay, missed. Yeah, his shit's actually down now, so he's no longer immune. Yeah, that missed. Saved completely. Okay, let's drop one more fear and then get her in the fight. What?! You can get perma-killed by Melf's Minute Meteors? Really? The fire damage? Huh. Who knew? Oh, I got teleported right into the field. Okay, John Wayne's dead. This is over. Game over, boys. Good run.
Yeah, since I just got teleported right into the thick of it, we're completely fucked. There's no way out of this. Yeah. He, his saves are so high, he's always gonna save here. And we're just completely screwed. Wow. That is hilarious that we got teleported in here. Well, he's still technically alive. My only hope is to get a... Okay, he got knocked out. Okay, Code of Cold still went off and killed you somehow. That's interesting. So even though he was knocked unconscious for that, it still somehow went off and hit me and killed me. Which is amusing. Retarded, but amusing. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, but uh you should you should never die to get permanently killed by um range weapons, but I think what happened is the fire damage crit uh did double damage as well, and that's what ended up kill perma killing him, which is interesting. I didn't know that could happen, but uh not really too sure what to do right here to be honest. Hmm. That's a lot of fucking black talons. That is an awful fucking lot of black talons. Let's see. What do we got, boys? What a fear of fireball. We blew our last potion of invisibility, unfortunately, which is the biggest shame here. I don't think we have one of those either. Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's I've it's 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 happened weird in the past. I'm not sure. So, is there didn't see Are you dragging disciple again? We are. Is epic during BG's little misfortune? Yeah. Still think you should save the slaves and go for decent work for university. Nah, we'll be good. Looks like a wipe. Now we're still alive. Pull items in the containers and get the fuck out. Nah, that'll break my invis. I'm gonna go. I'm, we're gonna try to fight it, dude. Fight it out. That is a lot of black talons, dude. What the fuck? That is a lot of black talons. We have a lot of mirror images. And we have a scroll case full of other items. If we can get a cloud kill off. We might actually have a shot here. It will be done. Well, I just got seen. Oh no, he didn't see me. Okay. Looks like he's just ignoring me and running right to the Veyron. Fireball's off screen, that's what we're going for. Hey! Cloud kill for the win! Well, we did lose Edwin, which is a shame. 
But, uh, could be worse, boys. Here, go in the fucking cloud and just die and get out of here. You guys are driving me crazy. Do that from the start? Yeah, I... He teleports all over the place, and I was actually about to use Cloud Kill right here, just to drop it right there and leave it, but I was afraid one of my lower level dudes might walk into it. Like, Monty has a chance to permadive from Cloud Kill because he's a multi-class. Not permadive, but die instantly, so... Yeah, that was brutal, boys. It's definitely an unfortunate one, for sure. We do have lots of fucking, uh, storage here, so it's not like, you know, it's the end of the world or some shit. Losing Bailoth's probably the worst thing here, but again, we got Quail, we have TX, we have lots of other people that can use fucking scrolls and fucking wands, so we're okay. Definitely okay. Mean the anti cloud and remove that shit. Big long time watch your first time subscriber drown the slaves joke when Amazon keeps refusing my postal code so I can't give you Prime. No! That feels bad, man. That's been happening so much lately, dude. Over, like, people are having problems donating and subbing. And I feel terrible because I have no idea how to fix it. If it's even- if it's even on me at all. Yeah, but I look forward to hearing that joke at some point. I believe it will work someday, dude. And these fucking monsters won't stop following me around. You have Nira? Nah, Edwin's still on the party. We can't even pick up Nira, even if we wanted to, which we don't. Spoiler alert, we still don't fucking want her ass in the party. But even if we wanted her, we still couldn't take her, because Edwin's still in the party. By the way, Cloud Kill is the reason that Edwin is uh, better than Bailoth. On paper, it seems like Bailoth is better than Edwin, but because he can cast Cloud Kill, Edwin ends up taking the cake for being the best. Yeah, fuck her. No, fuck her shit, dude. She is so fuck. Every time she casts anything, there's a chance to kill herself and kill everyone around her, man. I picked her up once, cast one spell, Chaos Shield, right? You know what she did? Polymorphed. On a Chaos Shield. Actually, no, she silenced herself. Polymorph was a different game. It was a different playthrough. I don't trust Nira. As far as I can throw her, and you know what? My dude has 10 strength. I can't even pick her up, let alone throw her. I don't trust her in the fucking slightest, man. I don't trust her in the fucking slightest. She's got really unlucky with Nira. I mean, this is a Wild Mage, dude. Wild Mages are fun as fuck to play. Nira is not one of those, though. Nira is not fun as fuck to play. I swear she hits the table at higher fucking rates than any other wild mage I've ever had in my party. And maybe I, it just might have just really just be straight up shitty luck on my part. But I swear I tripped the wild mage table on her all the fucking time. Literally every time I ever cast a spell, it pops a surge, dude. Maybe I do just have fucking shit luck, man. That might just be it. But uh, we're probably going to pick up um, uh, Quail here. Quail's a great pickup. Unfortunately, I'm worried that I can't import uh, Bailoff to SOD now. That would be extremely depressing. But I don't know. I don't think the game will treat it like that. Because SOD is technically a completely separate uh, file run slash startup thing. So it should be okay. We'll see though for sure. We'll see, boys. Hey, we're probably going to load everything up, race everybody, come back, and... Yeah, we'll see how far we get. We are going to... going to stop the stream in about half an hour here. We're going to stop precisely at 6 o'clock for the first time ever. We'll have gone... Yeah, the full duration. Hype train. I don't know what to do about this full plate. Guess we have to fucking walk it like this. This is the classic shit right here. God bless this little red button, boys. By far the best thing Beamdog ever created. Oops, 
me this back. We made it. That's 5, not 4.30. It's 5.30 for me, my friend. Use your SOD companion start with up to 250. Oh, really? That's pretty good. Although, I kind of don't want him to do that because I really want to pick his spells personally. Like, if fucking Kagan gets an extra level, who gives a shit, right? But I'd like to be able to fucking pick uh, Baloth's level 5 spells for sure. I guess it is what it is. I wonder what they pick for Payloth at level 5. I hope they pick spell immunity. 5 not 6, yeah. Come on back, Fitzy Lives. You killed second time VG1, at least as far as I remember. He over there overseeing the chicken fight. I hope so. That's where I expect to see him. I hope he's there. I hope he's there waiting for me. Alright, I think we just need the full plate and then we're actually done here, boys. I'm gonna double check the other room too. I think Edwin's shit might be in there. We picked up the Vayron stuff. This crap is this. That's another full plate we gotta grab. Anything else over here? Oh yeah, all of Edwin's crap here. And I think this full plate is the last item, and then we're done. Yeah, I hope we can level them up like in BG2, but we'll see. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, and now we just gotta get out of here. Did you die in BG2? Yeah, we did. We unfortunately died into a mind player. Yeah, he's got the link there. Spell picks are generally pretty retarded, done automatically, that's for damn sure. Although, to be fair, Aerie actually has the perfect spell picks. Um, actually, not the perfect, but pretty damn close. She's got spell immunity and improved taste. I mean, you really can't beat that shit. You really can't. Um, it is very possible we still die, boys, because... Uh, <coughs> If we get hit by a spider ambush, we're actually still screwed. Uh, unfortunate, but yeah. I never picked up the ring of free action, so we might actually still die here. As awful as that would as that would be, it is possible. Because I don't have any more invisibility shit. Potions for free action? Yeah, no dice. Oh wait, there is one. There is one. Hey, we don't need it. Let's go. Don't have this spell now. Unfortunately, we take a uh, mirror image, glitter dust, and blur. To be fair, this is the only time invisibility would be useful here. Best school? Um, I'd say Conjurer probably loses the least. If you're trying to solo the game, you really can't go with Conjurer though. Uh, a necromancy it doesn't actually lose too much, um, because you don't need mirror image eventually. But uh, yeah. Honestly, it's no, it's really a toss-up. You lose project image with if you, if you take necromancy. Yeah, a lot of the schools are actually pretty well balanced. I actually did this myself at one point to see which one actually loses the least, and Edwin's one of the best. Conjurers are one of the best for sure. Well, I gotta take a leak. I'll be back in just a second, guys. Thanks for watching, my friends. God bless, dudes. Back in just a moment, and we'll uh, continue on our glorious run here.
should be more productive with my time. Alright, we back. I'm trying to remember what I, uh, yeah, what a mage only uses enchantment, only uses enchantment spells. Losing enchantment, you don't lose much at all. Um, I think, uh, fuck, I don't remember what it was. It might have been Abjurer. Let me go look it up. I'm actually curious about this now. Because after level 5, there are no enchantment spells. Yeah, Invoker. As an Invoker, the only thing you lose is Greater Malison. Lux, Sleep are worthless after a point. Feeble Mind and Domination you almost never cast. Emotion Hopelessness is okay, but again, that's one you just never cast. Luck you never cast because it doesn't last long. And the only other spell you have is Greater Malison. That's it. Transmuters give up everything in the world. Necromancers give up a couple of nice high-level spells. Illusionists give up a couple of nice high-level spells. Enchanters give up all sorts of fucking shit. Diviners, you lose uh, a couple power words. Limited wish, find familiar. Diviners don't lose much. Unless there's some higher level conjuration spells that I'm not seeing here. The yeah, abjurers actually lose Ruby Ray and Spellstruck. Oh, yeah, the abjurers lose way too much. Forget them too. Rave and Feeblement hold per. Yeah. Straight up, 100% Invoker, dude. Or not Invoker, um, where is it? Yeah, Invoker. Invoker is the only lose enchantment. I swear they lost more before. I thought Invoker, that's what Dynahir is. I thought Invokers lose two schools. Invokers, I thought, lose two schools. And this says it's only one, so they must have changed it at some point, and I just don't remember that. But losing only one school and its enchantment, you lose fucking nothing. So I would say Invoker is by far the best school as far as spells you don't... as far as spells you lose. But, um... If the thing is coded properly to where enemies resist your spells less often, that could actually make a pretty significant difference, too. Um, but I would, if I was forced to pick one right now, I would go with Invoker 100%. Is Spell Revictions active now? I'm not using Spell Revictions yet. Enchantment and Conjuration, yeah, that's what I thought. Because I remember, she, I know for a fact she couldn't use Edwin's shit and Edwin couldn't use her shit. She could use Divination spells, Edwin couldn't. That's all I remembered. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That makes her significantly better. Yeah, jurors and transmuters lose fucking everything. It's actually brutal. It's pretty fucking brutal. It will be done. If only I had gotten uh, Bailoth one more level, I could have used improved and just. In wow, I'm at 80k XP already. Holy fuck! Don't hear it would be good somehow. It'd be a blast. Yeah, right. I mean, you can have them in the same party if that's what you're asking. If you uh, rescue Dinahair before talking to Edwin, Edwin will join the party afterwards and they will never come into conflict. If that's what you're saying. Yeah, right? Fuck. 
We can't get quail until we actually get out of the mine. Uh, you go pick up Zan. Minx will have an unfortunate accident. Yeah. If you, if, I mean, if you don't talk to Minx either, she never tells you to go pick him up. It's only Minx that tells you to pick her up. That's it. To my knowledge, I haven't played with her literally since, like, 2000. I've murdered her every run. I'm seriously considering Zan. Because Zan will probably die, and then we can save Quail for the final fight. I think we'll do that, actually. Not a problem. Let's go pick up everyone's favorite fucking enchanter, boys. Uh, Quail is almost certainly going to get permanently killed before Saravok. And I'd much rather have uh, Quail with me than the uh, Zan for Saravok. But I want to have a mage to use wands up until that point. The thing is, we're only uh, a little bit away from getting... Um, uh, I'm about 10k away from getting Stone Skin. And Bariloth was about 20k away from Stone Skin. Edwin's already there. Um, he's 7k, and then he'll be able to get Stone Skin as soon as we go to the Mage Island. Uh, Quail is never going to get it. Quail will literally never reach that level. And he'll be killed, 100%. And he's almost certainly going to get permanently killed. We are going to say have to clean while the greatness of Dev is a play. Well, you have a strong team unit with these five. That's what I'm saying. I appreciate an ordinary eyeball. I really do, my dude. God bless you, man. He will get resurrected anyway. That's true. He's he's not gone forever. But I'm just saying that if we lose Quail before Saravok, that means we're kind of screwed for that sixth person. Quail can use both uh, Wand of the Heavens, which is brutally important. As well as Wanda Fireball and the other Mage Wands. Wanda Summoning. If something happens to Vicky during the final fight, it's super useful to have Quail be able to pick up the Wand of the Heavens. Zan can't do that. And to be fair, Baloth can't either. But Baloth is also a lot safer than both of them. And since we still haven't done the Iron Throne yet, and the Iron Throne goes badly all the time, I'd rather pick up... Um, Zan and lose Zan and pick up Quail and lose Quail. And if we lose both, then we're going to go for TX. And if then we lose TX, then we'll probably go for... Let's see, I'm not even sure who we pick up at that point. Maybe Branwen. Double up on Wand of the Heavens and hope that myself and Edwin can take care of business. Hopefully it won't come to that. Hopefully we lose everybody in BG1. Not a big deal. Then we make it to SOD, and SOD goes fine. And then BG2, obviously, is going to go great. It's going to be the best run we've ever done. And then we're going to go on to Throne of Ball, and we're going to finally fuck a Melisan, beat her ass up, and fucking claim our power and ascend to godhood as we rightly deserve. Let's be fair, nobody else earned it more than I did. Let's be honest here. I earned that shit, boys. Also, it'd be incredibly amazing if we en ended up beating the game with Zan. And then... <laughs> and then doing the fucking... Doing the dungeon of SOD with Zan in the party would be... I don't think anyone else has done that. I don't think anybody here has ever beaten the game with Zan, imported their characters to, BG or to SOD, and then done the first dungeon with Zan. I will be the first person on the planet to do that. I am confident nobody else has done that before. I thank you for my freedom, friends, for I have languished in these dismal vaults too. We're all doomed. I'm throwing it out there right now. I bet nobody else has played with Zan more than I have. Very few people. Shit. I wonder what happened to his sword. Do we still have it? Or we leave it in the chest? Oh, we didn't drop it. I like that sword. Hey! Check it out, boys. He's a champion now. I wish he could dual wield, man. He'd be such a stud. Do not delude yourself into thinking that it makes me invulnerable, John Wayne. Honestly, oh, Zan. Come on, buddy. Give it to hear you die and SOE just ate a rant. I mean, who knows, dude? Maybe I'll die in the fucking starting dungeon and that's it. There is Zan friendship mod or some weird people do it like emos. This is awesome. What are you talking about? For the longest time, I thought he got a bonus to enchantment spells. 
He does, dude. Look at him, he's an enchanter. Alright, how about this, I should say. In a no-save, no-reload run with my mods, I doubt anyone's killed Saravok with Zan. I seriously doubt it. I seriously doubt One arrow from anybody, and he's dead. One. He's got 19 HP with the max HP mod. This dude is sitting on 7 constitution. It's hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Alright, let's lose him right here to the first ambush, boys. Yeah, look how badass I look with my robes and everyone else is running around butt naked. Losers. Oh dear. Um, did that actually hit? Okay. I didn't get out of there, buddy. Oof, we made it. We're good. <clears throat> didn't complete SOD with Zant. Use the same mods as you. I am the law. Oh, shit. He's gonna beat me to it. He's gonna beat me to it. His personality matches his circumstance, right? <laughs> He's been sitting in the mines for literally two months after we killed Mullahay. We rescue him, and he's like, why are you saving me? And I'm like, well, one of my other dudes got killed, and we can't even res him because he's been killed so hard. You're in now, buddy. We're going to run across the wilderness for 104 hours straight to go and pull our gear that I stuffed in a fucking box inside the depths of a mine full of enemies who want to kill you. The same people who imprisoned you in the first place. You coming with, Zan? Our quest is vain. Exactly. Thank you, Zan. He's so useful. He is kind of funny, though. I heard he's got a lot of exceptional bants with other party members, for sure. And I am a man who enjoys his bants. Especially, uh... Especially when they lead to fucking fisticuffs, for sure. Uh, so I honestly want to do a, a run with Monty, uh, Zar, Khalid, and Jahira just to see them go at it. I think Khalid and Jahira actually win that fight pretty hard, but it would be funny. Why do you say that? Life is pointless anyway, so rescue him is the same? That's what I'm saying, dude. He's probably just sitting down there waiting to die anyways. He's like, whatever. There it is. Trying to make him say whatever. Poor Zan. Oh, fuck. What? Alright. Shit, there might be uh, the Hobgoblin Elites in the next room. Fucking ridiculous, dude. I think I got one. Missed one. Let's see. I think the command could knock that ass out. Okay, we're good. No, someone went the wrong way. Come on, buddy. Nice, he's blind. Let's go. Shouldn't be something we really like too much. I think I have that installed. I have the uh, NPC print. I'm not sure. Mine is. It, I don't know what it's called. It might be it. Is that the one where M1 talks nonstop about everything and everything? Because if so, I do have that installed. I just don't play with M1. If that's the one, then yeah, I have it on here. A lot of these uh, bants are from that mod. Yeah, it's the annoying one. Yeah, I, if you don't play with Immoen, it's actually not that bad. It's not bad at all. Some of them are pretty funny and well written. Yes. Go for it. Go for it. Back your blade. 
But yeah, I, there's. I I wish I wish the open Mars could play with that mod, with Emowin at the same time. I'm sure it would be fucking legendary. It gives the arduous task of fucking pulling everything out of this shit here. Yeah, a lot of it's just fucking awful, but some of it's not terrible. Let's see, does Zan have any lore? He's sitting on 22. Yeah, he's got the most. He might be able to ID some of this crap. Oh, he did. What a stud. I was playing with it, but I never take him in. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're in the same boat then, my dude. We have both uh, excellent, excellent taste, it would seem. Going strong, man? Hell yeah, dude. But we're gonna be wrapping it up here in a second, but we got uh, we went pretty hard today. We definitely went hard today, boys. Pretty much knocked out uh, half a BG one here, so. And this also means we can buy a robe for fucking Zan, too. Because he can wear the robe of the neutral Archmagi. This dude has 13 strength, really? Why the fuck would they make him so strong? Sounds ridiculous. I mean, I'll take it, but it just sounds weird. It doesn't sound right. It sounds wrong, really, is what it sounds like. Alright, uh, here you go, buddy. There she goes. I'm missing a helmet. Because I must not have picked it up and just thought it wasn't anything important. Edwin can wear that shit. Edwin can wear that shit. So we got a little bit of management to do. We're missing the sword. Oh no! Oh, there it is. Okay. Whew. Thought we lost our fucking spider sword for a minute. Free action sword. Okay. Give Zan bracers of death. Yeah, I think we're good here. Hey, it's all nice. How's it going, my dude? Sword Coast stratagems, yeah. It makes the enemies uh, much smarter. It allows them to spell cast stuff instantly to pre simulate pre battle casting. So, instead of me charging in with 20 buffs on, and then being butt naked and I just murdering them instantly, um, they'll be able to cast a bunch of buffs instantly at the start of a fight too, to make it more fair. There's a bunch of other things it affects, but it's one of my favorite mods. I use it literally all the time. Oh shit, well take it easy Damien. Have a good night my friend. God bless dude. Hope you enjoyed the content man. Hope to see you again soon dude. Have a good one man. Yeah, it looks like we stuffed a lot of crap in here, too. That's where everything else went. Okay. Okay. Almost done with putting everyone's gear back where it belongs. Holy fuck, that's where the other helmet went, too. Okay. Holy shit, this is brutal. I think we're about done, though. Yeah, those are done, those are done. These fuckers aren't, though. I wonder if Zan can even use darts, I doubt it. Missing wands too. Oh no, I picked up all the wands, that's right. Okay. It's hers. Yeah, we bought all these darts for Bailout, then he got permakill. Feels bad. Not a problem. Alright. Go kill this jelly. If you're a mage, it's required that you have a mustard jelly somewhere in your house, it seems. Get in there, Zan. Give it to him, buddy. This is what Zan was meant to do, boys. 
He was meant to go hard. Hey, you gotta stop attacking. Oh shit! Zan with the 19 6 damage, dude. I'm telling you, man. He was a champion, boys. Man is a machine. He's too good, lads. He's actually too good. Mentioned special high school two times list what they do, but not the opposing tools or restrictions. Ah, oh, that sucks. Damn. Should say what they can't do. It's kind of surprising. I guess it is what it is, man. Get out of my face, idiot. I got shit to do. Check out this quality cinematic here, boys. There's actual movement in this one, so that's pretty impressive. Hello, pal. I stand ready. It will be Sharon done. looks upon us with favor. And the river's red! Oops. Misclick. My bad. Let's see, we're at three rep. That's not bad. Three reps a good rep. It lets everybody know that I don't mess around. All they had to do is keep his mouth shut. That's all he had to do. I saved him and his. Well, I didn't save his friends. I say I saved him and his friends, but I actually kind of killed all his friends. I thought they got out. I, to I, I, I told I freed Rill and he just didn't make it out and then this guy didn't believe me and you know. You have been waylaid by enemy. Uh, all right. I didn't do nothing. Oh wow, he didn't actually learn any spells. Hey, they both save. No, we actually got blind one blinded. Hmm. I might be able to just kill them, actually. We want to take at least one wyvern head back with us. Yeah, I think Sigmund was trying to find the original, original one. But what it actually said in the original Baldur's Gate manual, Yopamaris, about the specific schools. You have been by enemies and must defend them. Oh, we're sitting on three rep right now. Ooh, that's a lot of bandits. We're all what is it now? Yes. <laughs> Dumbass bandits. Shaking my head. Okay, I guess we could go and loot them real quick. Woo! Easy, buddy. Don't walk into the skull trap now. You're not that fucking tanky, man. 
Come on, buddy. What if we actually gave Xan stone skin and turned him into the ultimate mage tank, boys? Alright, let's have Xan finish him off, boys. Oh shit! Cut down, dude! Cut him down, man! Xan doesn't fucking play, boys. He really doesn't. Given beta scouts forever because you cannot hand them in. I mean, we can still we can sell them to some vendors. At least not many. Minor being my best pick for PG1. Don't remember why, but I'd be interested to see why and what restrictions all schools had originally. Huh. I mean, it might be listed in, in general, like if you just look up D&D &D rules segment, you might be able to find it that way. No, I'm not actually going to do that, Rainier. I was just joking. I'm not giving Zan stone skin, man. Zan? Oh my god. Why are there so many bandits on this road? Dumbasses. Oh, this bandit actually turned gold. I slapped him so hard. Get shit on, idiot. I stand ready. Right, this is a fine place to stop. You just want to make sure you made it all the way to 6 o'clock. Alright, boys, we're going to start again tomorrow at 10 a.m. Go all the way to 6 again. Like I said, we're going to be going hard with our streams here if we can. Maybe somehow, someday, we'll make it. We'll make it, boys. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I greatly appreciate it. Every single one of you dudes. If any of you are new here, hit that follow button down at the bottom. We have a YouTube, Discord, Twitter. You can follow as well. We got lots of social media shit. We got some awesome videos coming your way soon for YouTube. Um, almost done with the Arcane Spell video. We're going to launch it up on Sunday. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that, guys. We should be done with BG1 tomorrow, hopefully, and get started on SOD uh, the day after. I think it would be Friday. Um, and we're going to do a long dialogue on Friday, just go everything over about everything about SOD. Should be a blast, should be informative, should be fun, and uh, yeah. Thanks again guys for watching. Hope you have a fucking awesome night, dudes. God bless to all of you, my friends. I hope whatever you want to do in life, you do it and succeed because you're fucking awesome, beautiful people. I love you, God loves you, and everything is going to work out great for everybody. Thanks again, guys. Hope you have a fucking awesome night. Thanks again, dudes. God bless. See you next time.